have a new enemy in town. We're going to rent on a user. I'm about to say some super harsh things. It is becoming more insufferable. Seriously, I am normal. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We'll just fade out the music there because it goes for like another five minutes almost. Hello. Welcome to the stream. It's user time. Uh, somebody in the chat was like, I pray for users and no allegations. And, uh, well, there will be users. I don't think we'll do allegations today, but God, there's such a funny new one though. Like there's new ones every day, basically. But okay. So, I mean, the big new one is, uh, the, the Mandela catalog guy. I haven't looked into that. Apparently he's the newest pedo of the week. Apparently. Uh, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure that's. Uh, definitely all, all real, like they all are. They all have been that we've looked at recently. They've all been completely legitimate. Uh, but no, the bit, the one that was really funny is this lady that came out who was freshly 18 at the time when, when the stuff happened. Uh, uh, something about a Minecraft guy. She was influenced by that Shelby person we looked at. And she basically like wrote fan fiction about her own experience and then also peppers in a part where she goes, yeah, this probably ha- uh, this, this, some- I forget what even the context was, but it was something like, yeah, something, something. Also, there was that time recently when I subconsciously outed a bunch of people as pedophiles, but they weren't, uh, on Twitter. So, subconsciously. I don't know, something weird like that, where it's like, oh, 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 you should have really led, the, led with that. But, uh, anyways, that's pretty funny. I don't think we'll look at that today. But, uh, we do want to do the Chug-a-Foot Conroy Man. Um, uh, Foot, Foot, uh, 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 what is his name? What is the name, uh, for, t f uh, Footin' Feet and Fiendo? Yeah, Qu Quentin Foot and Fiendo. Uh, uh, Chugga Foot and Fiendo. Uh, we wanted to look at him. And so we'll probably, on another, on a separate stream, we'll do some more funny allegations. But today it's user time. Reuser Gagotaku time. We're like a user today. In all ways, except physical, we are users. So welcome. Um, uh, and I don't really have too much planned. Like, the the best streams are the ones where I don't have anything planned. So, I mean, don't, don't worry about that. Uh, I did have... I had a couple things saved. I think I've looked at some of this, but there's some things that I have not... You know, there's some things in here that I've not looked at. Also, and crucially, I have to look up a thing that we... Let me see here. Um, yes. Okay. So there's a chat member who might be here who put together a cringe list of various uh, various links, and we looked at one recently. I think I want to look at some more of that Harman Smith fellow today. If you missed it, um, he is... Uh, he's been summarized as, I think his blood type is Nintendo. Someone said that on the Discord. Uh, and yeah, uh, he's, uh, quite literally the biggest Nintendo simp fanboy ever. And even if it's a joke, it's to the point where I'm not, I'm, I'm still not laughing with him. I'm laughing at him. Even if it's like meant to be like a troll or something. Uh, there's a video where he calls Arlo noted other Nintendo sh shill Arlo. Not quite as much of a Nintendo shill, like no one is, but he calls him a pretendo. It's great. I think that might be fun. Uh, we wound up watching his stuff for like fucking four hours a couple, a couple like a week or two ago. Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. Uh, that was a, I think that was a suggestion from, uh, from, from this list too. Uh, let me see. Um. So there's, a, there's some that are marked here as looked at. I assume. That that means you looked at them, Tivy, because I don't think I've looked at these. Well, no, I did look at the Golden Knight. Uh, uh, I did look at the gold Jay Geis, the Golden Knight. Apparently, he has a Kiwi Farms thread. Uh, so that's cool. Maybe that's where I know him from, because I know that I knew that I knew that name, but like I, I his channel isn't familiar. But you know, I think that was the like the last user stream we looked at him. Dude with a beard whines about Happy Meals. Done. Did I watch that one? Did I, did I watch Dude with a Beard Wines About How... I guess maybe I did. That sounds familiar. Okay, I did. I got some... I got some amount of the way into this one. Right. It's the guy who looks like the singer from Opeth. Right. Um, I wonder if people are going to know that this is a, u a user stream. Because there were some people that thought that I was going to be doing... Like, I, like, playing Yakuza. Which I should. I started playing Zero, like fucking three years ago or something on stream and I, I i was like yeah i'll get to it again 
and then I never did. Just like yeah, a Persona 4. So that's cool. But um, uh, uh, yeah, no, this is this is users. We are doing users. And maybe I should. You know what? I'll play the fucking. I'll play the PSP game. That's what I'll do. I'll stream Kuroyo, the 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 Japanese only spin off Yakuza PSP game. I played some of it. It's pretty good. The first boss sucks though, because like in the story, the context of the story is you have to cheat and just like fucking shove healing items into your face in order to beat the guy. And I was just like, this is this seems lame. I don't like this. But you know, other than that, it's pretty cool. Uh, anyways though, but this is not a video game stream. Definitely nothing. Nothing. We would never sink so low as to stream video games. I would never be a gamer streamer. Um, so here we have, let's see, something about Smash Bros. mods. Uh, Han... Han... Exals. Hanzals needs to be stopped. Han... Han... Hexals. Uh, cool Xenoblade 3 uh, poster back there. That tells me all I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> that tells me all I need to know about this individual. What's going on is that this you this user this? named You never see it coming. This user, this user, this user, this user, this user, this user, this user. Well, we're off to a good start. What's going on? So what's going on is that this you this user named <laughs> Not even a minute in. Hang on, I need to set up the bingo. <laughs> I need to set up the bingo. Let me just Good God. <laughs> just I mean, thank you for putting that there on the bingo, cause or on the on the list of things. Cause like I know I'm sure you I'm i I'm Tivy, I'm sure you saw that and you, you were like, ah, user. Yes. Ah yes, user. And you just uh you just went for it. That's that's good. Um, I may, I'm sure the rest of the video will also be good. Maybe his channel's also funny, but let me, uh, bingo this ne. Uh, wait, no, not the fucking bingo web website. Come on now. Come on now. You know, my, my favorite thing, my favorite thing about learning Japanese is, um, learning katakana and the exercises that, uh, I'm using the app Busu primarily. Not exclusively, because I don't want to learn from any just one source. But uh, it's better than Duolingo, and it's it's pretty good. It's 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 been giving me. It's we're finally getting into like ni and de and stuff like that. And uh, but one of the best things about learning Japanese, and you can quote me on this. I I I'm fi I'm fine with this. One of the best things about learning Japanese is when they when you learn katakana, they they try to teach you how to say like foreign words, but you by nature you have to say them as like the most racist Japanese accent. <laughs> Because that's just the way it's said. That's the way the characters are said. So so if you want to talk about, like, a, a shopping center or a mall, you have to, by nature, you have to go full South Park, tra Matt and Trey, shopping center! It's, it's, it's very unfortunate. But I don't make the rules. That's how you learn it, apparently. Apparently that's how you learn. Okay. Dazed and Confusered is the name of this bingo. Let me, um, bring this up. Let me bring this up. Um, where is it? God damn it. Dazed and Confusered. I'm gonna get you all your bingos here. Grab your bingos. Take your bingos. Watashi! <laughs> no, I'm going full. I said last stream, I'm going full. What -e -what -e -what. That's gonna be my personal pronoun. I know it shouldn't be, and there's no- I have- <laughs> I have no right to do that. I know based on what I know of Japanese society and whatnot, I know that when I go to Japan and call myself Wari Wari Wa and I use that voice, <laughs> people are going to be very confused and probably offended. But, uh, you know, they're gonna be confused, or let's take a look at my card here. We got this user. Do we have said this user? If you if you have if you see says this user, or like this user they actually said it or something like that, and mark that one down. Um, uh, what else? I mean neck beard. I guess he's not a neck beard, but I don't know. Do we have one that's just like unfortunate appearance? I, I don't know, but we got the bingo up. Let's uh, let's get going. Hank Souls. What's going on again? He's gonna say it again. He's he's gonna fucking do it again. 
So what's going on is that this this user named Hank Souls is Oh, I guess also never see it come and in invoked. Although I that's such a that, that feels like such a cheat space because like if I want to, I could just, you know, you never and then we're boom, I have a free space. <laughs> Like, uh, if I want to, I can be a real dick about that, but I don't see it on here. So, uh, you know, I, but, you know, th there you go, y'all, <laughs> y'all got it. Making mods for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. So someone's making mods for Smash. Where a majority of, her co of his content is just, uh, y well, uh, well, what? Today, well, Junior. Today, Junior. Most of his mods. Most of his mods are all the female smash. Okay, yeah, we're giving him a today, Junior. I was gonna be lenient, but it's a today, Junior. Come on now. Yeah. So he mods female smash characters, and that's a problem. We're not allowed to have titty mods. I mean, you don't have to download them. Maybe they're bad. Maybe they're like, maybe he just like draws nipples on them in MS Paint, and <laughs> like that's the problem. This guy only wants the best. Uh, Pyra and Mithra that he can get, obviously. There's under Drat. That's like, like Moo Moo, like Moo, like making them in bikini, bikinis. What? Uh, uh, bikini in bikinis. Who? Wait, who in bikinis? He's uh, uh, making them in bikini. Making them in bikinis. Okay, well, all right then. And one. That's been in the back of my mind is the one with Gan Dorf wearing a small speed. Oh, that's just co I really like the the speech impediment that just forces you to stop saying words in the middle of the word. I, that's this is, this is a new one. I've never I I never saw that until like a month or two ago when we started seeing a bunch of fucking users, and then that was one that I would see pretty free like. Just in the middle of words, it's like they have to- it's not even like a speech impediment, I think it's literally like they have to stop and take a breath or something, I- I don't know. But it's- it's- it's always great, it's always a wonderful time. In his willy, so... In his willy? So why am I talking about this? Well, it's because Hansel needs to be stopped. Hansel Because he just- he's just making inappropriate mods for the smack- that's ultimate game. Who cares? And it's honestly getting annoying. Huh. So, Hank Souls, if you're watching this... I, I love the mind- oh, oh god, oh god, we're zooming in. Um, I love the mindset that this guy has, though. It's great, where it's like, you know, uh, if you- it, it, I, I don't know, It's it reminds me of the Su Castle Super Beast recently. Uh, Wooly was talking about something to do with, uh, something to do with Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. I guess there's a mod that, like, makes it kind of Sonic, Sonic-ish. It adds Sonic and it's got some stuff to it. And, and, and he goes, like, it basically makes it Sonic Heroes. I think he meant Sonic Riders, because it's like a skateboarding thing. But he's, it, Wooly goes, it bas he basically made it Sonic Heroes. And Pat goes, why? Why would they do that? I don't like Sonic Heroes. And that just reminded me of that, because it's like, you need to stop doing the thing you're doing, because I don't like it. You need to stop. We need to have him. He needs to be stopped, quote. Because I don't like the thing, personally, that he's doing. With titty mods. I mean, alright. I mean, it's, it's there's a very good, easy solution. You don't download them. There you go. You win. Uh, oh, oh god, oh god. Wait, why is he zooming in so close? What is He has like a final send-off to us? Please stop. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that should be... Oh, man. I wouldn't put it on the soundboard because it needs the video of him zooming in and going, Please stop! And then... Yeah, that's a, that's a good video. That's a good That's a good way to end your video. Um, typical kid with typical lifestyles. Are you a kid? You seem... You look... Oh, well, all right. I mean, maybe... All right. Well, I guess maybe that explains why you're like... You know, weird about mods or whatever of that nature. Uh, you, you know, you're not, uh... Okay. Well, you know, he's a, he's a, he's a, a, he's a big boy. Um, but, but yeah, that's Skyler. Um, it's funny, for someone born in 1935, he's, apparently he's a kid, so, I don't know.
the burger he's got a burger there and says don't that look good it does it, it do it do look pretty good i'd say um so that's skylar that user right there um we have one here that's just marked as podcast quote uh, question mark so let's take a look at this i guess we can refresh our bingos we started off strong with a this user but yeah i didn't get too much out of it Probably there's probably maybe a couple other things you can mark on that on that bingo, but yeah, the rest of the channel he's 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 un he's under eighteen. He won't be doing any time on this stream. God damn it! Hey hey, stay in and play. Um, we're gonna get a new bingo here down in the bottom right. Click the thing, click new, get yourself a new card. Uh, and this is uh, just marked as podcast, and uh, it's po podcast question mark, which I think is very accurate. Um, podcast question mark, uh, Tutti Chloe Hodges curriculum CTC. I don't know what that means. Where's Harry? It turns out Harry's caught the cold Chloe had about two weeks ago. So Zira takes over for him in this episode, along with Chapper's bot. Um, there's an air check. There's a Fujitsu coffee sponsor. There's, uh... Fujitsu noodles okay this is not a real sponsor uh talking about well maybe it is because they do have some subs I mean you know this is getting some okay views for like a rando podcast software used fair use everyone fair use um all right well all right what's what's going on here it's five minutes too Crazy Tootie Radio, we take the opportunity and firmly tune in for you. So, um, uh, what? Is this AI then? Because the shirt says AI, so is this just some kind of bizarre fucking AI podcast? Is this supposed to be Undertale, by the way? Because this is... Isn't this, like, an adult version of the kid from Undertale? And then this is, like, a weird, like, discount Metaton or something. Metatron, whatever his fucking name is. Um, the trans robot everyone loves. This is, it's like a, it's like a bootleg version of that. And I don't know who this character is supposed to be. This is, like, Chitose Buster Holmes or something. To lighten up your end of week blues, entertain and whatnot with your hosts Chloe, Alex, and Harry Donaldson. This is Sunday evening. Yeah, I'll give you a loud intro on this one. Let me take a look at the the thing here. Um, I think I'm gonna mark no human voice because I'm I'm just guessing this is gonna be AI. I'll I'll demark it if there is a person, but it might also be a person who sounds who's it might be an AI who sounds like a person because they're pretty good now. But no human voice. It seems to it seems like it's gonna be an AI thing. Or so far, I've only heard uh, text to speech. Um. um user connected to known user do we need both of these i don't know i know milk steak is like not actually here right now but like part of larger user group user connected to known you this is kind of like the i guess those are different but it seems to have these both on the same line is very unfortunate that's I, I guess it just it seems it seems more like they're more similar than they are when you have to have both of them on this line to get a bingo but you know uh let me see here ominous silence not yet. No, I got I got no loud intro on mine. Uh, man, I hope we get a list of demands. Can we just do insanity problems just preemptively? Let's just mark. I, that's another one where it's like mark it off, and if we wind up feeling like it's not insane, we can de we can mark we can we can get rid of it. We can take it off the bingo. But like for now, I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna just stake my claim that it's gonna be both uh just robot voices and. Fucking insane. I'm just guessing. May I might be wrong. The following program contains content that may not be suitable for all listeners. View oh, I really wish you would have said users. Your discretion is advised. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome back for tonight's show. Unfortunately, Harry- Then maybe this is a person. This sounds like it could be a person. I might have to revoke the square. Harry is off sick, so we- Wasn't expecting a lady, but I guess it is Tutti Chloe. 
I guess I just the middle person in the image is the a this guy with a mustache with a, an AI shirt. So I, I just kind of assumed that was the focus. But no, yeah, I guess it's Chloe here is the the person. Have Zira as all substitute host for this episode. Hello, humans. How are we doing on this random Sunday night? Oh, wait, I gotta get rid of the bingo. Hold on. Hold on. No human voice. Yeah, I got. That might be an AI. I mean, but if they're using TTS that sounds that bad, it's like, why would there also be an AI that actually sounds convincing? So it's probably just a person. Uh, what? These Fujitsu moments happen every once in a while. But back on topic, we're doing good at the moment. All right. That's cool. I Okay, so there are multiple people here, it sounds like. There's maybe two... Because it, se it seems like there's multiple people in this description and in this thumbnail, but I don't know how many of them are robots and, and, and AIs and whatnot. Uh, I guess there's at least... It sounds like there's at least two. In the meantime, let's all talk about that one video that has most of us here talking. Even on last night's Lulicast episode. You talking about that Mitch Davidson interrogation video? What did he do? Nothing too major, but let's just say most of us thought he was in league with the Believers, but thank God. Oh God, what the fuck? Okay, so I paid too much attention to the, like, the, 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 the visuals and everything and, and like, what's going on. I wasn't paying attention to... Like what's being said and what yeah, the what what was that? Most of us thought he was in league with the believers. The believers is this is this like an offshoot of the X Men or something? The t the a name like that coming up where it's like he was in league with the scavengers and it's like a capital S scavenger like. I don't know that it's just are you in a comic book? I don't know if uh, this. I'm very confused. Confusion but, deepens. But thank God. Insanity problems is not getting taken off the bingo. I mean, we took off the other one, but we're keeping insanity problems. He isn't. Oh, I see what you're talking about. I think I've seen half of the video. Oh, goody. Let me tell you a funny story. Feel free to tell us. Ever since I saw that Maybe one commercial in PS1 Startup Bloopers 16, I thought of giving the Fujitsu Noodles a try. Only to find out I was binging Jack Paul TV episodes up until either episode 40 or 41. What? Damn, I was in hysterics. El Mao. Oh, really? El Mao. Yeah, LOL. Yeah, what LOL. Else? Are you tired all the time? Feel free to binge Fujitsu coffee. Oh, um... Okay, so you know the, you know the, the square? I'm gonna see if I have it on mine. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, this one. Fake TV channel. I know it's not a TV channel, but it's like in pretending it's a podcast that has sponsors and has like production value, and it's not really. It's it's just a bunch of bullshit and it's insane. So it's it's a fake TV channel. It's more or less the same thing. Um, do we have studios or productions, by the way? No, because the name is too insane for that. Never mind. We sell decaffeinated coffee as well, only for two pound. Thanks for the sponsor, lol. Fujitsu coffee? Emma gives it a try. I mean... It, someone says it's a nonsensical podcast made by a Go Animate kid. Is this a kid? It sounds like a... I mean, the people involved sound like they're older than Kid. If they're people, they might be just all AI voices. There might be some that sound more convincing than others. Um, like, you know, it's TTS and, like, actual AI voices, maybe. But, I don't know, it doesn't sound... I mean, it, it's probably just people, so it sounds like two adults. I mean, it, they sound like adults. And maybe they are Go Animate people but but this doesn't even seem like go animate uh wh what the fuck is going on on this channel maybe it is oh god it's this fucking creature um wh whatever uh, whatever this is what the fuck ctc pyl e1 pilot or sam's case of the whammies um uh is this like a windows destruction video 
Are we gonna get some some cool toolbars and and video tutorials? All right, see everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Press Your Luck Gaming with the CTC Squad as a pilot episode. Maybe it is a kid. We got the fellow players here, which is me, Alex, and yeah, it might be like a teenager, I guess. Microsoft Sam himself. Oh my God, what a sad existence. I'm sorry if this is like a young person. I know we're like not allowed to. In the ex in ever increasing list of people we're not ab allowed to bully, children are like toward the top. I know, I know, it's horrible, but Jesus Christ, kid, I'm sorry. This sounds very unfortunate. I I I I feel for you. Try uh, um, Microsoft Sam is not your friend, though. I I don't know what to tell you. I am so happy to be here. I am here to make him proud tonight. No. Well, at I'm... least this makes sense. Yeah, it's based on an old game show. I, I don't know why we're on, like, Windows XP. Uh, no, he's just playing this game, I guess. The the the, the thumbnail drew me in because it's got, like, the Windows XP background. It made me think it was going to be, like a, like, a Windows destruction or something. But no, it's just him playing a game, I guess. Pilot episode of that. Him or Van Marshi or whatever. Uh, P PS1 startup. Okay, well, you know, yeah, very confusing fucking weird podcast or whatever this is supposed to be. I have no idea. I, this is insane. This is insane. I mean, they talk about, like, they talk about, like, I don't know. They talk about, like, when you get older and you become, like, no longer with it and you become an old man and you just can't like get down with what the 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 youth of the day are into, you know, and it's like I don't know. I still like a lot of things that come out now. I love the second Spider Verse movie. All the fucking all the fucking Zoomers love that shit, you know. So like I get it sometimes, but then you get something like this, and I just I don't know what to fucking say. Like I just don't even know what I'm looking at. It's it's like, it's like a young, I'm just sorry, it's like, it seems like a young person with, like, mental illness that's, I don't know, they've got, like, voices in their head or something, I guess. I, I don't know what the fuck is happening there, but it's, it's not good, it's unfortunate. Uh, Jesus Christ. Um, well, that's, uh, uh, that's fine. That's, uh, uh hope that there's, I hope that they, uh, <clears throat> deal with that. Uh, I hope that the parents, uh, are able to recover that scenario. Uh, <laughs> Before people wind up getting, before cats wind up getting skinned in the neighborhood, uh, allegedly is all around. I'm sure. I'm sure this is a lovely person. I don't know, but, geez, the whole like playing games with Microsoft Sam. It's it's that's it's just sad. I don't know. I don't can't make it not what it is. Um, we got two bucks from Wings of Twitch bots. It's like a troll post, I guess. It says Banjo Banjo Tui, greater than sign Banjo Kazooie. Uh, I, I don't dislike Banjo-Tooie, I mean, but I, I don't know, I just got to the fucking, like, Grunty Industries. Grunty Industries! 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 And it was, like, such a fucking slog, I just, I just stopped. So much of that game is, like, weird minigame bullshit. I, I hate games that are just, like, like, I want to play a platformer. I don't want half of Mayhem Temple to be just, like, a kind of a bad version of GoldenEye or whatever. I, I don't really want that. And you gotta do all this stupid, like, soccer bullshit. You, there's some of that in Banjo-Kazooie as well, but, I mean, it's kept to a minimum. I don't know, Banjo-Kazooie is a very digestible experience. You can play through the whole game in, like, an afternoon. It's really, it's, it's well, you can if you've played it before, but, like, yeah, it's a chill game. It's, I don't know, it, it Tooie is too, ugh. I mean, maybe it's just because I didn't grow up with it, but, it's fine. I like the music, obviously. It's, there's a lot to like. I like the fire and ice level. That was a good one. But a lot of it is kind of... Uh, uh, not so great. Not so great. Uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto... At least you didn't say... Um, at least you didn't say Donkey Kong 64. Then that would have just been silly. Uh, uh, Grand Theft Auto Galeriarch, uh, member for four months. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's too, way way too many. That's way too many of those, but it's fine. Thank you. Uh, this is some primo gunt content. Thanks, Claw. Were we gunted? Did I get gunted? Did you see it? Where was there even a gunt? I don't. I guess that guy had. Uh, this guy was a bit of a gunt. I, I guess the 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 this user guy a little bit. Um, 
Vector Equinox, also member for two months. Thanks for the entertainment at my mind-numbing job. Well, you should get a better job, Farhead. You should get a job pushing shopping carts. You, you know? Apparently, apparently, if you get a job where the job description is pushing shopping carts, like, you don't even have to do anything. You're... It's like, it's like a, a apparently morally wrong for you to have to do any work if you get that job. So go for that, I'd say. <laughs> that sounds like a great job. <laughs> After the, 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 the stream from before where, you know, from yesterday where there was the, the, I got one guide about the cart narc thing. Like, yeah, apparently you're a moral scumbag. If you, uh, you're morally a piece of shit if you... If you force the guy whose job it is to get carts around the shopping center. The shopping center! Uh, you <laughs> that seems like a great job if you are, like, legally not allowed to do any work according to society. Uh, and then two bucks from the opinion basher. I'm gay. Well, I'm gay! Chad, he even said he was gay. Get, get a load of this fucking... Get a load of this fucking... Uh, how about that? How about that? Good for you. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna continue. Um... We're going to continue here. Got some more stuff from uh, Tibby's cringe list. We might get back to that. But somebody, I think it was you actually, Opinion Basher, who suggested to just look up Opinion Basher. Uh, man, what's crazy? <laughs> Is this autofill? Oh, I guess you can't see it. Maybe you can when I do this. So Opinion Basher, Opinion Basher's rant... Opinion bashing, opinion bashing rant, opinion basher much? Uh, wow, 1999 called, it wants its joke back. Opinion bashing in a nutshell, and then we get to like, we get a, some, so, into, uh, somebody smash their fucking face into the keyboard. Opinion bash Kim Shehu Murat Basha opinion, opinion Lurzim Basha, Basha opinion, opinion Rama Basha, don't be Rama Basha, put it in the can. Alright, so, um, um, yeah, opinion basher, and then we sort by uh, most most recent. And uh, I mean, you don't fuck. You don't even have to do that. <laughs> you don't even have to do that. <laughs> you can just search opinion basher. You don't even need to filter it at all. <laughs> Look, everybody, get a load of this one. Nine seconds long. They're a wrongdoing opinion basher who's cyberbullying and harassing. Oh, wait, no, this is the user. This is the user whose video it is. It's nine seconds long. Harry's proof to let find an opinion basher. He... Harry's proof. First 30 people to share get mentioned. Redo because a pedo and his alts took up the slots. Oh. He betray the autistic role players for opinion basher without reason. Brain damage. Pilotfinds opinion basher. Hair it's hurt. like I maybe you're a child, but were you like dropped on your soft spot as a baby? I'm sorry, but this is like maybe I don't know. Babies. English might not be the first language. I don't know. Maybe they're 47 and they're just learning English now. Maybe I don't know. Um, we got, uh, let's see, proof. Oh, this is another six. Why are these videos all so short? It's Jonah Campbell hate base channel 2024. I guess we have to hate this guy. It's a bit of an elusive user. Get yourself a new bingo, I guess, by the way. Let's grab a new bingo here. Grab myself a new bingo. There you go. There you go. This user. Um, yeah, now we get this user. They actually said it. Uh... I, yeah, Jonah, who, who are you? Who are you? Oh, it's some bullshit. Look, it's like a child. Jonah Campbell, the man-child, chokes on a rice cake is a video down here. That's that's neat. Um, is abusing the copyright system a good thing? I guess that's a no. No, God, please, no. Um, uh, well, about proof that Kitty Boo-Chan, yes, Bon Goro. What? Is an opinion a, a opinion basher? Um, punishments if you hate Kitty Boo Chan. Punishments: execution, sent to North Korea, being used as slaves. This is so. Wait, this is people that dislike this person have to be deathed.
being sent to Betelgeuse during its supernova, being swallowed by a rail, by a way, a, a ra rail this, um, being sent to uh, Hiroshima Nagasaki on August, what the fuck? I don't see how this is opinion bashing, but it certainly seems like insanity. Um, opinion bash or stop. Okay, it's six videos. They're all incredibly short, it looks like. Another. They're all so short. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is going on? Why are all these videos like 10 seconds long? Give me like a 40 minute video about opinion bashers. I'm not watching this fucking shit. Your 10 second long ass videos. Fuck off. Fuck off. Uh, all right. Well, we're, we'll do recently uploaded. Um, what's your opinion on baby basher? Um, we got a little kid doing some kind of commentary video on a guy's rant about South Park. Let me take a look at the guy's rant about South Park, actually. That sounds like it could be funny. Jack King. Okay, it's another child, though. But they're all... They're, these are two, two children in a row whose name is, like, 2009. So, mm. I'm not actually getting too much here that I can work with. There's, I'm, I, I sorted by most recent, and it gave me a couple of them. And then it very quickly turns into a bunch of bullshit. Uh, it very quickly turns from opinion basher into just a bunch of other shit. I guess I can put it in quotes. We'll try quotes. We don't have farts on the menu, by the way. Um, put it in quotes. Opinion basher exposed. Opinion basher. Okay, recently uploaded. Oh, uh, shit. We got a long one here. It's a minute and four seconds. Here you go. Block 13 Miracle Star fan. That's a name, by the way. At Block 13 Miracle Star. I guess they cared so much that they made that their at. Um, so the video says, the description says, I have all the proof you need to tell her. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're, we're still going. Hang on. We'll get to that. I have all the proof you need. Oh, this is what you mean. I have all the proof you need to tell her she is an opinion basher. A spoiled brat thinking she has no haters. Oh, motherfucker. This user is also the opinion basher. This is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. A bully and a piece of shit. Um, ignore the rant, but I still think it's cyber bullying, uh, cyber bullying everyone. This is what we have wrought. This is what we have wrought. This fucking cyber bullying bullshit, you know? Who was it? Like, was it fucking Michelle Obama that made that a thing? Cyber bullying? And now we... And, and now it's like... Uh, I was watching a video about Epic Gamergate 2 earlier. And it, it was, and it, it came to me then too, just like... Man, people really, it, it legitimately, uh, harassment now is like cyberbullying, all this. It, I mean, it it can happen. You probably, there are people that are getting phone calls from weirdos, you know, and that sucks. But like a lot of the time, it really genuinely is just like someone said they didn't like a game I like. And that's harassment and cyberbullying. And it's even worse when you get these fucking people that are like adults and they're political and they claim to have convictions and they go on Twitter and they talk about them and then someone calls them a retard and then they're like, I guess they just don't feel that strongly about whatever they're, you know, they're, they're, I, I don't know, it's very confusing to me. Like somebody that you disagree with calls you a retard and you have very little respect for like the, I don't know, the, the sort of, yeah, it, it's very it's very strange to me how closely they take this it's like just have a little bit of i don't know how insecure in this scenario too like cyberbullying it's she's an opinion basher how insecure do you actually need to be about your opinion about something that that's like a cyberbullying to you i mean how much do you like you must really not feel great about the thing that you like you must really secretly have problems with it and have problems with liking it, I guess. And I don't know for some for like a simple comment about like, oh, this is your the thing you like is is bad, and I don't like it. And now you're like you're shut you're shutting down your whole fucking life. Jesus fucking Christ! I guess you agree. I mean, if you think if they had like you think if these people really liked the things that they like, that when an opinion basher shows up, they'd just be like, no, fuck off. What do I give a shit? You're an idiot. 
have some fucking convictions. Take a stand. Don't be such a pansy. God damn it. Anyway, so this is the user, I guess. Probably. I mean, I would assume. I who you would assume looking at the video that the person we're looking at is probably the person the video is about. But maybe I'm wrong. Who's to say? You know, like we never assume with these videos. But Jenny Hoshiko artist. Shared, no, me and Lin Lao Jr. on on her bad user's comfort character. This user. Please comfort us. Uh, this is another fucking mind virus of the of the modern age, is comfort characters. This, this, this is, this is, uh, man, man. You know what? I now despise Star Pastel Pink Gal Hoshiko CR forever. Why she sucks is because she added me and Sean on her hated user's comfort character. This user. You happy Lin Loud Jr. 336 Loser 90 and Banana Girl 163? God, imagine like you're like, oh, this isn't what's happening. But just imagine you're like, you're like pushed to fucking like doing a suicide note. You're, you're James Summertoning it. You're, you're James Summertoning it hard. And you're just, and it's not, and it, like, even in that scenario, you're, you're, you're down to like, well, I'm going to have to kill myself because a guy named H bomber guy really got me. It, it's, it must be so bad when you're like 13 reasons why letter is like, yeah, banana girls one, six, three is the reason why I was, it's out. She was the 13th reason fucking banana girl one, six, three, the scourge of the free world. Motherfucker. Sonia Panda Artist now hates your local no number blocks fan. Okay. Who will win? Malater. Yes, Riggy the Runky. No. Or my rival. Guys, I just, I crave death. I just, I crave death. I just crave and yearn for death. Jenny Hoshiko Artist Fan 2002 is going to make me kill myself. <laughs> This is gonna be my 13th reason. Malather, yes, Riki di Ronki, no. You know, I'm already learning one other language. I don't need to learn this one. Fucking. One extremely shocking opinion change. I now hate block third. I thought that was you! Wait, so are you not the person? Oh, oh, wait, no, okay, never mind. This is not the person. Block 13 Miracle Star fan is cool. We like them. The video is addressed to them as like a friend, I guess. Oh, I also forgot the name. I forgot to notice the name of the fucking channel as I talk about all of this, by the way. I, <laughs> I, I, for, I did not. Uh, I did not notice that. <laughs> but okay, so. Miracle Star Fan is a, is good. If they're a good user, uh, Jenny Hoshiko artist here, l um, LZ. I so I don't know the because the I think the the word the hashtag cancelia Hoshik. I don't know what this is because the name is Jenny, right? So what is the? I think they misspelled cancel and then. Alziaho I, I I don't know how you do you have Alzheimer's? I, I don't know, but Okay, so so Jenny now hates Miracle Star fan, and that's why all this drama started. Uh reasons she likes shows that I hate and hates shows that I like. <sighs> Hang on just a sec. So there's a song that I like. Um it's from a band called Hoover Phonic. Um it's it's a, it's kind of a romance song. Uh, it's called it's it's called Vinegar and Salt, and uh, it just oh fuck I muted it. God damn it! Hang on. Whoa 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 whoa. I don't care if I get blocked worldwide. It's fine. Like the things that you hate. This user is also the opinion basher. This user, this user, this, 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 this user. I just. 
I don't know, maybe this is a secret romance. Maybe this is another, like, Aiden and Stexen Starfighter situation. You secretly, it's like a playground, like, like, I'm only your friend because I have to be. I don't like her or anything, that kind of thing. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. She likes the things that I hate and hates the things that I like. And she supports my rival, so everyone will cut ties with me. And I prefer Nicktoons over ripoffs. And she hates good shows for no reason. And she treats me. Wow, it kind of sounds like Miracle Star is kind of like a fucking opinion. It kind of sounds like. This user is also the opinion basher. If this one is an opinion, it sounds like Miracle Star is also the opinion basher. It's a, this is a two way street. These are these are strong accusations of opinion bashing from Jenny. How are we going to ignore this? What the fuck? What the fuck? And now here we just have like a stupid art. We have an art. It's bad. Um, wait, what was that? What was it for though? Hang on. Share this post if you hate block thir- Okay. <laughs> well, it's- It kind of looks like a number of people shared it. I guess it sounds like block 13 Miracle Star fan might be the problem here. Um, this is just tagging a bunch of people. Uh, Imaginary Land changed my opinion now. I, I guess soon this is the same person. Because I like... I I now like I can die at any time because of bullies. <laughs> Why would you fucking name yourself that? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Well, it doesn't sound like you're long for this fucking world, man. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Bullying can lead to suicide. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I can die any time because of users, because <laughs> they'll make me laugh myself to death. Uh, hang on, I gotta take a look at the bingo. I've been doing the bingo for a bit. So suicide, obviously. <laughs> uh I mean, repeating the same thing. No human voice. Claims to be bullied. Uh, user. They said user. Insanity problems, obviously. This is a good video. This is a stacked bingo on this one minute video. With no sound or anything. Uh, will not, uh, not nonsense, yeah. Positive comment. I, it, fuck. I want to mark that. They haven't said it, but you know that that's like in their bio or something, but no. Uh, society, blatant piracy... Uh, no, okay, well, I, the, man, if only these were arranged slightly different, you know what, simulated insanity, too. I mean, that kind of fits with nonsense, but this is like I'm going insane as I'm reading this. This is like my, my, my conception of society and, and mankind has been warped. When, when I see I can die at any time cause of bullies, at, is someone's at on Twitter. <laughs> I, YouTube, I guess, it's on YouTube. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Mine, uh, Rainbow, because he is my rival. He is the world's biggest jerk I've ever seen. I like to imagine this isn't mine. It's 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 a quote from Yoshitaka Mine from y Yakuza 3. It's this is the uh, this is a this is a quote from the final boss section of of Yakuza 3 where he's just he's standing over Daigo and he's like oh, he's the world's biggest jerk I've ever seen I love him so much rainbow I bully cuz I care I now like I can die at any time cuz of bullies well that's good because it sounds like they have it sounds like you it sounds like if you didn't they would be in some serious problems so it's a good thing that you're playing along there <laughs> So, someone says there are tears in my eyes. Uh, me too. Uh, you know what? I now... I guess this is... Okay, this is Aliza Hoshiko Artist. She changed her name, I guess. You know what? I now know not everyone has love, but most people have hate, and hate hurts your feelings. Oh my god, people. Guess what? Guess what? Tip, instead of hating your enemies back and cyberbullying them, handle the hate by blocking, hiding, and reporting them so you don't get a hate base... And not everyone likes anyone. You know what, people? Guess what? Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Guess fucking what? 
It's bingo time. Retard sage wisdom. I'm giving that retard sage wisdom. Just that first line that I... Everyone has love, but most people have hate, and hate hurts your feelings. That is some fucking sage wisdom right there. Thank you for sharing. This is a fucking gold mine of a one minute video without audio. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Do you want- What the fuck? Are they like- Are they like doxing someone? Okay, I guess you- Well, not really. Not really. But, eh, kind of. It's like soft doxing. Do you want this user to exist name got hated by help me from this infection? That's their name. Their name is got hated by help me from this infection. It's, uh, you know, again, I keep saying I'm learning Japanese recently, and it sounds like, like if you try to literally translate somebody's na name from kanji, and you get like, flower field in the autumn, and the guy's name is just like Suzuki, you know? Like, it's, it sounds like that. That's that's the kind of name you're giving me here. Handle is cute core strawberry. So these are children, obviously. I mean, and I don't want to hear any shit about being, about bullying children, because this is, this is purely anthropological. This is a, this is a, this is a matter of psychology and sociology and whatever other big words I can use. Five dollar words I can use to sound smart. This is not about bullying, as much as I might make jokes. This is about, holy fucking shit, this is where we are. This is our, our future U.S. Senators, huh? Born in 2011, uh, gender, girl non-binary, uh, pronouns she, they, name, uh, Avery, friends, and then there's enemies, obviously. Um, likes melater, um, sweet tea, precure, being loved, San Rio, cute core, McDonald's. Hates, being hated, ripoffs, grounded threats, and being terminated. So do these children think that the grounded thing is serious then? They get, like, grounded by people on the internet, and they, do they take it seriously? Like, I know, I probably no one here would be able to, uh, would be able to answer yes or no on this, definitively. But, like, if you're, if you're like a child and you're into these fucking grounded videos and someone makes a grounded threat to you... Do they view this as, like, a parent grounding them? Like, like, Timmy, why don't you go outside? Well, because Sanrio Xbox fan said that I couldn't go. He said that I couldn't go. So I'm stuck inside, Mom. I got grounded. Well, is that what's happening? I don't know. I mean, I, I just, how... You know, the term terminally online, this is what it means. We're already in the fucking techno-fantasia revolution, man. We're already into the fucking, we're already into the, 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 uh, the, this shit, this techno future shit where you're like, your children are now raised and they don't know that the internet isn't real life, apparently. They don't know that somebody telling them they're grounded on the internet is not a fucking problem or a big deal or anything. They don't know that somebody not liking a thing they like is not a, a problem. And and where are they going to learn these things? I mean, wh at what point? We're never allowed to say anything. It's bullying. Anything you say to these people is bullying and hating them. So you can't ever tell them that this is fucking stupid and they're just going to grow up and be fucking stupid. Like, I, what do you... Man! Who's the world's biggest jerk ever? Hurt fart infect. Oh, uh, right, right. So... Uh, right, so, okay, so this is the person that bullied the other person. Right, right. Color blocker blocks, yes. Flugel is no. Flugel's no. Bad news. Help me from this infection. Thinks you are bashing someone's opinion. And... This user... Hates me, too. Can you go block slash report? This user... We got a this user, we got a, we got a, we got a fucking ko Korewa user and a Sorewa user. That's great. We got both this and that. Awesome. Um, right. So, exactly. Uh, totally. I, absolutely. Uh, great, great video. Amazing fucking video. Jesus Christ. I, we sit through fucking ten videos from people sometimes and don't get a bingo like that. Holy fuck, we nearly got two bingos out of a minute long video without audio. Half of the fucking bingo squares are dependent on having audio. 
like two in a row up there that say loud and voice crack and all of this other shit. But somehow we got almost two bingos. Almost. Amazing. Amazing video. Fucking amazing video. That was a masterpiece of a video. Uh, hey, Claw, cream the rabbit's ears are backwards. Stop fucking bashing my opinion, you fuck. Her ears are not backwards. They just look that way. Shut up. Shut up. Literally shut up. Okay? Fuck off. Um, <laughs> five bucks from Nico Carrero. Eduardo Carocchio. Something wrong, Claw? You come here prepared to rant on a user, and instead you found a god! Uh, the dagoth er of users. <laughs> dagoth user. <laughs> that's, that's what we just found. 371 from Exile Postman. Congra congratulations, Claw bingoed! Yeah, I bingoed my pants. Hardcore. Five bucks from Darth Fruit Basket. I'm happy I didn't have the internet when I was 12. For fuck's sakes. And hi, Claw. Hello. Uh, yeah, it's a miserable, miserable nightmare. It's horrible uh, that this is our future. I mean, like, shit, I like being able to look up, you know, I like being, you know, it's like, I like being able to look up when I get stuck in a video game and I'm like, all right, this is stupid. I just want to continue. Let me just fucking look up what the- Oh, you were supposed to know to do this, and they- Okay, sure. You know, I, I'm, I'm cool with, like, being a casual and looking up a fucking walkthrough on a game. And not having to get stuck for two weeks and buy a strategy guide, you know, 90s bullshit. So that's great. I love being able to look up stuff and learn Japanese on my fucking phone. That's awesome. I- I, uh... But on the other hand... <laughs> but on the other hand... Yesterday's entire stream of TikTok people, uh, today's entire stream, uh, of users and children, and, uh, and it's, it's nightmarish that this is, I mean, I just really hope that someone steps in and fucking parents these people, because the parents are apparently unable to these days or afraid to, uh, they're either afraid to or unable to. And so they just allow the fucking kids to go on, like, living this way, and then, and then if you say anything to the kids, then it's bullying children. And then if you say anything to them when they're adults, then they've already decided on their 15 different fucking, you know, things in their head that are wrong with them that they've, like, you know, diagnosed themselves with. And it's like, now you're bullying an autistic person or something, you know? So it's like, you can never just tell someone you're being cringe and you need to fucking wake up out of the internet. You need to take off the fucking Ready Player One helmet and live in real world but no uh we're not we're, that's not i don't that's not a possibility that's uh shit sure. all right well that was some we looked up some users we looked up uh opinion bashers on youtube and just found that and it was great i guess we should continue doing that actually in fact let me look at Oh man, I shouldn't have even refreshed the fucking bingo. Because now I'm looking at the other person, at this person's channel. I mean, okay, it's probably not all that interesting. No, it's not. Okay, it's mostly just them playing fucking Minecraft or whatever. But. Yeah, this is weird though. This is a very strange channel. The suicide is a close friend of mine. Oh, that's who this is! We were laughing at the name. It's this fucking user. It matches up with this name, I guess. Yeah, I can die at any time because of bullies. Oh, man. That is... I mean... I like it go... It almost just... We got how to find all of the noobs. But look at this. You got 23 hours ago, six days ago, and then four years ago, six years ago. This was such an important event recently that they had to make a whole new thing. I guess there's probably also shorts and stuff. Yeah, there's whatever's going on here. Um, um, yeah, this, this account is dead because of Ali Alzia and some other people being mean. Meaning this account will not post or comment unless I'm talking to some people. Okay. You've named yourself I Can Die Anytime Because of Bullies. Dude, I just... 
Like, it goes without... It should go without saying that that is just absolutely beyond the fucking pale of pathetic. And it's not like... I know, I know. How can I say this? This person's gonna die if I bully them. I'm not trying to bully them. I'm trying to speak frankly. Telling people on the internet that they will kill you if you are bullied by them? Not the answer. Not the fucking answer, my friend. Not the answer. Uh, not, do not do that. Nobody do that. Nobody do that. Actually, maybe do. It would be funny as a joke. I mean, don't actually mean it, but maybe do it on like 4chan and see how that, <laughs> see how far that gets you. <laughs> I don't know, but, uh, yeah, no, just don't do that. Don't name yourself something like that. And, uh... And, uh, maybe, I mean, unless you, I guess it's probably just, they want the attention, right? Like, they probably want the attention. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being cynical. I should respect the mental health of the youth. But, like, man, naming yourself, I will kill myself if you bully me. So that's, that's a masterful play. That's a bold strategy, Cotton. <laughs> let's see how it plays out for him. Ah, uh, Right. Well, uh, let's go back to opinion basher here and see what we find. Let's see what see what we find. Um, you know, twenty six second video. Uh, well, we do have a video. I can see now why you suggested that I look this up, the opinion basher in chat, because there is a video from the the opinion basher, talking about bashing opinions. I'm sure that that's gonna get you. It's got him thirty three views, which is like. It's like, uh, what, nine views less than Suicide is a Close Friend of Mine's video got. So, I mean, hey, you're up there. You're, you're, you're rubbing shoulders with the, the greats. There you go. But I'm, I'm also not going to watch your video. That's, that's fine. Um, oh, there was also another rant from, okay. Right. Uh, well, uh, you know, that's fine. You, uh, not, not, uh, not endorsing that. Not definitely not endorsing that. But let me, um. Let's see, Opinion Change 2022. Wait, 2022? Oh, uh, sorry, Opinion Change 22. It's num in the number 22 Opinion Change. Okay. It's five seconds long. Um, it's five seconds long, and the video is Jace Lewis will forever be my number one hated user ever, and I will never like him. And uh, it's this, but shaking for five seconds. Um,. Let's watch Amish Paradise instead. Oh, at double speed, no less. Very intense hip-hop music, damn. Um, so, but opinion change, 22. We couldn't make this the video, we made this the description instead. He stole your boy Moodles' face and made him cancel his space adventure. How did he make him do that? How did he, by what power did he have to make him do that? Made him. Made. Holy shit. He protects bad users. This user. He ha cannot handle hate. Oh my god. Wow. Well, if every user who cannot handle hate had to be fucking thrown in the fire. Um. Uh, I mean, I don't even know. Okay, so Jace Boy is the bad one. I guess all 16 of these opinions were things he didn't feel before, but now he he's changed his opinions about Jace Boy. Um, um, he makes cringe videos. Markdown says something is cringe, but actually isn't, this user. Uh, or rather, says something is cringe, even though, you know, one of these types of channels hypocritically, you know, hypocrite user. Oh, well, fatherless behavior, too. Hypocritically calling somebody else cringe, that is a bingo. I, I forget the space name, but you'll, you'll, you'll see it if you're driving. Um, drama, obviously. Um, I mean, shit, maybe framing a user, possibly. Uh, rage, man, not necessarily. Uh, okay. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. He thinks Soodles Toodles, your boy Moodles, can be killed, but they're indestructible. And we got a bunch of, I guess these are emojis that didn't load in. So the, 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 pr the primary players in this story are Soodles, Toonles, and Moodles. Can't forget your boy's Moodle. Uh, oh, and also the Toondle Boy's Oodle. Wh what the fuck is happening? The Toondle Boy's Oodle. 
This is just another language. This is just another language. This is a new language. He copied Agent Pan Man's We Got Ears Say Cheers line. We Got Pans Give It a Slam. He stole lots of key doors in the Oodle community. Oh, it's a community. I see. And he thinks he owns them. He stole lots of key doors? Okay, I know I'm not going to... I'm going to get nothing from this, you know? I'm going to get nothing from this. I will not feel better doing this, and I will not feel... I will not have any better understanding of what's going on. Um, but oodles... Uh, I guess are... Uh, right, it's some autistic shit. Okay, got it. Okay. Look, I looked up a, a, a wiki. It's some autistic shit. Uh, great. Yeah. No, I, I knew that I wouldn't feel better or have any better understanding, but it's like, it's like weird fucking cringe OCs of, of, of this weird, like, triangle creature, I guess. Great. Awesome. No, it doesn't make, it's, this has not enlightened my life or brought me joy, but I, for whatever reason, I was curious. I wanted to know what the fuck they're talking about. Um, he's racist to me is the next, it's number eight. It's the, the middle one here is, is he's racist. Number one is he made him cancel a guy's episode of something, but number eight, far behind these other problems is that he's racist. Um, and this is what I'm talking about where it's like these people will do these, these cancel videos and it will literally be because somebody said that Sonic Adventure was bad, but I like Sonic Adventure and oh, and also they're a pedophile, like the, on the same level of, 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 of bad, you know, he's racist. Oh, also he, you know, also ma the main important thing here is he makes cringe videos, but also he's racist. Well, I kind of think that's a bigger deal. I mean, it's not, it's still not that big a deal, really. It's some rando. It's some child, probably. So it's not a big deal, really. But, like, it's still bigger than most of these things. It probably should be number one, you know. I guess it's not ordered, but hey. He booed baby Soodles. Oh my god, it just never stops. Oh no, okay, we already had Soodles. Okay. Um, Pseudo Woodles. Um, we got a bunch of emojis in this one. He keeps bothering me nonstop. <sighs> He is bothering Wario. He's bothering Wario. Mm. Be blamed Toon Universe for two things. What two two things? Did he do them? He keeps telling everyone to unsubscribe to me. SMM the Moodle Boy and Agent Pan Man. This proves Oh This user is also the opinion. This bastard. motherfucker! Oh he's bothering Wario! Um um, let me see here. He keeps telling everyone to unsub. Uh, he thinks Eli the Track Boy official stole his O Doodles ad rounds. Like, bro, he was just doing round two. I really wish they'd done the classic where there's like a one in here with all the exclamations. I mean, yeah, that's, that's usually done on purpose as as like a joke, you know, parody of that sort of thing. This this exact sort of thing here. But, like, man, it would have really added to this if one of these strings of exclamations had a one in it. That would have been great. That would have... It would have been such a subtle improvement, but it would have been, like, a full extra letter grade on the video for me. Damn. Why do I keep clicking the video as if the video has content? Fucking hell. Um, he keeps... Uh, right. Oh, right, because I'm on YouTube, and that's the way YouTube works, and this video's fucking retarded. Right. Sorry, I'm not bullying children. I would never do that. That's wrong. That's wrong. Um... We can only bully the specific group of people that are morally okay to bully. Because we are... I, I just... I You know, it's this thing. I get it. We don't want to be bullying. I'm not saying I need to be, like, leafy here. You know? Uh, sorry, leafy is here. Um, I'm not saying I need to be, like, uh, le leaf... Well, I was actually saying leafy here. But then, yeah, I, yeah leafy... That's But that's not grammatically correct. Leafy... I, do, I don't need to be, like, leafy is here. I couldn't work that into a, a statement. Like, Leafy does not need to be here, is what I'm saying. There you go. Um, I, I salvaged it, sort of. Um, Leafy does not need to be here. But, uh, you know, uh, you know, you don't need to capitalize for a full career on just making fun of cringe kids. Like, wow, I can't believe kids are cringe. But, 
It's just this thing where we're all, we have this like ex endlessly growing, increasing list of, of who we're not allowed to make fun of. But it's like everybody still wants to laugh at fucking stupid people. Everybody does. We all want to do it. Everyone. Everyone wants to do it. The Medicare stream recently had a poll that proved as much. Everybody, regardless of, co of community, wants to laugh at stupid people. And... And so we have to have, like, a list of fucking people that are approved to be okay to laugh at because they had the wrong... Because they're opinion bashers or whatever. They, you know, they they said something 17 years ago, and now that means, thank God I needed somebody that I was morally okay to bully. Because I, at the, my core, I'm just a schoolyard bully and I want to make fun of people. So morally, I needed a reason to be okay to do that and, and still feel like a good person. Like, no, just call the fucking kids video retarded. It's fine. It's really, it's good for the soul. I promise. I promise. I Believe it or not, it's probably good for the kid, too. I mean, hey, somebody needs to fucking tell them, right? Eventually, somebody needs to inform them that this is fucking stupid. Um, he stalked someone. This is another one, number 15, penultimate thing on the list. Probably should be up there with number one and two being, like, racist and stalker. And then the rest of this can be your other reasons that the person's bad. But I know it's it's probably not sorted, but whatever. Um, let's see, he, um... Oh, also, he wanted me to hate cause, because Eli the track boy official stole his oodle moogles. Once again, proving he bash apostrophe ass opinions. <laughs> okay. Well, how does that a bashing opinions? He stole your OC. That's a different thing. That's a completely different thing. Uh, and finally, he supports someone else. Uh, the another oodle person, I guess, who steals Kit the Cat Clubhouse English, who keeps on bothering ever <laughs> bothering Wario. Um, Zachary, <laughs> who cannot handle hate. What does it mean to not be able to handle hate when you make a video like this in the name of other people not being able to handle hate? What does that look like? Does that just mean- does, does you just, just turn into like the Tasmanian devil shouting slurs and throwing feces everywhere? What is that? Like, what is this if not not being able to handle hate? Fucking hell. And especially Diego and friends, like, bruh, he supports Elsa Gate and other bad stuff. He also stalks people and his show is cringe. The idea of these people, I mean, I guess that's where the joke, the, the whole, like, you just posted cringe, you're going to lose subscriber. It, it comes from this sort of thing, right? But, like, man, just the idea, it's the, it's the idea of somebody like this calling other people cringe. I just, Jesus Christ, I know you're just a child, whatever, you're just a stupid fucking child, whatever. But, man, man, what a shame, what a shame. What do you think this user's parents are doing? Like, what do you think... They're just in another room, like, booking a vacation, you know, or something. They're, they're, they're off, like, at the club. There's a, there's a babysitter at the home, and the, and the babysitter's name is, is iPad. They're just, they're just, they're just absent somewhere, I guess, and the child is engaging with the suicide community, or whatever. The, the oodle user bashing community. Um, oh, we got a message here from this guy's uh, Mickey Mouse OC, I guess. For a boy is ready for Valentine's Day, the emo kid. This is a little video for Maxi. He goes, look what he did. So if, if you guys didn't know, I broke Chase's rules. And guess what? <sighs> Maxi got upset at this, and he and what he did, he did this. He was, he, he told me, he called me a pig. Oh, that's some good art, though. I mean, how can I be mad about that, dude? Dude, said the one who's who, whose OC looks looks like an emo. Oh my God! Well, the OC looks like Hitler. Actually, it looks like a homestuck Hitler or something. All right, well. Sure. Um, <clears throat> that's fine. That's fine. That's that. That's that user. Um, calling out Sky's House Gaming for. Oh my God! This is this is what I'm fucking saying, people. This is what I'm fucking saying. 
Welcome to the new video from so for calling out someone who is both an opinion basher and a groomer. Oh, a zoophile attempting to groom Pect05 into thinking they're a zoophile and also being an opinion basher. One of these things is not like the other. Are we calling them out? Are you going to say anything? We're not going to say anything. We got no audio. We got no, we got another one with no audio. Uh, um, uh, f I mean, I don't know. Fetish, I guess. You know, zoophilia is on here. Uh, I guess. Should f I'm not even bothering raising the sangi. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This is just, this is just the way it is. Bruh. At Sky's House Gaming, why did you call at Peck05 a zoo pile for loving the character Nova? He is not a zoo pile for loving a furry zoo pile. character. If you have an opinion like that, don't force it onto people. Wait, okay, this is the mental- this is insane mental gymnastics. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I mean, and this is- so- so, you are getting- you are calling this person out for grooming someone, and the grooming attempt is telling someone that the character they like is an animal, so they're a zoophile. That's grooming, everyone. That's- this is the grooming attempt. We're looking at it in real time. I know it might be very triggering for some people to see such things, but this is an in real time grooming attempt that we are watching play out here, um, from two months prior. Um, it's, 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 it's haunting stuff, really. If you call random people who simp and throw characters slash furry zoo piles, you will get people zoo to hate piles. you and you will get a hate base. A hate base. I need to look up the word hate base, too. That's another one. That's another one of these child speak words that is now, like, a thing that apparently people have, I guess. You trying to call at Peck05 a zoo pile proves you're a groomer. That proves you're a groomer. That proves you're... It's the great thing about this is that, like, so I don't know, right? Like, are you just a retard? Are you just a retarded child and you think that that's... And you actually think that. Or is this, like, the worst attempt ever to be like, you're a groomer, cancelled, and it's, like, even worse than Hina Scammer Payback. It's just like, you said something is zoophilia, therefore groomer, cancelled. I mean, I would assume just retarded child. I might be, it's maybe too much credit, but, man. Man, that's some fucking mental gymnastics if you actually believe that. Holy shit. And possibly your a brain is doing fucking life. over over overtime work. Out. End of call out, everybody. End of call out. So here's the evil user, by the way. Um, this user is a random kid, apparently. So this is also a child, but whatever. They're they're a they're a um, they're a groomer and uh, and a doomer and a big time boomer. Uh, it's just a bunch of fucking like Roblox bo bo bollocks. It's garbage. Uh, uh, uh. Um, there's a bunch of, bunch of bollocks, a bunch of garbage. We need to look up the term hate base next. Hate base. Currently in the Disney hate base, all of my reasons why the kids channel hate base sucks. Yo, it's Jonathan's Media Shack. We know him, known user. Oh, also there's another known user here, Mason Velez down here. Is this not the guy who had the really good songs? It, I think it is. Hang on, where's this? Hang on, this is the guy who had the really great music, I think. Maybe it isn't. No, I can't find it now. He's got, like, playlists of fucking Ozzy Osbourne and Suffocation and Black Sabbath and ACDC. But I, I guess this is not the guy who made, like, really good music with him and Yoshi. I thought it was. Maybe it is, though. I think it is! He's just got so many fucking videos that it's impossible to find it. No, I think it's a different guy. It was a different guy. What a shame. I thought we found that guy again. But this is a good... We found this guy, though, before, and, and he's... This is a good rant channel. We'll have to look at him a little bit. But before we get to him, he's also got opinions about hate bases. Oddly about the same thing, actually. Preschool show hate base is his video. But this video from uh, Jonathan's Media Shack. This is two years old, too. 
It's about the average uh, mental intellect of the people that make these types of videos. This is a two-year-old video uh, from Jonathan's Media Shack. And I guess this must, must be a very convincing video. Uh, it's got about 2,000 views and uh, one dislike, 48 likes. Uh, Jonathan, take it away. All right, Jonathan, take it away. Hi, everyone. <sighs> Never mind. Jonathan, Jonathan took it away. Okay, well, Mason Velez is not going to let us down here. Mason Velez has got you. Mason Velez knows what you need. Great, good intro. Mason Velez's rant house and yeah this is the channel people just like request him to rant about I remember this now this guy is the dude who would just read Wikipedia articles and that would be his rant people would request that he rant th about things but obviously he wouldn't have you know like he wouldn't actually have any opinion about certain things so he would just have to open wikipedia and be like ah oh, this is what they're talking about and then just like pepper in like yeah more like ass like throughout like he like like he's you know the worst avgn ever i guess um I, I maybe he'll do that here but he's talking about preschool shows preschool show hate base which wikipedia article is he gonna pull from he's just gonna read the the synopsis of bluey all right my fellow peeps I just want to make a point on... Oh yeah, I forgot how good this guy's voice was, too. You assume. Obviously, so far with the stream, it's mostly been a bunch of fucking children. So you assume that it's gonna be that. No, it's an it's a sussy fucking 48-year-old user or whatever. He sounds like Sonic Sega Gamer. You know, it's exactly what you want. Yeah, the kid show hate bases slash... Baby show hate bases slash... Preschool hate bases or whatever the fuck you want to fucking call it. Okay. okay, so uh, I just cannot explain it without a gameplay. So let's get on with it. I'm gonna play Doom now. Oh god, people are ranting about the kid shops that I like. Why would you do that? What's wrong with your opinion? Oh my god, why would you bash my opinion, you fucking Nazi? Yeah, people are saying... Reminds them of Mr. Plinkett. It's like preschool Plinkett, I guess. Oh yeah, finally, there's a game... Plinkett pl if he had severe brain damage. Play of Doom. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So, on with this rant. Man. It's it's really toughing my ass up. Huh! It's just really toughing me up between toughen my age my and my childhood. Up. I just don't understand... Yeah, back in 2013, I just watched uh, videos of Caillou Gets Grounded. It, it was funny at first. Uh, opinion basher, I don't know how long you've been here, but we've definitely looked at Trolls fan before. He's like the reason why we have... He's like the reason why we have elusive user, or not elusive user, but like community-wide hatred for one user is one, is one that's on the bingo. I guess I should do a new bingo here. Hang on, get yourself a new bingo. We're on to we're on to we're on to hate bases now. We're no longer even on the same subject, technically. Um. Uh. Yeah. You know. Uh. Let me see here. Fake TV channel. No, not really. Uh, long pauses. Sure. Depressing. Absolutely. Go animate or other. I'm gonna say Gotcha Life is other. Sure. Um. Um. Animal in danger. Yeah, it could happen. Um. Sorry, I haven't made videos in a while. Love that. That's always a good one. Do we? Do we need? Eh, we might not need unnaturally long pauses and ominous silence. I feel like those could be combined into unnatural, like o ominous long pause or something. Ominous long silence, something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, we got a few here. We got a few here. Uh, and and uh, yeah, he's gonna be complaining about what really toughens his ass up. Uh, but then, little by little, it feels like it's gone way too extreme. Especially for, um, yeah, especially for Caillou um, being confronted falsely by Boris's red teeth clone. 
And with the racial slurs. Huh! Uh, you know, with the racial slurs and, and, and all that, you know. But I'm not talking about pencil neck right now. I'm t- We're talking about the fucking hate base. Yeah, people have pointed out that he's playing Doom with, like, God Mode cheat on. So I guess he's just killing everything in one hit. I... I'll tell you, if I had that ability for the fucking um, super cool boss fight that happens in the Gold Saucer in FF7 Rebirth, spoilers everyone, brief spoiler moment, brief spoilers, they have a new cool boss fight at the Gold Saucer where they make you fight Rufus Shinra from the fucking first game again. You know, the the remake where you, the, you fight Shinra? Uh, except now it's just the worst fight ever and the whole fight is you dodging his attacks until you get one second to hit him and counter it's just terrible it's just awful and it's also the biggest spike in difficulty in the game basically and there's no reason he's like a trust fund baby it fucking sucks why does this cunt have like why is he so much stronger than fucking cloud in this battle this is insane he's able to counter all of your shit he's just some guy whose dad was rich and that's why he's like the hardest boss in the game fuck off fuck off i would take a god mode on that fucking shit fuck that that's just bullshit fuck that but he's playing through all of Doom, I guess, with just God Mode on. I don't know why you do that. Doom is not... Doom is... Doom's not a particularly challenging game. I mean, I mean... Depends what difficulty you're on, I guess. I don't know why you would need God Mode. Just fucking play it on easy or something. What are you doing? I, mean, I, guess, I guess they put the cheat in for a reason. You can just play around with it. It's fine. But it's like, are you just playing through the game on, like, easy... Like, like Invincible Infinite Ammo Mode? Do you really need that? Eh. Well, shows. Doom 1. I don't remember if I was part of it, but... Is it the Jaguar version? If I would think about it... Are you Are you sure? How do you... How can you tell? And it makes me want to regret being part of it because uh, the, this community, this hate base... Play in the uh, Jag! Really destroys every community uh, among, uh, among people. Uh, among everyone who used to like the uh, childhood shows as children. And as a part of their childhoods. Huh. Like an example. I remember watching Sesame Street, and I enjoyed it as a little kid. If I have a wife and at least a child, I Why do we have, like, Plotagon now? What the fuck is hap- Oh yeah, I guess that's another thing he does on his channel, so I guess that makes sense, alright. You're left to watch it again for nostalgic memories. Oh my fucking gay ass bitch penis god. <laughs> Well, you said it, not me. I mean, I agree. That's shit. That's you can't say you can't say that though. That's my that's our word. That's my one of those words in there might might apply to me. I don't know. It's probably Blue. How fucking dare you like Sesame Street? You know that baby shows like that is only for little spoiled rotten kids, bitch. Oh God, pencil neck. Can't you take a hint that the preschool show hate bases are getting rather old? Because you watched preschool shows as a child before. Shut up, you stupid fucking baby bitch. Start <gasps> hating those stupid kid shows right now or you're grounded until Sesame Street gets canceled. Why are you canceled. like a cat? Oh, yeah. Why is she a Princess Leia cat demon? What the fuck is that thing? Way to think about that shit, pencil neck. What What is wrong with this human being? I mean, don't say the real reason. Don't say the... Don't say the real answer. Don't be scared of me. Don't say the real answer. Um... Um... But, like, what the fuck has to be wrong with someone where they're, like, doing this video? It's, like, it's one of these things, like, Iron Wrath putting the, the, the workout footage over his fucking cooking videos. He just has in if you've never seen it, it's this wacky guy that we looked at, you know, he was a big deal a couple years ago on the stream. Wacky guy who would cook the worst food you've ever seen. Not really the worst ever, but pretty bad food. And for some reason, in a lot of his videos, he just has... In the corner of his video, he'll have footage of him doing weird fucking lunges and, like, strange fucking... uh, Strange exercises. And he'll title the recipes, like, Power Supper and stuff. And I was always just like, What fucking headspace do you need to be in to make this and think that this is an acceptable video that people would watch? And it's the same thing here. Like, you... You made this video where you're playing God Mode PS1, apparently. Doom. Uh... And and you're playing Doom, and it's unrelated to anything that's happening. It's it's footage of your TV, it looks like. Like, it's off-screen recording footage of Doom, like an early DSP video. Like, I should be retsu-praying this. Technically, this is a retsu-pray right now. Except I'm less of a cuck than Slowbeef. 
Um, not not I'm not not a cock at all, but I'm not I'm just less of a cock than slow beef. Is all I'm saying. Um, you know, but uh, this is this is this is off screen recording footage while you talk about people that don't like preschool shows. And uh, and you. And you just randomly cut to fucking Plotagon characters in there. And it's like... I don't know. I mean, he's got 25 likes. I guess whatever fucking hate, fan base of people... Not hate base, but fan base of people... That have found his channel. I guess they must vibe with whatever he's fucking doing. This mixture of, like, commentary video rant thing... With go animate Plotagon nonsense... Is just in there... I mean, I think I remember that happening on the last time we looked at this guy, too. Because this is... We've looked at him before. We looked at this fellow, like, a month or two ago. But I just... I still... I'm like, how do you get to a point where this is something that you think you need to make and other people will want to watch? Apparently, other people do. Uh, you know, there's an audience for anything, though. So, I mean, like, I'm, I'm just saying. This is very strange. This is a very uh, non-standard video. Yeah. Uh, bashing uh, someone else's opinions over... Over a damn this challenge. user is also the opinion basher. The great thing is I stopped. Lo I'm not looking at opinion basher anymore. I looked up hate base instead. But of course, it's the same fucking people. So we're still talking about opinion bashing. This is just an accepted terminology. When I say this is like a new language, it's what I mean where it's like people just I guess they've all just caught into this term opinion bash. And other ones like it, like hate base. Just whatever community these people are all in, I guess some of them overlap with other communities and certain words pass around on the internet. And so now everybody calls each other users and says opinion bashers and hate base and all this fucking weirdo shit. It, this is the way, at least maybe not a full language, but this is at the very least we're seeing, we're witnessing how weirdo slang comes about. We're, is, we're seeing it in real time. Show. Oh yeah, and also, um, yeah, the kids show characters. Um, uh, yeah, the uh, hello, Big Jack. Welcome. Uh, someone in chat incorrectly said to you, "Ohio gozaimas." That it's excuse me, it's seven p.m. That would be a konbanwa. Excuse me. Fuck off. Get out. The characters from uh, welcome, Big Jack. Welcome. Uh, kids shows like Rugrats. Spongebob, and also uh, Mike the fucking the Knight, dialect, Lazy yeah. fucking town, etc. Yeah, they treat characters from other shows that are part of our childhood like they're the spawn of Satan. And they Skibbity, wish Ohio, dead. that's right. Oh, come on, that's just heartless as fuck. Why, why do we gotta say that? Well, if y'all regret that, regret that decision, peeps, I forgive y'all. But, but it, it's just... It's just shameful. It's just shameful as all hell. Huh. And also, He's yeah, fucking also heartless! Style rants on fictional characters from kids' shows. Yeah, like an example. This is some great music, too. I don't know what... I think that might be the Doom soundtrack. It's, uh, it seems like he's playing... I think there's some music from like the PS1 Doom soundtrack there. The, the Aubrey Hodges one. But that sounds more like the PC Doom. I'm not sure what song that is, but it sounds perfect for the. It sounds perfect for the video. It's it's like when I play Ghost Love Score. It's 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 the perfect, overly dramatic like orchestral one winged angel music to go along with him talking about preschool shows. Nickelodeon's Rugrats. No, more like fuck rats. Oh fuck my god, rats. Damn god, this shit show success. And y'all don't want to hear the rest. It's just too disturbing and too explicit that it's, that I'm gonna get flagged for this, but I'm not risking it. Yeah, I mean, can we mark? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do I have it? Um, uh, let me see here. No, well, unreasonably upset, obviously. Yeah, uh, I don't have it sadly, but if you do on your bingos, uh, mark down like unusual or out of place adult interest because yeah somebody pointed out the weird disconnect between him playing doom and like babbling about baby shows for literal babies actual preschool baby shows while he's playing doom 
the game where you, you know, rip demons' limbs out of their fucking sockets and stuff. Well, not the original necessarily, but it's still, it's a pretty gory game, you know? It's, it's a, it's a pretty adult game. I mean, I it's a very popular one, so it's not out of the question that, you know, anyone would play it, but it is very, un it is, it is very unusual to have this be the footage while you're talking about your actual shows for children, baby children. Beyond style rants on um, the fictional characters and the other kid shows itself. Yeah, and from the from various kid shows, it's just yeah, you know, it's just opinion bashing, and I, and it's also way too manipulating. That's not cool, man. Not cool. Not cool. So yeah, not only it ruins other people's childhoods, especially mine. It also ruins the. You know, the childhood communities of Noggin, Nick Jr., PBS Kids, Baby First, Cuba. Is this him acting out what he wants to do to the opinion bashers, I guess? Yeah, I mean, maybe. I mean, like, you know, you see these, these, oh, well, I mean, that's a good joke from someone in chat, but like, maybe that is what's happening. I mean, maybe that's the intended thing, or at least from him. Like, you, you see that a lot from these people, that these, like, weird punishment compilations and shit that they all do. You know? We have to actively, like, torture and hurt these people that uh, dislike Sonic 5 or whatever. We have to do that, apparently. So maybe this is... Maybe these A lot of these people, like, this is the thing, too, where it's like, oh, you know, I'm laughing at autistic people or whatever. I don't know, a lot of the people, if I'm looking at their channel with interest, it's because there's someone who makes me think that they might be, like, on the news eventually. Like, I don't care what's wrong with you when I look at your channel and I'm like, are you maybe gonna escalate? Is, is Doom gonna lead you to a mass shooting? Maybe you. I could, maybe. Uh, maybe. The, the, the opinion bashers, you know? Uh, you're, you're gonna, you're gonna give them what for? Is that what's gonna happen? I don't know. Oh, Disney Jr., and other preschool channels worldwide. Like, what the hell were they thinking with that? Yeah, don't forget about Cubo. Yeah, that channel may rest in peace. Yeah, well, if I do see a preschool show that I don't like, uh, like Baby Shark's Big Show, for example... Uh, I gotta be honest, I've barely been following anything he's even been fucking saying. There'll be, like, words he says specifically, but for the most part, it's, like, in one ear, out the fucking other. Um, I can't even tell. I guess he doesn't like... I, I guess he likes... Uh, what's crazy, too, when you look at videos like this, how often do you actually see the videos from the supposed, like, hate base? It's never people that think that they're... Nobody ever thinks they're evil, you know? Nobody ever thinks, like, Hitler didn't think he was evil, right? He thought he was doing a great thing. So you get people like this, and, like, I don't know, you always hear about, like, oh, you know, I can handle opinions, you know, if I see a baby show I don't like, then blah blah blah, but, like, well, there's probably a lot of people who would say that you're a hate base on something, and blah blah blah, you know, I don't know, it's very, it's obviously hypocrisy, but it's just... It's, it, it's, it's just funny, like, you never see somebody who's, like, proudly hating on something. Because everybody can't, you're not allowed to, you have to, everybody has to respect everybody's fucking opinion. So you can't be a proud hater of anything. Everybody is calling out people that are haters, but then you look at their channels and usually those videos don't even fucking exist or they just said, like, a minor thing. I mean, there's trolls, if a lot, some of, some of the time these people might get up in arms about trolls, I guess. Like, specific trolls, but... But we're talking about, like, actual haters that unironically believe these things. And and when do you ever fucking see these channels? It's always these people that are like, We're calling out the opinion bashers! It's, it's always out the people that are on the right side of history. It's never the people that are willing to be like, Yeah, I fucking hate Bluey! Fuck you! Eat shit! Die! You never see that. You never fucking see that. I'd love to see that. It. Instead of treating this show like it's the spawn of Satan, or it's from hell, because it just doesn't make any sense. Well, yeah, there uh, there are some preschool shows that I uh, that I used to enjoy as a child, but yeah, and some shows that I wouldn't want to bother liking as a man. Liking as a man. That's a big old word there. That's a big three-letter word you just used, man.
I mean, how old are we thinking? I, I, I mean, Mason Velez. And he's, uh, let's see here. Previously had 1.2k subs on my first channel. Uh, I previously have almost 420 subs on my second channel. Both of my channels were fal falsely terminated. So I hope you peeps will help me out reaching 1k subs again. Thanks for that, peeps. This is the third time in here he said peeps. Doesn't say his age. Uh, doesn't say his age. Oh! Uh, it's, I think, 1998. So, uh, it's because the, the, the ad is... It has 1998, so he's uh fucking what like in his mid twenties, early early mid twenties. So he's yeah, I guess he is a man. He is a man. He's right to say he he wouldn't watch these shows as a man. But how many of these baby shows do you watch as a man? The way he phrases this, it's like yeah, there's some baby shows for preschool kids that I wouldn't watch as a man, but you know not all of them. Do preschool shows that I uh, that I used to enjoy as a child, but. Yeah, and some shows that I wouldn't want to bother liking as a man. Uh, but well, some of them are great. I mean, Roly Poly Oli is a fucking banger. But, um, and some of them that I feel like enjoying it as a nostalgic memory. I mean, there's nothing wrong with watching some old shows. It's fine. Like, you, you grew up with, like, Scooby-Doo, Skibbity-Doo, or, you know, something like that. Like, I like a lot of the old Canadian cartoons from the early 2000s. So, like, yeah, it would probably be, like... A nice, fun experience to just sit down and watch some fucking What's With Andy or something, you know? So I, I'm not I'm not shitting on that too much, but it is just this whole... I mean, this combined with everything else, it is a factor. It's on there. It's on the list of, of funny things about this video, is you being like... There's probably some... Essentially being like, there's some, there's some preschool baby shows that I would still watch. I guess What's With Andy and Scooby-Doo aren't really preschool shows, though. I can't think of any actual preschool shows for actual literal toddlers that I would, uh, that I would watch. I mean, I'm, no, not really. There's some that I might have watched at that age, but I don't think they would have been, like, directed to, I mean, like, there's some that I would have watched back then that I would not watch now, but I'm thinking, like, as, as a fucking toddler, there was probably a few things that I might have had on that I would still watch now that wouldn't necessarily be toddler shows. They'd be, like, you know, slightly older kid shows. But I don't think I, there's any specific... No, there's no specific toddler shows that... Like, preschool shows that I would... Maybe Arthur? I guess Arthur. I would watch some Arthur. Like, that's that's a preschool... Okay. Okay, fine. I would watch some Arthur. I think that would be kind of chill. I like Arthur. I, I guess... Okay, fine. Arthur... Uh, Arthur counts as a preschool show. So I guess I'm also the user here. This user is also the, the preschool show baby show lover. Like Sesame Street? Rugrats? Spongebob Squarepants, even though it's a grown-up kids show. Uh, and also... Grown-up kids. Oh, yeah. Um, Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs. Caillou. Dora the Explorer. Wait, you like Caillou? Are you, aren't you? Aren't all these weirdos supposed to legally hate Caillou? Like, they have to sign a fucking affidavit that says that they hate Caillou and the little bald-headed cunt on that show. Super Why? Arthur, Zabumafu, Teletubbies. Man. Are these the shows you like? Do you still wait? Hang on. Do you still watch the Teletubbies and Zabumafu? Yeah. Um, Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs. Uh, okay, you're just yelling names of shows at me. What is the? I missed the operative fucking. I. This is the problem with Japanese lessons too. You you miss out on the one tiny little particle fucking hiragana that 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 like completely changes the whole context of the sentence. And, in, and it's just a bunch of random fucking nouns being spat at you. And, and it's like, oh, 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 I'm supposed to go to the fucking park. Oh, oh, I see. Spongebob pants, even though it's a grown-up kids show. I think he's saying that he likes these, though. I'm pretty sure this is... He's saying that he likes these. Uh, and also... Skeetis. Oh, what else to think? Oh, yeah. Um, Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs. Zabumafu. Caillou. Dora the Explorer. Super Y. Arthur, Zabumafu, Teletubbies, Blues Clues, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Curious George. So, okay. yeah, I, I would say, oh, oh yeah, you name it. <sighs> uh, so what do oh, I? Yeah, you name it. Probably most of the baby shows you would probably still watch. So this is. No, I would maybe watch Arthur. 
I, you know what? I'd get really, I'd, I'd do mushrooms and watch Teletubbies. I'll tell you that much. I would, if I wanted to watch, te like, maybe Barney even, there's probably some that I would, uh, oh, fuck, Nanaland, though. Oh, Nanaland. That would be a really bad trip. You don't want to do that. I mean, I, I disavow. I don't endorse, but I don't endorse that specific, that, that one specifically. Don't do that. Don't do, don't do that. I say, well, uh, that childhood shows are not from hell. I would like to say, correct me if I'm wrong, that the childhood why, show why the, hate bases. Why are we getting slime grunge music now? What is happening? The, the childhood hate base itself. Oh, yeah! yeah! The childhood hate base is from hell. <sighs> I just love these, like, invented villains that these... We, the, we have a new enemy in town. These invented villains, these new villains that they come up with in their heads. They, they just like, oh yeah, I, I've decided that these people are a gr collective of people that are the childhood hate base. It's not just that they maybe specifically don't like this one show, or they're trolling, or they're a child and are like a stupid baby and just slamming keys on the keyboard in all caps, you know? Like, that- that- none of those can be the reason for any of these- these comments that he might be talking about. It's a coordinated effort of trolls that are the childhood hate base from hell. I guess that's why he's playing Doom. Yeah, he's killing the childhood hate base. He's- 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 he's, he's extinguishing the Doom monsters to- to snuff out the opinion bashers. It's finally time. Uh, so, yeah, um, uh, just uh, take a deeper look as an example in your head. Uh, so, back in 2012, yeah, still making February Cyber 2012, Chase? Um, my dad gave me uh, the PlayStation 1 console with the, uh, with some of the games that I, uh, that I like to have and some of them that I want to get rid of. Huh. Huh. I did check uh, that I am... Um, that there is WWE Smackdown, Spyro the Dragon, other professional sports games that I'm not good at. Huh. Oh yeah, and I even... God, it's so funny that someone... You're not even gonna try to play the sports video games, dude? I mean, like, you're talking about PS... We're talking PS1 sports games. That's the prime era of sports games. That's when sports games were still, like, console sellers, like, oh, I gotta get the PS1 for the new baseball game or hockey game or whatever. People love fucking sports games back then. It's hard to imagine that now in our current climate, but, like, I don't know, it's just, there's just something funny. It's like, he gravitates to the baby games. He can't even, you know someone like this isn't tossing around the fucking pigskin with their dad, but, like, not even the digital one. Well, what a shame. What a shame. Uh, See, uh, shit. Rugrats search for Reptar. Yeah, I played Rugrats Search for Reptar after I played so, uh, some of the games, and before did I... Did say Sperm the Drag... I'm sure he didn't, but we all... I, man. Played some as well. That's uh, the Subway secret sauce right there. I liked Rugrats Search for Reptar on PlayStation, and I, and I would like to say that I, I regret getting rid of that game on my PlayStation collection just because I'm too old. Well, I mean, N64 football... No, dude. <clears throat> Dreamcast sports games. That's the real shit. The problem, though, is that a bunch of the Dream... I had. I was started to play one on my Dreamcast. It, it was like a baseball game, and it took up an entire VMU for its save data. Because it was... I don't know. It was like fucking 200-something blocks of fucking save data just to save, like, your career or whatever. You had to... Hypothetically, you had to buy this game back in the day and also an entire VMU or just get rid of all of your Sonic Adventure and fucking, like, Super Magnetic Neo saves, I guess, just so you could play baseball. But it was, like, the fucking hype as shit, though. Dreamcast sports games. Oh, there's nothing quite like it. Old. Oh, come on. Sometimes it's not an excuse to say I'm too old for this shit when it comes to preschool shows that I used to like uh, in your childhood memories. <clears throat> It's not that bad to think about it. Yeah. It never hurts uh, to watch pre- I like the person that's um, kind of nitpicking a little. And uh, it, 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 correctly to do, it's correct to do so, they're going. But it, like he said, correct me if I'm wrong. But as if he's only ever heard someone say it arbitrarily and doesn't know what it means and says it because it sounds good. I can't get over it. 
Yeah, he does say that a lot. I don't think he wants to be corrected. I mean, I guess he does. Maybe. But I feel like a lot of corrections would be trolling or hate. Like, that's how they would be viewed. So, I don't know. It's, these people are very sensitive. I don't know how much he wants to be corrected if he's wrong, you know? School shows uh, that you like for nostalgia memories. So yeah, think. Come yeah, it's hard to say. I mean, it's a, that's the the thing is like, I'll t it's hard to say. I mean, it's it's hard to say. It's hard to say. The thinking about it makes me want to buy Rugrats: Search for Reptar on, on PlayStation. Um, yeah, and add it back on my collection. Ah. Either the black label release or the greatest hits and so, green yeah. slash red release. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I even have SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge on PlayStation, and so he's just talking about all the baby games he has. Cool, dude. I I believe you. You know, you don't need to get. It's one of those things where like, we see a lot of this for some reason. Why is this DeviantArt a completely different name? But okay. Well, uh, we see a lot of this for some reason. This thing where it's like somebody feels the need to like prove their credentials. And I'm like, Let, no, you don't need to convince anyone that you're a loser. I believe you. I believe you. You don't need to. You, I, no one needs to be convinced that you're, that, that you know what you're talking about in this scenario. Like, I, I believe it. Um, but yeah, this is the guy, Mason, here. And, um, Salute House, the Secret of Nim. So I guess he likes Secret of Nim. Okay. Triple Salute House. God, I hate this so much. I fucking hate this. He's saluting some random plotagoner, some other thing, and then also Futurama. It's just... Like, I don't know, man. There's a diff- This is- These people don't recognize that the stupid garbage they watch on the internet that is made in, like, five seconds in Plotagon, or- or Go Animate, or Gotcha Life, or whatever is not fucking on par with a Futurama or even, like, a fucking Big Mouth. That's, this, there's a very wide gap of fucking quality between, between like, a, a random go-animate YouTuber and a real TV show, but it's all on the same level to people like this. There's Plotagon skits. I'm sure those are just great. We got some rants about movies here. One of them is the King of Fighters movie. I can absolutely guarantee you that what this video is, is it's going to be him reading the Wikipedia summary of both of these films and then occasionally saying something about how it's it's cringe or something. Let me let me see here. Let me see here. Come on now. Come on now. Jesus Christ. Play the play the fucking video. Play the goddamn you motherfucker. If you don't play this video, I'm going to shit in your pants. Okay, I played it. Okay, hang on. This kind of is a loud intro. Yeah, it's a little bit of a loud intro. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a I don't know. I mean, an intro should be a little. It should catch your attention a little. It's not a. It's not. A, it's not a specifically loud. I'm not gonna give it specifically loud intro. I don't think. I mean, I don't have it on mine. But like, if you have it, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So I'm not co-signing it. I mean, if you feel like it's a loud intro for your delicate sensibilities, that's fair. But you don't have. You don't have my blessing personally. I mean, it is a bit loud, but like, you know, it's just an intro. It's fine. It's not. It's not super. Okay, loud. my fellow peeps, looks like we got another rent house. See, this is the fucking quality shit. Cause you can get a video like this where it's obviously it's just this frame, but with uh, TTS Charles or whatever, or Microsoft Sam even. Uh, it's weird that a lot of these people haven't moved on to real AI voices that sound better, but. Um, no, I mean, the good stuff, obviously, is you get the real guy here. He's, he's here, he's here to talk to us. I wish we could see what he looks like in real life. He's all, he's always just this, this, uh, go animate fellow. But if this is accurate, I mean, I don't know, because I assume, because I hear him and I can't help but think Sonic Sega Gamer. I, my head, in my head, he's Sonic Sega Gamer. But this clearly doesn't look like Sonic Sega Gamer, so, I don't know, he's got, like, a weird little, like, I don't know, Mexican pedo stash or something going on. And he's got, like, Conan O'Brien hair, I guess. We have to infer. Is this a Misfits shirt? I, I don't know. Installment 
yeah, the double rent house shit. So, oh my god. So, okay, so this this is about uh, these two movies that uh, really makes our stomachs turn real fucking bad. Uh, so, anyways, let's get on with those pieces of fucking shit. Okay, starting off with segment number one, The King of Fucking Fighters. Okay, so this movie is a 2010 science fiction martial arts film directed by Gordon Chan. Somebody in chat is talking about a person who's apparently a new member of Origami Kingdom. What's happening? Who's the new member? There's somebody I should look at. Who's the new member? Uh, and it's it is. Is this gonna be his gameplay of King of Fighters? Man, these these fucking sprites are dope. I I don't think I like King of Fighters. I think it's, I think I've played it and I and I, do, I didn't mesh with it. But boy, these sprites. Based on the, of the video game series. This is like a this is like a team fighter, right? I don't I don't I've never liked team fighters. It's too complicated for my tiny brain. The only fighting game I like is Tekken. It's the same name published by. I don't know why, because Tekken is like a hard fighting game. Apparently, it's like apparently not as it's not as easy for people to get into Tekken as like Street Fighter. I can't fucking stand Street Fighter. Or Mortal, Mortal Kombat, or any of those, or any of the team ones. You have to fucking tag in Spider-Man to do a special move. Nah, no, fuck off. I don't want any of that. I just want Tekken. I just want to do an infinite air juggle combo till the person is dead. That's my that's my fighting game. SNK Playmore. This film stars Maggie Q, Sean Farris, Ray Park, David Leach, and Will Yoon Lee. Okay, so Hydra Spectre. That name sounds familiar. Uh, why does that name sound familiar? Is that a chat member? This this is a, this is an Origami Kingdom. Per I feel like I've seen that name in chat. Are you sure? Oh, uh, the plot is the King of Fighters is a tournament held in alternate dimension. When contestants are issued challenges, they enter the tournament via a fucking special Bluetooth headset. Really? A fucking- He's describing- what is going on? He's describing the plot of the King of Fighters movie, but he's playing the King of Fighters game, I guess because of copyright- Why does this cunt look exactly like Rufus Shinra? I'm so triggered. <sighs> he's describing this movie, but I guess because of copyright, he doesn't want to play the clips from the movie. You know, sh shoutouts, by the way, to how King of Fighters is apparently an enormously popular franchise in, like, Latin America, and they're currently in a stage with, like, Ola Mexican banditos with with fucking with fucking with uh with uh, sombreros and there's like are they in like a mariachi band or something? This guy's got like a violin. Bluetooth headset. Are right. you stupid? Are you serious? You're trying to make something uh make something with a tournament that requires something like a Bluetooth? I guess he's actually not just explaining the plot of the... Well, he is. I mean, he is. He's But he's not just reading the Wikipedia, I think. I think he's actually just, like, explaining it, like, on his own. But every time... Every other video we saw from this guy was him just... It would be like, someone requested that he made a make a video. It's like the old meme about um, I Hate Everything, where he people would be like, Can you please make I Hate Mars Bars? And then he would be like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to say? I don't hate Mars. What am I supposed to say about Mars bars? I don't hate Mars bars. There's nothing to fucking say about it. But this guy is like that if he actually did it. So people will be like, hey, can you hate? Can you make a video hating on Mars bars? And so he'll just go to the Wikipedia and read what Mars bars are and then be like, more like arse bars. And and that'll be the that'll be the the rant, basically. But this isn't that. This is it seems to be more from the heart. So that's good. That's good. With walnuts in it? No, Do you like spaghetti? Uh, okay, my Shiraniri and her boyfriend Iori Yagami attend a private unveiling of three relics at a museum in Boston, Massachusetts. Well, I'll be damned. The Kagura mirror, the Yagami necklace, and a Kusanagi sword. Rugal Bernstein, or Bernstein, storms into the exhibit and steals the three relics. Oh, uh -huh. hell. And uses oh, them to disappear hell. into a dimensional portal to awaken the mythical entity known as the Orochi. Who, who? When grants you motherfucker awaken the mythical entity known as you motherfucker. Oh, we all got fucking tricked. The Orochi. We all got. I knew it was. I knew I didn't have a ping, but I was like, am I? Is my brain broken? Am I brain broken? Am I like the? Am I like the super mega girl? Uh, uh no. I guess he just left in a ping. It's, 
That's fine. When grants limitless powers, the sword is revealed to be a fake, and the quest is delayed. Oh my god, you stupid! Oh my god! Oh okay, my god, Lois! Mine is by an injured Chizuru Kagura. The real sword is Saisu Kusanagi at the Mental Institution. Oh my god! She has warned that Iori should not be in... Darmok and Jalad at the Mental Institutions. With, at the Mental Institution, with arms held wide. Uh, 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 right, right, right. So, cool rant video he's just explaining the plot of this movie and it um but it sucks though uh well, well that's mason Ma mason oh but wait though because this looks funny oh this looks kind of oh this motherfucker okay never mind we have one more we have i got triggered i got triggered we have one more we got one more we got one more he's gonna complain about the good mario movie i'm so fucking mad and will these fucking losers see how great that film is? Fuck off! Fuck off! Uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie from 1993. It is uh, a fantasy adventure film based on Nintendo's Super Mario video game series. Uh, yeah, the first feature length life action based on the video game. It was directed by the husband and wife team of Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jenkel. It Hang on. Let me just, uh, hang on. Super Mario Bros. 1993. Uh, the film here on Wikipedia. Um. Ah, okay, hang on. Just sorry. Written by. Uh, yeah, the first feature length life action based on the video game. It was directed by the husband and wife team of Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jenkel. And written by Parker Bennett. Well, I don't know what to say about this about this film. I don't know either. What do you have to say about it? In order to say something, let's just get into this fucking movie. Let's just jump right into it. All right. Following the impact of... Uh... <laughs> Go for it, dude. Tell us about it in your own words, please. ...of a meteorite into the uh... 65 million years ago. The universe is split into two parallel dimensions. Surviving dinosaurs escape into the new dimension... Evol oh, were you not able to see it? That's a shame. Well, yeah, no, it's just the following the- it's the same fucking- yeah, it's the- He's just reading the fucking Wikipedia, obviously. Obviously, he's just re we we weeding the Wikipedia. Moving into a humanoid race and founding the city of Dinohattan. Okay, so this oh, is where, oh. it, where it starts up. Okay, this is where it starts up. Yeah, I had a feeling, because that's where you're describing the plot the start of the movie, yeah. Okay, in 1973... Oh my god, I thought you were gonna have an opinion, dude! Come on! Why did you stop reading the thing just to say, Okay, then, and then continue. Fucking... A large egg and a rock are left at a Catholic orphanage, and the egg hatches into a human baby girl. Well, I'll be damned. Uh, okay, 20 years later... Finally, some real commentary. He said, well, I'll be damned. Then Wikipedia didn't say that. Oh, yeah, how about that? How about that? Get James uh, get James Summerton on this guy. You know, not H-Bomber guy. We need J James Summerton to talk about him and, and his impact on the gay community. Um, in his own... Also in his own words. Um, um, yeah, so that's Mason. Ma Mason's a great channel. Um, I'm glad that I found one of his Wikipedia videos. That's That's cool. Um, so that's, that, that came from just looking up the word hate base, uh, arguing with the Disney hate base. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, I don't know if Tivy's still here, but, uh, your, your boy Jay Kaiser has a second channel or sorry, third channel. This is the third channel for Jay Kaiser, who, uh, we looked at a little while ago. I forget which video it was specifically, but it was something quite good. It looked kind of 
Me when F M D M F B user videos, blah, blah, blah. User videos. Is the user thing really taken off? I'm very happy about that. Because someone's saying there's a this user on Reddit. There's an r slash this user. I'm happy about I'm I'm very we need more this we need more user representation. We need more user videos in the world. Um no, yeah, I don't know. There's, these are all very short. I don't need to click on any of these necessarily, but uh, me reasons why MLP for the win TTG FTL sucks in my opinion. That's from Jonathan's Media Shack. Um, um, Jalen Rants number two. Oh my god, it's another one. It's another video about the same fucking thing. This is now three videos from three different channels just whining about baby show hate bases. Oh my god. <coughs> the baby show hate base. Has okay, well, I'm not watching it, but... No wonder why it ruins my childhood on shows such as Caillou, Season 4 onwards. Old Paw Patrol, Thomas and Friends, and a bunch of other things. That's true, especially when you mention you little Einsteins. Um, baby show hate base is old and overrated. And I start liking and be okay of other kids' shows that I used to hate. That I used hate. Doesn't matter if shows is of babies or children's or teenagers or adults or all. We can watch shows of kids and all. Example, I watched Maya the Bee, Heidi, and others the, and when I was a kid, but I can still watch them. What matters that aged shows are for everyone, including someone can whatever they want. Thanks, David of Portugal. Um, 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 nobody cares about Glory Hunters is this name. This is the main reason why the Go Animate Beyond rapper communities are toxic. And the uploader responds... Thank God I left the hate base because it ruins my childhood. These people are so unbelievably sensitive. I mean, this is what people mean when you hear, when you, when you talk about like triggered snowflakes. It's people like this. It's baby men, baby, adult baby humans who are like, my fucking entire childhood and life is ruined because you said little Einstein's was bad. Oh my God. Holy fuck. I totally agree because it's my childhood from Noah's Corner of Nostalgia. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I'm fucking certain you do. Hey, Noah. What's up, Noah? Well, actually, this is cool. GamePro.com Interactive CD, July 2007. Okay, well, actually, that, I actually want to see that. Actually, That sounds like a good video. In fact, that sounds like it could be good for the stream. In fact, that sounds like it might be a funny video. Maybe. That, that might be a... F you know what? We're saving you. We're saving you for another time saving you for another time but um yeah i'm sure you also agree that you shouldn't hate on baby shows right right let's uh it's got well no i don't want to listen to your fucking opinions get a voice and then i'll listen to your opinions i'm not doing the fucking i'm not doing the text to speech no uh but guess what it's everyone's favorite we know this user this is a known user everybody this is luigi hello it's a me luigi marinus it's a me luigi marinus gaming everyone again with the text to speech but he's got 78 comments here Talking about how you shouldn't be fan, uh, hate hate basing on the Illumination Entertainment. Um, something a small few have said about their movies is that Illumination only makes movies for the sake of toys. Uh, blah blah blah. I don't find it very. This is Forky and Anya fan two thousand nine. So this is a child. I don't find it very annoying, but I do find it very much too much back in my past. I mean, Illumination works very hard. To make movies for entertainment, not for money. Uh, what a what a sweet young s summer child you are. Uh, people are just making up excuses to make the company look bad. This is like scary though, because I mean, like we are in a scenario now where it's like you are a bad person if you like if you don't like the company. This is where we are. If you're a child, if you were born in 2009 and you're on the internet, you're going to be like shitting on people for not liking and supporting the right company. I guess it's always been that way with like fan wars about like consoles and shit like that. Console war stuff. Like it's always been a little bit that way, but it's worse than it's ever been. I mean, it's just so much worse than it's ever been. It used to be like just gaming and a few other exclusive nerd communities. And it, and it wasn't like this. 
This is someone who thinks that Illumination works for the good of mankind to make fucking Minions movies. Like, and yeah, you're a child, but like, I don't know, man, it's worrying. Who is somebody? Oh yeah, I didn't notice this person's name is Bazinga Status up here. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Bazinga Status? Bazinga. Um, but like, yeah, but you're a child. When is somebody going to inform this fucking child of how the fucking work? That's how it works. When is somebody going to inform them that this is not the way? That Illumination doesn't love them and care about them very much. And that supporting the company is not really going to do much for them. It's sad. It's sad. This is where we are. My most favorite movie that came out of Illumination is the Super Mario Bros. movie because it's a masterpiece of movie and it brings back some memories from the old Mario games we grew up playing. It's, uh, it reminded me of a thing it's, uh, that a corporation made. It's great. It's the best. It makes me feel like a corporation made me feel before. It's so sad. It's so sad. It's t it's it's so sad. And they're children, and it's like, yeah, whatever, it's just a child, but this is... Were we like this when we were children? You know, 20-somethings, 30-somethings, whatever, when you were children. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, I didn't really go too hard into the console wars. Because, I mean, even as a kid, I was a fucking weirdo centrist, and I was like, well, alright, but I like my GameCube, but, like... Why can't I play a better... Why Why do the games have to be tiny discs? Why can't I play, like, Final Fantasy X on my GameCube? This is fucking stupid. Why can't I play Halo on my GameCube? Just because the disc is small and, like, exclusives? This sucks. I want to play Halo. Like, I had whatever console, but... I don't know. I, I wasn't necessarily susceptible, but I don't know. There's probably things. I mean, I always have historically liked Nintendo, so maybe I was somewhat biased for them. No, wait, no, because on for when I was like ten years ago on 4chan, I I was like a Nintendo hater. I was part of the Nintendo hate base. I mean, I still played all their games, obviously, but like, I was out there just being like, "Fucking su new Super Mario Two? Are you kidding me? Fucking bullshit, dude." So I mean, like, I don't know. Me, me personally. I don't know if I've ever been in a scenario where I've been so devoted to a company and a corporation, but it's sad. It's really sad and pathetic. It's sad and pathetic. It's shallow and pedantic. Yes, shallow and pedantic. Um, it's like the fucking people that cry at Star Wars trailers. I mean, but at least Star Wars has had some fucking good movies. This, this is, I mean, this is just children with terrible opinions being made into corporate drones. I, I, it's, it's terrifying. Gaming and today I'm gonna rant on the Illumination hate base. The Illumination hate base, which I guess includes I hate everything and, well, yeah, the name kind of brings that on himself, doesn't it? And, uh, Saber Spark and whatnot. Uh, I don't know, I don't want to watch the text to speech video, but the comments are funny. I respect Illumination most of the time. Uh, despite a couple of movies that were bummers, like their only live-action movie, Hop, for example, they do their best to entertain us. What is this fucking weird brainwash that these people have been... What is this insane fucking, co like, corporate brainwash? They're just out here for the good of us, ma mankind, trying to fucking entertain us. They just want us to feel good and happy and make nice movies so we're entertained. Sorry, Illumination haters, if this annoys you, we can have our own opinions. It's not a fucking opinion to say they make movies to cash in on children and stupid people. It's just a shame that you're the children and stupid people. Um, hey, would you like to see Illumination work on the crash bit? Oh my god, look at this fucking comment. I'm not reading this. Look at this fucking... I 100% agree. Illumination is an awesome company next to DreamWorks and Pixar. Sure, they aren't perfect, but they do everything they can to make them perfect. Like Trolls World Tour Fan 2001. He used to not like Illumination anymore after Despicable Me 2, but then started giving some of their movies, S-U-M, some of their movies, a chance after watching Sing 2, and told me he's cooling down his hatred towards Illumination. Which I'm like, that's good. Illumination deserves more respect. I'm Illumination, DreamWorks, and Pixar obsess. In my opinion, Illumination does its best with its illuminate with its with its Illumin animation. So so there it, it's I mean I hate to I hate to be all fucking topical, but it just reminds me of this shit that's happening with this Gamergate 2 thing. 
with this like sweet baby. We're like we're apparently we're expected to all just be on the side of this weirdo company that's like whole entire prerogative is to just, like, insert themselves into things that exist and force them to change for various reasons. Literally said from the CEO, we will we will influence and we will make you, we will scare you financially into changing your, your media. And, and, like, we're supposed to be on this company. Oh, how dare you criticize this company? Oh, my God. This company is just doing the best they can to entertain us. What is this fucking insane brainwashing? We're just all supposed to... Like, we're, I guess I'm in bad faith, right? I'm supposed to be a fucking idiot and just be like a fucking naive moron and be in good faith, right? This person, by the way, here, this two, 2003 Mario Sonic, this is an adult. This person's 20 years old or 19, maybe, but they're an adult. Um, this like, oh, they're just doing their best. How dare you criticize the cor the giant corporation? They're just doing their best. How dare you? Monster! They're doing the best they can. They try so hard, and they get so far. Fucking hell! This bizarre corporate brainwashing. Stop being such fucking useful idiots. Holy shit! It's one thing when they're children, like this 2009 fan up here, but you're a 2002. You're a 2003 fan. You should know better. <laughs> Fuck off. Fuck off. I'd like to see Sing 3's villain be a mix of... Okay, it's just a bunch of bullshit. Cool. I like. I did like the Pets movies and the Dr. Seuss ones. Great. I'm sure you did, Super Mario Aaron. I'm sure you like a lot of things, and that's great. It's great for you that you're not a cynical asshole like me. I curse the knowledge that I have being smarter than, than most people I look at on streams. I curse that knowledge. Because it brings me nothing but sadness and, and sorrow. Truly. Truly. I, if I was just a, a blissful, ignorant fucking, you know, I love the Mario movie! If I was like that, then I would be much happier. I promise, I would super be happier. I am envious of these people being just this dumb. I agree to all of this, says Peaches Taste Good. Um, the Super Mario movie was the only good... It's good, only one problem, blah blah blah. The end the the logo was wrong, right? It's one of the logo people. Uh like exclamation exclamation. Sorry, I know you don't know me, hee <laughs> hee. Who are you? <laughs> this is from the Super Mario Brothers movie fan two thousand three, by the way. Which is not Luigi Marinus Gaming, but for some reason he's got a, he's got this, like, highlighted at, which imply, I, I thought it implied that it was the uploader. Bazinga status is back, by the way. Bazinga's here. Um, Super Mario Brothers movie is awesome. These are the fucking people who the Mario movie was made for. When I complain about that movie being a bunch of flashing lights and loud noises for retards... This is the fucking fan base. It's children, and it's people like this, who are like, I le legitimately, I saw the thing, and I know it, and I clapped. That's the reason they like the Mario movie. They s they know what, they did, what it is, and they clapped. Like, people use the fucking Red Letter Media meme for a reason. I know it's overused. There's a, f a lot of their memes that are overused. Like, they get overused, and I'm guilty of that. I know, I know. But... There are some where it's legitimately what they like about the Mario movie is that they know what it is and they see things they know and they clap. That's what it is. That is 100% what it is. That is the fan base of that movie. And that's what we're looking at with these users. These fucking users. This user. Fucking users. Um, looking up hate base again. Let's go back. Let's find some new stuff here. So that's Luigi Marinus. Oh, we're going to get a new one here. We're going to get a new one here. This one comes close to home for me. This one comes close to home for me. You might even say I'm being personally... You might even say I'm being personally mentioned in this one. Technically. Now, I don't necessarily hate it, but, you know, I've been critical of this in the past. It's a, it's a thing that has shit all over my childhood. A thing that I like in my childhood has been ruined and completely replaced by this thing. So I guess I'm part of its hate base. Of course, I'm discussing uh, uh, Teen Titans Go, and this is a hate-based rant about Teen Titans Go. Uh, 
you know, not inherently awful in its own right. I've seen clips from Teen Titans Go that are funny. Hello. Oh my god. The, the best text-to-speech ever. They got comments. This is six years old, too. Um, but man, but man, it's a shame that this is... It's like, what do people know of Teen Titans now? This fucking shit and that horrible live-action show. That's Teen Titans to people. That's what's sad about it. It's not that the show itself is bad. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine for babies. It's fine. There's some jokes that are funny. It's fine. It's fine. There's some episodes where they do some funny things and they're cr it's creative and it's cool. But man, I just wish that the real Teen Titans show was like also around still. I don't know. It doesn't need to just go on forever. It can just be over. But like, I don't know, Young Justice or something. It's just something like it would be great to still be around. Instead, we just have this fucking shit. It's so sad. It's it's so sad. Uh, uh, well, I'm going to listen to a little of this TTS because it's a funny, really deep, low, low voice TTS. Play the fucking video. Hello. This is Shadow Storm Trail 78 here, and I'll be talking about Teen Titans Go at a base that people still whine and complaining about this show all days long and give a lot of people a headache and other shit. Please note I don't care for Teen Titans Go anymore, but people have gone too far and make cringeworthy activity. I mean, like, you complain about TTS now, and it's usually so much better than this. People would listen to these. And it's another thing, too, or, I mean, maybe I'm just, like, an alarmist, whatever. I, I have a tendency to, get, you know, do this sometimes, but it's, like, you see these videos, and a lot of the people that watch this sort of thing are children. Children! And you see these videos, <coughs> and you've got these people talking in this really alien, bizarre, this user type of fucking way. You know, hate base and all these words that aren't fucking, like, terms that aren't real. Basically, weirdo internet, uh, like, terminally online made up fucking terminology. And then you also get this sort of thing where it's, like, these, like, robot voices and shit. And, and, like, I don't know, how many of these children are growing up being, like, kind of fucked in the head because they're watching this? It's the same with, like, the, it's the same with, like, the, uh, the Sonic Finger Family shit. Where they're, you know, they're it's they're, they're in their formative years. They're learning English, potentially, through the media that they're watching. And they're watching this, and it's this bizarre, fucked-up TTS that doesn't sound like any human being. And that's a, that's a problem. That's a problem. How many people are going to grow up not knowing how to fucking speak because they because their parents didn't raise them, and they just sat here listening to weirdo, go-animate, TTS, grounded, grounded, grounded... Fucking Charles t text to speech voice, Samantha Morris. I I talk about news that most media shy away from. When I see draw a art bashing on this showing other shit. Without further ado, let this overweight Teen Titans go at a base one of the worst types of media hate them. These had a base typically got nothing better to do by complaining and whining about Teen Titans go airing all day long, which schedules and bomb and begin overreacting. Did I hear the word end bomb? Uh, whatever. Um, um, Teen Titans go end bomber guy. Teen Titans go hate dumb has been dethroned by Loud House fandom remake that it reaches more views than is than this videos, but it still has the most views as second ones regardless. I guess you're, like, Spanish or something. I don't know. You are you can't be from... You can't... But this is so confusing, because then the, the description looks like it's actually got... Oh, God, this kind... This, uh... Look at this description. It was posted in 2017. It's got fucking four edits, because it keeps getting views. It's like, whoa! There's a, a, a views? Oh, my God! I didn't expect that! I hate that shit. I fucking hate that shit. The people who keep editing their comment because they get likes and they're like, Wow! Now there's a thousand likes?! Oh my god! Thank you! Please check out my SoundCloud! Um... Let me see here. Um... Oh yeah, we're almost... Almost 8 o'clock here. It's almost 8 o'clock. Um... Questions solved. The truth about Aubrey Cox's toxic hate base. Um, this is from Bananos Studios. Aubrey the Autistic Girl 2K2 should be respected.
What the fuck are we doing? Are you jerking off? What is this noise? Is this the be- hey. Is this the be- Oh my god, not again. This is the beginning of fucking fear of a blank planet. It's just- Hey guys. FY Animal Kim Kim here, and today, we are discussing about Aubrey's toxic hate abyss. Well guys, hate here's base. what I need to tell you. It's it, it rhymed hate base with hate a bit with database. That's great. There's currently a hate base for Aubrey. I hate a base. Due to how dramatic and childish she is, and also how she treats users and shows like a gift from God as well as ranting on users and saying it was an act. Uh, fucking rant. We're going to rent on a user. This is an extreme mega killer rack. Seriously, are you normal? Accident and being a drama king. <clears throat> well, let me just tell you that people are actually hating her for this. Wow. Take a look at the comments from a video of Kyle the awesome t <laughs> Fear of a user opinion, yeah. Team Guy 2K8. Oh, Madden 2K8? I love that game. Oh my god, we're supposed to watch- we're supposed to read all this, and you know what? Fuck you, I'm gonna. I'm done doing all of this, and I didn't even ask Kane Brown for marriage because I just like him, said Aubrey. Um, Brown, the star team, responded, I'm ignoring Aubrey, not involved in any user drama! This user- Movies and video games collector 2K7. That's his whole personality, by the way. That's his entire personality, is that he collects movies and video games and was born in 2K7. Agreed! And apology accepted. I'm glad you improved greatly. Um, and there's a bunch of responses to the marriage, um, comment. L's, there was a voice error. Aubrey, why weren't you listening? You said that before and you still are doing it, hypocrite. This is so in fucking decipherable. This is impossible to understand what they're fucking even talking about. And there's no, there's obviously no fucking voice. Yeah, it's middle school drama, but this is the way they're, it's, it's middle school drama is user drama now. But it's not middle school, is it? It's not. Because, okay, well, maybe some of it, some of them are 2K8, but Aubrey the Kane Brown fan slash autistic girl, 2K2, is a 2K2. She's a 2K2. It's not just children. Adults are doing this. Adults are doing this. And yeah, they're whatever is wrong with them, but it doesn't really matter, does it? They're adults. They're still grown adults doing this. And, you know, arguably you can say that there were always stuff- there was always stuff like this. There were always weirdo communities of Sonic RPers and stuff. I remember when I was a kid, I was on all sorts of Sonic forums. There was a Sonic forum I was on, I forget what it was called, but there was a guy on there who had a weirdly antagonistic relationship with me and he frequently- I was like eight years old- he frequently would talk about his schlong or whatever. And so, like- yeah, in 2003 or 2004, whenever that was, there were already weirdos interacting with children on the internet, absolutely. But it just seems so much more... I don't know, it just seems so much more prevalent now, in a way, where you've just got... It's like a... It, it's a it, the time is a flat circle. Time no longer matters on the internet. What... You know, what use is time? What, 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 what fucking, what does it matter age of these people, you know, when you're, when you're talking, when they all talk the same, they're all interested in the same thing. Some of them are 20 something. Some of them are fucking, f fucking eight, you know, and then you get these, and of course that, what you get, you know, what does it matter the age? You get these fucking people that are like, well, it's just, it's just someone that I interact with on the internet who happens to be eight years old, but you know, and I'm 30. But we love, we both love Has Been Hotel and Beyond and fucking, we hate opinion bashers. So maybe it can work out between us. You get a Tomatoa grooming da situation. This fucking hyper compressed reality of with no time and no space. <sighs> They're in the electric castle. No, no, we're not going to do the rest of this, but yeah, people are calling her a woman child. Uh, I mean, it, this seems to be like, if anything, this is middle school children bullying adults. Like, unwell adults. This is like blue spiked Christian shit, I guess. Um, 
Yeah. People people really think the word hate base is a thing. Um, is Juan Sanchez the Disney fan 2004's hate base toxic? Yes! Oh, it is. Okay. Well, uh, the channel no longer exists. So I guess his cha his channel, he deleted his channel because it was toxic, I guess. Um, so, so good, good. Um, they're put, you're really putting them in their place. Let me, let me sort, I haven't even sorted this by, by upload date or anything. This has all just been default, look up hate base on YouTube and this is what you get. Uh, let me see. Makuri shitposting haters and hate base is a dot dot dot. Heartless jerk! Heartless jerk, right. And there was, I think, a quote. Uh, Heartless jerk! There's a clip from uh, fucking Frankie's uh, imaginary home for friends or whatever. That show. That was a good show. Um, uh, this is a UTTP person. I guess the UTTP, the YouTube troll police, are kind of involved in this whole user thing, ultimately. We're going to have to go back into, like, the the shit from, like, 10 years, 20, 15 years ago or whatever when this all started the YouTube troll police, which was for some, somehow all children at that point in time and has remained all children at this point in time. It seems, or at least that's how, that's how it seems. Um, people are talking about various things. We got SpongeBob and veggie tales for the win. Velma 2023 for the lose. That's this person's name. That's this user's fucking name. Also, but also they double up with regular show Sailor Moon Fan 2080 as they're at. But their other name is SpongeBob and Veggie Tales for the Win Velma 2023 for the Lose. Um <clears throat> and their and their 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 banner and avatar is Luigi. So they really got all their bases covered. You know what they're all about here. You don't need to know anything about their personality, their hopes and dreams or aspirations, their goals, their views on life, their accomplishments, anything like that. But they love Veggie Tales and SpongeBob, and Velma sucks. That's what's important about this human being that lives and breathes and thinks, is that is that they is is their reaction to young Sheldon getting cancelled. That's 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 what's important. Consume. So this person loves young Sheldon and is very sad that it got cancelled. Alright. I rant on the farm. Oh my god, he's taken on Kiwi Farms, this madman. Oh, he put his thing into a text-to-speech. The farm no more like the heck. So, I mean, we can't listen to the text-to-speech because there's no, there's no punctuation. <coughs> But the farm, no more, no, 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 not the farm. More like the heck. That's the that's the joke. Um. Well, I guess we don't know the age of this user, you know, because the the we don't know the age of this, this person's probably like seven or something. Oh my god, this movie sucks. I will tell you why I don't like this movie. One, in the beginning, the young couple gets kidnapped after going on the diner. Two, they get they gets stuck by the masked animals. People who does cannibalism and cruelty humans. What the fuck is this movie? What is this movie that you're watching, child? That you're clearly like a little baby. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a movie. A young couple gets kidnapped and treated like farm animals after stopping at a roadside diner to eat meat. A young couple gets... That's the plot of the movie. This is going beyond Ramsey Bolton so far, dude. This is some child or whatever watching a movie meant for adults that's like they watched The Human Centipede and got very upset. Um, um, cannibalism and cruelty humans. Hang on, hang on. Um, um, the landlord and the henchman uses people for meat and milk, which is gross. The henchman smashes the woman's baby and gets exposed, which is child abuse. A baby, a, a man named Andrew, treats a woman like as heck and kills her and gets exposed. When the woman gets struck by a milk machine, she gets killed by the butchers. When Alec arrives and the couple trusts uh, to escape but it fails, Alec gets killed by a bear trap and is crushed by a rock after he and Nora gets alerted for escaping by the farm. 
This is like a fucking... Super Mario is so many times better than the farm. End of rant. <sighs> Great. Worse than Mr. Freeze, Ramsey Bolton, and Malekith. Oh, yeah. Peak review. Make him play Fear and Hunger. <laughs> Super Mario. Full stop. That's a that's a comment. Better writing than The Road. <laughs> this is how Babby is formed. End of rant is such great userism. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's the mic drop. I'd pay so much money to put this child in front of a Serbian film. I mean, you don't want to say that out of context, right? <laughs> that's a terrible thing to say out of context. <laughs> but in this context, why is this little child presumably, I mean, we don't know the age, like we're really, we're really assuming a lot with the age, right? This is, this is very likely a grown adult. I mean, there's no real reason to assume that this is a child. This could be a grown adult who is just like, it's like there's some part of them that's screaming about, let me out. I'm a grown adult. I want to watch adult things for adult people. Stop making me watch Blue's Clues. Ah! And like, and, and so they watch these things, but they fucking hate them. Maybe that's the reason. Or it's literally just a child is fucking traumatized as hell. Watching, watching this movie about like animal people, like people being turned into animals. Next up, Blood Meridian and Child of God review. Oh yeah. Yeah. Give me your takes on, uh, you know, the Red Wedding and, well, Ramsey Bolton, you know, uh, give me your, give me your takes on, I, I want to know how you feel about the Armenian genocide, dude. Tell me all about it. Give me a user rant about the, the fucking Armenian genocide. How dare they, right? Um, my reaction to Akira Toriyama died. My reaction when Akira Toriyama died, my reaction was this. That was my reaction when Akira Toriyama died, everyone. Very sad. <laughs> Sorry, I just got I, I just think about him, you know, and I tear up and I think about Chibi's song for him. It's it just makes me feel so sad. But rest in peace. Um, sorry, so, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, I got his name wrong. My bad. Sorry, Akira Toriyami. <laughs> Akira Toriyami, solo, one hundred days of Sodom, a rant. Bluey and Snuff 1981 fan. <laughs> I didn't steal the joke from Medicare. I was referencing the joke from Medicare. That was a great stream. Chibi gave a very special heartfelt performance about Toriyama. God damn it. You, you, I, how dare, how dare you? No, no, you got to go listen to that. It's a beautiful, beautiful song from his heart. No, I would never. Uh, my reaction to Paul Richard Alexander died, and it's Jimmy Neutron. Pe Peach, Princess Peach hate base. I guess people hate the Peach game. Okay, well, I I don't know what that said. I don't know what that said, but all right. Um, Luigi throws Robert S. V. G. C. P. My reaction to Cinderella's Revenge. I would really like to see this person. I don't know. Like they're, I mean, can can I can they be on camera or like say words or something? They don't have reactions though. Their reaction, my opinion on child abuse. Brave take, dude. Yeah, my my opinion on child abuse is right here next to my opinion on Rosalina haters. These fucking users. Well, speaking of Rosalina haters, speaking of Princess Peach game and uh, pretendos, we're, we're now done with users of this caliber. Um, let me take a look at the bingo. Hang on. Um, did I get any bingos here? Definite recolored OCs for sure. Uh, insane recording method. Um... Typing, eh, not really typing in notepad, but typing in like a, typing in like a text-to-speech program to communicate, you know, because we even saw the, the script that they wrote and put into the text-to-speech program. YouTube Kids, no. Uh, embarrassing Cosplay, no. Uh, no, no bingo for me. No sex for me, thanks. Um, uh, no bingo for me. Um, 
But, uh, you know, I'm sure some somebody might have got a bingo out of that one. There was some promising stuff there. Re refresh your bingos because we're looking at another user here. And this is one we looked at him like a week or two ago. I really enjoyed this guy. I wanted to look at some more of his stuff. He is potentially a troll or potentially just the bit. This is continuing very much in the frame along with the framework of um, defending with my last breath a corporation that hates me and and hates and and hates my guts and wants me to die. Uh, this is Harman Smith, and. Um, he is a big time Nintendo fan. He loves Nintendo. He's such a Nintendo fan. He's such a Nintendo fan that in a video talking about Gamergate, not even Gamergate 2, not even this whole sweet baby bullshit that's been happening, none of that, but just a 10 years late video talking about Gamergate, but also several months early to actually be talking about like, uh, as like a as like an anniversary thing. It's a few months early, but it's 10 years, calendar years, I guess. Uh, he made a video talking about Gamergate. We watched it. It was an incomprehensible fucking thing that was like, kept mentioning games that came out like a couple years ago in reference to a hashtag from 2014 that lasted for a couple months. Um, it, tw uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. And then it kept coming back to how ultimately Nintendo was really the hero's the real thing, Gamergate ultimately was uh, a pushback to companies that weren't Nintendo, in his opinion. He also had some strong opinions about emulation. Emulators are bad. He had no real reason why they're bad, other than uh, Nintendo's great and you should you should support them. Yeah, uh, you should buy Nintendo products and 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 buy Nintendo accessories. Um, um, there was not really any actual. Like, there was the reason that sometimes emulators crash and have like visual bugs, but. I mean, counterpoint, a lot of the time they don't, though. So, I mean, there you go. Um, uh, 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 so, yeah, this guy, uh, Harman Smith, he's here, and he is a rant channel. You know, he talks the, the rant sort of cha I, rant channel, I guess you, you might say. I mean, he, he, he talks about various gaming news and stuff. Um, he's calling in this one. This is one I wanted to see. He calls uh, Nintendo Channel Arlo. It's basically, it's a guy with a puppet who talks about Nintendo games. Uh, it's less cringe than it sounds, but it's it's a little cringe. He's very he's very He'll talk about the things Nintendo does wrong, but then he'll still just be a Nintendo shill till the day he dies So it's like I guess whatever Like he'll he'll bring up in some passing context like oh, I really don't like that Nintendo did this thing um, But then he'll still just buy every Nintendo game and give them glowing reviews on everything they do all the time all the time um and this guy, uh, contrary to that, see, that makes Arlo a pretendo. This guy loves everything that Nintendo does and will never say that they've done anything wrong under any circumstances whatsoever. And you are a piece of shit if you think that Nintendo's bad. Look at the Mario hat in the, on the hat rack over there, along with the leather jacket. You see, and he's wearing a One Piece shirt here. I'm surprised he's allowed to like One Piece because Nintendo didn't make it, but... Um, he's gonna talk about because I think Arlo doesn't even he doesn't even hate the the Peach game. He's not even part of the Peach games hate base. Uh, I think from what I understand, Arlo's problem with the Peach game is that it's too uh, easy. It's just too easy, and so um, that's why he's a pretendo and he's attacking Princess Peach Showtime, according to Har Harman here. So uh, let's let's watch. Right now, the Pretendos are desperately trying to find. I fucking love that he's unironically using a word the 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 word Pretendo. That's great. I'm just out of the gate. That's great. Something to hold. He has an upcoming novel. Pre-order my upcoming novel. Oh my god, he has books. He has books. What do you mean he has books? Oh no. Oh no. Chat, chat, you want to see the cover on Amazon for the book that he's releasing soon? I know you. a lot of you don't have the context for who this guy is and why this might be funny, but this might give you context. This might, if you haven't seen Harman Smith, this will give you some understanding of who he is. The book that he has coming out, I'll read the synopsis for you here, and then I'll show you the, the cover for it. In a small town in southern Indiana, a cult worshipping the arch-fiend Ignis controls everything. 
All manner of atrocities are committed every day against the people of this town in the name of this great demon. Those not in the inner circle of this cult suffer and die at, at their hands in hopes that, comma, someday, comma, they will have the chance to become one of them. Um, oh, that's the first paragraph. In order to become a witch among the cult, a young woman named Sinestra burns alive several thousand people as an offering to her demon master. However, one of those she was meant to sacrifice is spared. This boy, um, vowing revenge against the evils of the cult, seeks a way to destroy them, but his enemy is too great, and he is forced to travel north to find new and powerful allies. Many years later, he returns, intent on eliminating this threat once and for all. To the north? So he goes to Canada? Because this is in America, right? This is American. Um, I guess his real name isn't Harman Smith, because the name on Kindle is Cody Lee. Um, but anyway, so that's the plot of it. It's a, it's like a fantasy. So it sounds, it doesn't sound su super terrible. You know, I mean, like, just the description, it doesn't sound so crazy bad. I mean, it's a, uh, cult in a small American town, you know? It's kind of a, 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 a kind of a fantasy, modern day fantasy story. You know, it doesn't sound so, so, so bad. That could maybe be. There's some, some silly parts, like Sinestra. She burns thousands of people alive. Several thousands. Um, but, uh, this is the cover for it on Amazon. And I would assume that this is Sinestra, uh, I guess. This is Sinestra. And, uh, I, I would assume. Right? Um, um, so... You know, I mean, I don't know if this is an anime character that exists and he's just using her art. Maybe it's AI. It's probably AI generated, I would assume. He he went on to the AI and said, make me a sexy blonde anime waifu. Um, uh, and and it did that. And, um, and so that's the cover of his book, I guess. Um, so presumably, and like, you know, it's not even really alluded to in the description. It's like there's Sinestra and then there's a boy and yada yada. Without this cover, I don't know that I would have really assumed this, but I I assume that the, the story is ultimately young boy self-insert for the author winds up being with sexy blonde anime lady. And that's the story, um, I, I would assume. It's the plot of Loveless, I guess. We're going to take on Varvados, I suppose. God, they really put that in the game, and then five minutes later is the worst boss fight ever, and it's not even from the original, and it's just like, hey, you want to have Sid and Vincent as party members? Eat some shit. Do this boss fight. Sorry, anyways. Um, um, anyway, so that's that's his book. Uh, that's one of his books. Apparently, he has other books. He has other books on, Kin uh, on Kindle here. Um, very interesting. Very, oh, he has, he has five other books. So, okay, we'll look at these in due time. I want to listen to some more of his opinions about about Mario and stuff. Um, and then we'll take a look at some more of his cool books. And uh, I'll, I'll show you some more of those. But here's his opinions on Mario. Uh, he's got, is this Zoro? I think that's, yeah, Roronora Zoro. He's got a Zoro wanted poster on his, on his shirt. You know, I guess that's, you know, I, I guess it's good to know that he has a shirt that isn't the um, Big Trouble in Little China shirt. Let me generate a bingo here. We got this user. Um, we've got hypocrite user. We've got um, Gunt, definitely. You don't see it. It's slightly out of frame, but it's there. Um, I think he's a brony. Can anyone confirm he's a brony? I don't know if he's a brony. I, is he a brocomotive? Is he a train boy? Uh, I don't know. Um, but claims to be bullied. Uh, Nintendo's being bullied. Does that count? Uh, I'm in a silence. Yeah, social. Oh, only cares about. Anytime he's ever cared about a social issue, it has been because it it can in some way be used as leverage in his Nintendo arguments. But I don't know that that needs to be marked right now. We'll see. We'll see. If he was wearing the 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 leather jacket, I would do trying hard to be cool. But not just yet. Not just yet. Um, let's uh, let's go. Let's go against Super Princess Peach Showtime. Oh, Super Princess Peach. Princess Peach Showtime. Like, they've been trying to manufacture controversy about this game for a long time. Like, I've seen people say it's woke. I've seen people say it's anti, like, uh, it's too feminist. Who's... Like, I've seen, what? like, <laughs> I've seen people say it's not a real Mario game, that it's a low-budget title, that it's not that it's not a major release, that it's a mini-game click. Why does this guy care? I mean, I, I, that's probably too high level of a question, right? But, like, why does he give a shit? It's, uh, that is a question that's too far beyond 
like his scope of understanding. I don't think he knows why he gives a shit. If you asked him that, I don't think he could give you a real reason because I don't think he actually knows why he gives a shit. But like, really, why does he? I mean, and again, don't say, don't say the real reason. Don't be scared of me. Don't be scared of me. Don't say the real reason. Um, don't, um, but like, what the fuck? Why do you care? What, who gives a shit? Uh, some people online are saying stupid things. Uh, okay. I mean, I, I did the, 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 I did the stream recently where I looked at the people that were like saying really fucking dumb reviews. Uh, they had really dumb reviews of FF7 Rebirth. I mean, that was because there were some specific reviews that were like, wow, you seem like you're just an unpleasant person that has like problems enjoying things and you're just, you just seem like you, you've got some problems in your life and you might be like a kind of a, kind of not a cool person to be around. I don't know. The, the old me, the, the old joke of like, oh, you seem fun at parties. Like that, that was that stream. But this guy, I mean, just pretendos attack Princess Peach. What? Who cares? Why? Who ca cares? Why do you need to be Nintendo's biggest soldier? Why? Why? Why do you need to be Nintendo's like most loyal soldier? I don't get it. Like there, there's all this like weird slander being thrown at this game. I imagine because there's this very strong desperation from the community to to uh, continue to um, pretend as if like the Xbox and PlayStation are relevant. Right. Right now, Princess Peach Showtime is like the first is like the major Nintendo Switch release of the year. And uh, everyone's trying to downplay it. Everyone's trying to like, like, hate on. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just doing my best imitation of the way his voice sounds. Of the game and, and like make things up about it and create conspiracies about it. Right. Conspiracies. And it's get, gotten the really. Well, weird... I mean, it is kind of fucking weird in your in your title of your video. It says. They won't admit admit who made it. Nintendo won't admit who made it. That's a that's like even not for you. That's a weird. Don't you see how that's kind of fucking strange? I I don't know. I didn't even know that. I, you're you are informing me of this, and this this wording makes me wonder. It's got me cocking an eyebrow. Why won't they admit who fucking made this game? Who's why are they not giving credit to the developers of the fucking game? What the fuck's going on? Weird weird territory uh so much so that i haven't even really talked about a lot of it yet like a big reason i haven't talked about this game before is that like i felt like nintendo hasn't shown it enough but now that i've like played it myself i i can tell you that the game is stellar and i'm really looking forward to it is harman smith a reference to killer seven oh okay because yeah no his real name is apparently not that i have not played killer seven i know that it's a great time to play naked in that one guy's apartment while he um, he jerk. Well, no, he jerks off naked while you play Killer Seven, and he gets to and jerk off watching you play Killer Seven and enjoy it. And you, for you, you what you get is the fun and exclusively fun good time of getting to enjoy the great game Killer Seven for the Nintendo GameCube. Um, and not this guy, not this guy. Just there was a that was a famous Craigslist article uh, from a from a user that I that I am like tangentially connected to. Bane's not here. But he knows DJ Orwell. He's the classic I feel wonderful guy with the Halo 4, Ode to Halo 4 video. Great, great individual. Great individual. So, what has happened? Like, what is the controversy I'm, or I'm referring to? Like, what could be so unbelievably obnoxious that it has Harmon Smith making a video? Like, we all know how difficult it is for me to, get, to complain about things what? that people have said about Nintendo on the internet, but like princess beat showtime he really? makes a million videos all the time all of his videos are like the same video it's just him fucking bitching about some video game news thing that's happening and in some way mental gymnastics-ing it so that it can be nintendo do did nothing wrong nintendo great everything nintendo does is great what is he like joking i this is like maybe he is trolling maybe he's just trolling to get people to look at his books maybe that's the ga the, now that's the gambit he's just he's just pretending to be a fucking weirdo mario baby man uh the bing bing wahoo warrior so that people will like look at his books i guess it worked i did look at them i'm gonna continue to look at them as we go we got more books there's five other books there i want i want to read the descriptions and see if we can glean anything about this guy's psyche he has been a weird magnet for this kind of stuff and i do think it is purely because it's the 
the upcoming Nintendo Switch, the major upcoming Nintendo Switch exclusive. All right, this is just trying to downplay the Switch. Let's not, let's not like um, downplay the Switch, the console that came out like seven years ago or something. I don't know. Who gives a shit? I, the console is pretty old now. It's like it's a. Can we? I don't know. It's fine. Can we have a new one? And what, what do you mean downplay the Switch? It's fine. It still has games on it, and people still play them. What is your? What do you even mean downplay it? Because it's not the new one, I guess. I, I mean, Sony's apparently discontinuing the fucking PS5 in like a couple years. So I, I mean. <laughs> you know, you got that win at least. Hey, let's not. Uh, what? What do you? How do you say it? Like they're uh, bothering the switch. Is, is that the expression? Let's not like. Uh, let's not ignore the reality of the situation. Okay, this is like the anti Nintendo gen agenda at its finest, right? This uh. is pure pretendo copia. So, what oh. am I actually talking about? Like, what are people upset about? What are people complaining about? They're complaining that they don't know who made the game. That's right. Somebody says that you can tell based on his like his body language that he's trolling. I mean, like he seems to be a V person, though. I mean, it's possible that he is just like a V troll. He's talked about 4chan and other videos, and and like it's possible. But like I know V people. There's every chance that this is just a real person, though. I mean. The guy, I, I, there's a chance I was on the fucking same forum as him at the same goddamn time, making the same tweets, or the, the same tweets. Wow, yeah, tweeting on 4chan. <laughs> there's a chance I was on the same fucking board at the same time as him, calling the same things bad. Um, I mean, maybe he wasn't always a lifelong Nintendo fan. Maybe he also hated Nintendo at the time that I hated Nintendo. Probably not. But the point is, I've seen people like him, and I mean, whether or not he's a troll, I mean, he, the dude has framed artwork of, like, the, the Star Fox 64 box art. It's not even artwork, it's just the box art. It's just the box art in a frame on his wall. I mean, I don't know, man, you are you live in, like, the fucking Mari, you live in the, you live in the Iwata basement, in basement. you've got, like, a weird breaker over here, there's a kitchen off, like, stage left over here. The like, yeah, he's got. There's you can't even see it. There's like bars on the wall over here. Like he's in a basement. He's in it. He literally, mommy's basement. Pipes on the walls. There's probably a, mach a washing machine going in the other room. Mama's come to do his to do his sheets once a year, you know. So it's like whether you're trolling or not. Unless this is his house that he owns, and he's decided to dedicate one room of it to. You know, funny trolling. I guess that's fun. I guess that's something, but it just seems like it's it's one of those things where like, all right, I I get that you think you're joking, but I mean, if he is trolling, it's still it's like there's still a level of path uh, p pathetism. There's some pathetism here. Hey, Nintendo, for some reason, has uh, not played good feel games openly for the development of Princess Peach Showtime. And there's been a lot of uh, speculation as to why they did the same thing for another Code R. Like, there, there's been, like, all this talk and speculation, like, oh, is it uh, is it produced in-house? Is it produced by a, a studio we know? Is it a new studio? Is it made by mixed level games? Like, there was all this, like, discussion about this. But uh, people really tried making a conspiracy about the situation people really tried to pretend well you remember that time nintendo didn't properly credit the people that made metroid dread you know maybe that's why i mean you you say in your video title they won't admit who made this game that's a very weird wording from you i mean that makes me think maybe it is incendiaries like but it's that would be so finely crafted you're like you're doing counter trolling in your own fucking title like that seems unlikely it's most likely that he's just you know uh it, that's just the, like a slip of the tongue freudian slip kind of thing nintendo won't admit who made it it's such a weird way of saying it i don't even know that and now i'm like skeptical of this fucking game what does that even mean that's weird that's weird that this proved 
that this was like a D-list studio making the game and it wasn't going to be any good and stuff like that. And I do think this kind of goes into like the root of the problem as to like why Nintendo isn't talking about like uh, studios who make games pre-release because I've noticed this too and maybe you have. Um, maybe there... we have everyone. Maybe we're going to be on his side on this one. Um, this, this is a root of a problem. Nintendo specifically not crediting who makes a game for some reason. They've got a reason for this. Okay. Is the reason going to be that this company is the one that made Yoshi's New Island or something? Like, like the only thing I can think is they're, like, embarrassed that, like, oh, they made fucking, you know, Ch Chibi Robo Zip Lash. That was their last game, and now it's Princess Peach Showtime, and oh god, we don't want people to find that out. Uh-oh. But, like, I kind of doubt that, even. I mean, I don't know. There has been a lot of discrimination against certain studios in recent years, right? I remember when, like, Next Level Games got acquired by Nintendo and everyone tried to say they were, like, a bad acquisition or whatever. And I was, like, very, very open about that, where, like, I was just like, Next Level Games is awesome. You know, they produce, like, Luigi's Mansion 2 and 3. They produce, like, Mario Strikers. They produce, like, Punch-Out Wii, you know, which is a fantastic Wii game in its own right. Like, Next Level Games is awesome. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Are they the ones? I think they're the ones that tried to make a Kid Icarus reboot or Zelda or something. I think it was the Punch Out Wii devs that had like a, an idea for a reboot of some series, and there was like some concept art. It looked kind of cool, and Nintendo just shut them down. I might be thinking of a different company, but yeah. Okay. So they acquired this company, and people were people mad about this. I, what is this? This has to do with it, this in some way, I guess. This is another developer for Nintendo, I guess. So. Um, I guess this is related. Okay. Federation Force, like they've had a. <laughs> oh, they made Federation Force. Well, fucking sign now, more sign now, more fucking. They mean they mean Metroid Prime Federation Force. Like it's that's one maybe you know you know that's one of the things. It's like maybe the last game this company worked on was Federation Force, and that's why they don't want people to know that their next game is Princess Peach Showtime. Maybe that's why Federation Force is not even that bad, really. But it's not that good either. I played it. It's not... People really did that thing where they're like, No, it's better than they said it is! It's, it is, it is. Uh, by a little bit. By a little... It's not that much better. It's like Metroid Borderlands. It's not great. It's not great. But, okay. Alright. Really good track record working on Nintendo properties. And I'm really happy to see Nintendo acquire them. And have some Western talent under their belt, right? You know, they are probably Nintendo's best Western studio right now. And don't tell me Retro is better! Because Next Level Games actually produces content. So, so yeah, I was very, very, very... I don't know that this guy's trolling with his mannerisms or anything. This seems like just a person talking. I mean, he seems like he's got, like, Spurg talking face, you know, uh, a little bit. Like, he, he kind of, I don't know. I, I don't think it's like he's trying to specifically do, like, mannerisms that are trolling people. I, I can see what you mean, the way he kind of leans on his chair in, like, an arrogant sort of way, maybe, but... Other than that, I think that's just again. I think that's just who he is. I'm I'm really leaning hard on this is just a very unfortunate person who lives like this, and this is his, this is actually who he is. Defensive of uh, next level games when that happened, but I think that situation kind of um, kind of established like the trend that a lot of people uh, have have fallen into, right? The trap, like thinking that only in house is worth supporting right only nintendo's internal studios produce good nintendo games and if it's something is second party or third well, party... i mean i don't trust anything this guy says though so when he says that like every nintendo game they've ever made is good according to him probably he'll probably have like one or two that he's like oh this one was bad this game from 20 years ago i didn't like this one and it's probably one that a lot of people like too like i i don't know i'm just guessing but uh, you know, I mean, he mentioned Super Mario Strikers, next level games. Did they make the old one or did they make the new one? Because there's a new Super Mario Strikers and it's one of those new Nintendo sports games that fucking suck. It's wild that even Nintendo's sports games are worse now. Like I mentioned earlier, back in like the fucking PlayStation era, sports games were like a huge deal. You'd buy a console so you could play like a football game on your Dreamcast, you know? And, and Nintendo, all the best fucking Mario Tennis and Mario, you know, I guess Kart kind of counts, not really. That's a different thing. But, like, Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, all of that. And then, like, now you look at their fucking new sports games and it's all this shit where it's, like, you get, like, one mode and then they do DLC later with shit that just should have been in the game to begin with. 
and everybody's already stopped playing it by that point and nobody cares and it's like too simple and basic and like i remember i i haven't played it myself but i've seen nothing but complaints about the new mario strikers if they made the new mario strikers then that's not a point in their this this company's favor this this company you're talking about i'm sure they've done good stuff too like i know that the luigi mansion ones that they made are there those are those are good apparently but if, if, you're, if you're talking new mario strikers that one's not a sol not i don't think a very solid entry that most people would agree on i don't think so all we can't support that you know i've seen a lot of people like speak out against intelligent systems or how or like uh, the Pokemon Company. Game oh really, God! Like it, it's really, really. Oh no no no! Because because you say that one of the funniest things ever because Pl Claw brought up Strikers is a clip of Harman screaming like a literal child when someone criticized the new Strikers for having less content than the. Oh man, I gotta see. I might have to look up that video because that's that sounds great. I mean, it's it's wild though. It is because it's like these are people that are Nintendo fans and they're just like they're just like sad that the Nintendo games like they finally made a new Strikers. People wanted one for so long and then they made it and it was just not really great apparently. And a lot of people who were looking forward to it were not happy with it. And uh you know, a lot of mo new Nintendo sports games are like that. So it's not people that just want to hate Nintendo and everything they do. A lot of the time it's people that are like, man, I wish this was better. I sure am disappointed in Nintendo now because they do make games that I love. It's a shame that I have to support this company that makes games that I love, but also hates fucking all the people that buy their games and, you know, will do weird fucking insane spiteful shit just to fuck over small communities of people that support them. You know, it sucks that I also like Mario, you know? It's like... Yeah, people that have a problem with Nintendo aren't all just shitting on Nintendo, but try telling this fucking guy that. It's really common to see people, like, discriminate against studios simply because of uh, what they make or their, their past history or whatever. Completely disregarding the quality of the game they're making, right? Like, I, I've said this a lot. Like, I, I have been... I have been addressing this a lot, but, like, people actively look for things to complain about. Like, just look at that guy on Twitter who's constantly complaining about how we, we haven't gotten a new Donkey Kong game in 10 years. Hey, genius, it's been 20 years since we got Super Princess B. What? Has it been 20 years? That didn't come out in 2004, did it? That was like a 2006 game or something. Maybe he's, like, generalizing... But Super Princess Peach was fucking terrible, though, and it wasn't the it wasn't a series. What is this comparison? Somebody wants a new Donkey Kong series because there's been a series of Donkey Kong games. There's one Peach game. It was a weird, bad, failed experiment for the DS that was like a girl game for girls where you had fucking emotion powers. It, it was like a terrible game. It wasn't like people were chomping at the bit for new Peach game. Now, that being said, the new Peach game looks good. It looks fun. I wish... I, I mean, apparently it's really baby easy, which is an unfortunate, but... You, you know, I mean, it looks it looks cool. It looks like a, a much better game than that other one. But, I mean, I don't, I don't get what point he's making. Like, people want a new Donkey Kong game because there's a series of Donkey Kong games. What do you... And then he smugly drinks his water like he's made some kind of fucking point. Fuck off. You know, Star Fox fans had to wait longer than that. For a real sequel to 64. Like, oh, fuck you. They've made like seven sequels to 64. I hate Star Fox fans. Fuck these people. These fucking people. They get a fucking sick. They get Star Fox 64 is just a remake of the SNES game, basically. And then there was a second SNES game that tried doing new stuff and everybody apparently hated it. But they so they didn't even release it, and then it came out now, and people have played it, and they're like, ah, it sucks. I just want more of the '64 game. It's fucking idiots like this. And then they make like Assault or whatever, where you're on foot and you're shooting people, and it's like also space missions, and they do other stuff with the fucking game, and it's just babies crying that they didn't get more fucking Star Fox '64. And then they finally remake Star Fox '64 again for the fucking Wii U, and it's terrible. And it's like, I don't know, can you just make one that's new? Can you... I, I, I'm so fucking sick of Star Fox fans. Like, oh my god, I need another version of the fucking game that they've done fucking 17 fucking versions of. 
God forbid they make a fucking Star Fox game that has anything in it that wasn't in the 64 game. They will not let you hear the fucking end of it if you do a Star Fox game that has any new fucking features. The, the One of the worst Nintendo fan bases, the fucking Star Fox people. I Yeah, your last game was Tropical Freeze, one of the best platformers ever made. Oh, man, what a terrible travesty. Like, shut up. Like, play something else, you know? <laughs> like, it's, it's that kind of situation, right? The complaints about Goodfeel not being credited for Super Princess Peach are simply because... Okay, who's Goodfeel? Hang on, that name sounds familiar. Aren't they the ones that made that fucked up Pokemon remake? Goodfeel. Okay, good feel. Who are you? Oh god, I zoomed in Wikipedia way too far. Uh, games developed. Okay, no, they, they, they're they fine. They had a fine track record. Yeah, they did Wario Land, Shake It, uh, Epic Yarn they made. Uh, Yoshi's Crafted World and Woolly World. Yeah, they've got a fine track record. Yeah, I don't know why they would be, like, hiding this. This, this company's fine. I mean, they have some games I've never heard of that I guess are, like, JP only, but... And they have some stuff like Street Pass Me Plaza, I guess. They have some, like, DLC games or whatever. But, but yeah, it's all fine. I, I I don't know why they would be hiding the company that made this game. This is, They've got a fine track record. Uh, people wanted to be able to complain about the studio that was making the game. They can't s complain about the way the game looks and how it's not something that Nintendo themselves would have made if they're not entirely sure whether it was developed internally or not, right? Like, that is, I think, that... that I don't even get what he's really getting at here. I'm, I'm confused at this. Maybe I've paused Andy too much. I, I lost the plot of what he was getting at, but, like... I mean, ultimately, Nintendo great trolls evil, I guess. I mean, you know... So it's, you can you can piece it together. I can't, can't figure out exactly what's going on, but I can piece together certain words based on context, and you know I can figure out what's going on. The mindset behind like a, not releasing this information because because we've seen this happen too many times. Like it has become a legit problem where people are judging games that we know nothing about purely based on who is making them. Right. Well, there's not even any reason to do that, though. I mean, again, good feel is fine. Everything they've made here is it's quality stuff. I, I mean, I guess Mario and Luigi Dream Team. I, I don't remember which one that was. That might have been one of the bad ones. I think they only worked on, like, one element of it, though. The giant battles, I guess. I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's a fine track record. And I, I, But for some reason, they're not being credited for this. So maybe they didn't make this. Who the fuck did make this, then? They're not being credited for the Peach game, so, I mean, you'd think that at least Wikipedia would have that information. Who is fucking making the Peach game? Hang on. Who's fucking making this video game? It's Nintendo, obviously. Yeah, there's even a Kotaku article. Nintendo won't tell anybody who developed its new Princess Peach game. What the fuck is going on? Yeah, no, so it's not them. It's not good feel. Who fucking made this thing? Oh, that's really weird. I don't like that. I mean, like... I don't know. It looks fine. The game looks fine. I guess. The game it looks fine. It looks good, even. I mean, I, I remember seeing the trailer for it at the thing that they announced. It looked, it looked good. It looked fun. But, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't like this thing. Why are they hiding who fucking made this game? This is so bizarre. Harman Smith's video is trying to defend Nintendo, and now I've just found this thing about this game that looks cool, and I wanted to play it, and now I'm like, what the fuck? What? What's going on? Has become like, um, that has become kind of an issue. So they want none this gun. Uh, it just goes to show you just how desperate people are to to complain about Nintendo stuff in in 2024. Like they they knew nothing about Princess Peach Showtime. They knew nothing about the, what the game was, actually was, but they were really desperate to try and convince Bro, them. Bro, how what are you even getting at? People have constant shit to make fun of with Nintendo. All right, anyway, there's a little more to it, but that's that video basically. Um Harman Smith. Let me look at the bingo. Do we get any more bingo spaces? I mean, I'm going to say claims to be bullied. It's not him, but it's Nintendo being bullied, and he takes personal offense to it. So, like, yeah, he's still claiming to be bullied. Uh, so most of this other stuff, probably not. Not currently. Not at the moment. I haven't seen any of this, the other stuff. 
Let's read another book now. Let's read another book part here. Another thing for a book here. There's another description. Um, this one, this is an image. This, this, um, this book. The cover of this book here. Uh, come on, open open a new tab here let's go so the cover the cover of this book is uh it's it looks like a real book this looks like a real book it's lauren frey by cody lee it looks like a real book you'd buy this at a, at a at an airport gift shop you know to read on the plane it'd be way overpriced it'd be like a thriller novel sold at a supermarket whatever looks like a real book uh what's the description here um this is a shorter one than the last one. Gray, Ac Gray Arcadia is one of the most dangerous universities in the world, controlled from top to bottom by administrators and faculty that revel in the study and advancement of dark arts. The school has developed a reputation for being a sort of haven for creatures such as vampires, witches, and werewolves. Ordinary human students, such as Lauren Frey, are very much putting their lives on the line for the chance to study magic. Very much. Ah. Well, um, you can buy this for $10. Or read with our free app, I guess. I think it's on, I think it's on Kindle. Or I guess you have to, you have to buy it and then the app is free. Thanks, thanks Amazon. Cool. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like a real book cover. It doesn't, the cover doesn't look like it's about witches and magic, though. There's werewolves in the story. This looks like it's, like, the novelization of the ABC family film Cyberbully, where she can't get the cap off. This looks like that. It doesn't, I mean, it doesn't really look like, uh, like it's gonna be a Harry Potter ripoff or whatever the hell this is. I guess it's, I guess it's this fucking wide-load gentleman trying to write a story about, this is what happens when an adult is allowed to be named Cody. You know, you let a kid grow up and have the name Cody, and this is, they grow into this guy. Um, but, I, yeah, this doesn't really fit the the weird young adult novel. I mean, it looks like a young adult novel, but it doesn't look like a sci-fi fantasy young adult novel, I guess. Um, I, but, all right. It doesn't, again, it doesn't sound terrible. I need to read the book. Uh, well, here, let me read a sample. There's a sample on here. Um... Oh yeah, there's like a full chapter or something available for just this book, and there's so many other books here too. We'll read a little. We'll read a little. Chapter 1. Ophelia bent over her little garden, humming a tune to herself as she poured water onto her plants. The bright yellow flowers took her or under her care seemed to have been become even lovelier over the past couple of weeks. Ophelia was glad that Okay, this is incredibly boring. Is this your opener of your book? This sucks. I, was there, like, a prologue that you didn't include in this? Because this is a terrible intro to your book. I, it's not, like, written incorrectly. There's no grammar mistakes. You, your grammaring is is fine. But, uh, I mean, maybe there is. I don't know. I'm, I'm not noticing anything egre egregious. But, but like, it's boring. This is really lame. Uh, as a first paragraph, you're not hooking people on this first paragraph. She hang. She did some flower shit. Yay! Okay, great, cool. Not not interested. Uh, Ophelia was glad that she had taken the time to plant them. The girls she lived with during the semester would be so excited when they returned home after the holiday. Not a great sentence. A very boring paragraph. A horrible way to start a, a book. Although very well known for being a rather gloomy campus, even Gray Arcadia could not retain its grim atmosphere during the summer. The, si the sun seemed almost determined to envelop all of Grey Arcadia in its warm embrace, uh, exposing even the Noctis buildings from the dark shadows that usually covered the... What does that mean? Noctis buildings? I guess we're in-universe. We don't need to... You don't need to explain it. That She knows what that means, and we, we're just playing along. That's fine. But I'm just thinking of Final Fantasy XV now, and I'm, a cer I'm certain that he did not intend for that, because he does not care for the Final Fantasy series or Square Enix. Um, the observation amused her. Even vampires, it seemed, could not resist the pleasing aesthetic of summer. Uh, Ophelia turned away from her little yellow flowers, which she had raised by hand, to another section of flower that she tried to raise by magic. In comparison to the one she'd tried to raise naturally, this group... This is so boring. What a terrible, terrible... Like, the, maybe there's a prologue that is not here, but this is an awful sample for your book. There's no intrigue. I mean, what? There's some magic, I guess? 
The fucking description is like she's taking her, putting her life on the line to study magic. Your whole intro is just, she played with flowers! Terrible. Alright, well, I mean, it's not written like a child. It's not written in chicken scratch crayon, but, uh, he's a, he's, but I do like that his description on his thing here, it says, I'm an indie novelist who wants to build my community online. This is on YouTube. This is on his incendiary like YouTube page where he just rants about Nintendo. Um, um, I want to build my community online. So maybe he is trying to like just get attention. This is all just a grift maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, learn more about the process of writing and trying to publish a novel. I also really like anime and Nintendo. Yeah, you sure do. Pretendo's shift switch to narrative. Um, he wait. He watches... Ricada recap Elissa clips marathons. He watches Nick Ricada. He watches things that aren't Nintendo related. Wow. What does he have to say about something oh, that's that will be not Nintendo related? What's this? They're all trolls now in cat. Yeah, yeah, that's that's. I I wonder if that's true. Yeah. I wonder if this fucking video. If he this is two and a half hours. I wonder if somewhere in this fucking video he gets into, like, he he gets into somehow whatever the- I have no idea what this is talking about. But so, I I wonder if somehow he gets into some kind of fucking thing that turns into, like, Nintendo- he somehow he turns whatever Ricada's talking about into Nintendo. I don't know. Maybe. I mean, that seems to be what he does. Like, in two hour, hour, two and a half hours, he probably somehow alludes to Nintendo in some way with something that they're talking about. I don't know, though. I'm not watching this. It's just amazing to see a video here that's not talking about fucking Nintendo. Um, let's see. Hasbro releases statement that they are going into video games. Uh, another entertainment giant fails. Okay. That's all right. Doesn't sound like they're failing, necessarily. Um... Oh, okay. That wasn't the Nintendo. That wasn't the video, right? Because I clicked on that for the Arlo thing. That was the wrong video. Is this one up here? Pretendos like Arlo are claiming Princess Pre Peach Showtime is too easy. Uh, Tif also, there's Tifa's titties could not save Square or Final Fantasy VII Rebirth from the decline of Square Enix. No, it was Rufus Shinra that did that. The fucking it's just the worst. Whoever made the end... Okay, so there's another... I have to keep ranting, right? I Begin rant, all right? Be rant begin. So there's a fucking... There's a part in FF7 Rebirth where you, uh, where you have to play... There's a part... All throughout the game, you split up the party sometimes, and it'll be like, now you control Barrett and Red, and you're doing this thing. Uh, and so there's one part where you control Kate Sith, which is how they pronounce it in the game. Fuck you. You control Kate Sith... And you have to go through this segment, and there are these, there's these little, like, fucking scale guys. There's these enemies. They're just regular enemies. And they're, they're the worst. They're not designed at all for Kate Sith to fight them. It's like they're moving around, and all of Kate Sith's fucking moves are just him bouncing back and forth and doing fucking flips. And then they'll do this move that's just instant death. They just do this move that instantly kills you. I got through, like, ten minutes of fighting one of these fucking things, and then it just basically unplugged my fucking PS5. I mean, what the fuck is that? And then they make you fight two of them in a row, motherfuckers. They make you do two of them in a row. I mean, two Two of them at once, rather. Two of them at once. Like, what do you beat one? They make you do two at once, and it was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. It was insane. It was the hardest fight in the game. Like, I was 60 hours in. It was the worst thing I had encountered. This game is not balanced at all. Holy fucking shit. Regular enemies. They weren't a boss. They were not a boss. There was a boss in that segment. It was so much easier than the fucking adjudicators. That's what they were called. Fuck that shit. And now they give me this Rufus Shinra shit? I just want to continue the story. You're giving me this un inconsequential little extra boss fight with fucking Rufus Shinra. Fuck off. Fuck off. It doesn't need to be this Nepo baby power. He's just able to counter every fucking move Cloud Strife does. This guy is designed to fight people. He is a combatant. And you're fucking, you're fucking telling me Nepo baby guy with his little fucking dog is able to, no. Fuck you. Fuck you. There is no reason why that boss is the hardest fight in the game. And everybody agrees. I looked it up. People are all fucking complaining. They're like, why is this boss here? It's insane. It's insane. I fucking hate it. Anyways, um, 
So um, we're going to continue with Harman Smith here a little bit. And uh, yeah, uh, pretendos like Arlo are claiming Princess Peach Showtime is too easy. Uh, let's find out uh, all about Arlo the Pretendo. Again, for those, I, I gave the, the, the speech before. Arlo the Pretendo. Arlo is like one of the biggest Nintendo shills on the fucking internet. Uh, I mean, like, he'll occasionally, he'll talk about when Nintendo does a bad, but then he'll still just also, like, just give them fucking blowjobs for everything else that they do. So it's like, I guess they, nothing they do could ever be bad enough for him to stop being a massive Nintendo shill. Uh, but that's not enough. That's still not enough for this guy, because he also likes games like Elden Ring that aren't Nintendo games. So he's a fake Nintendo fan. So, and also he wants Princess Peach game to be like not made for babies. So therefore, a fake Nintendo fan. Let's watch. So I just sat and watched Arlo's coverage of Princess Peach Showtime. And to make a long story short, this a is a long story short. Uh, I forgot to say it, but um, I rant over. Sorry, I, th that's important. I did forget to um, the rant. The rant is now over. I, I apologize. This is why I don't watch Arlo right Him. no you can't fight the boss later if it was an optional super boss that would be fine i'd have no problem with it i mean it would still be stupid that he's like a nepo baby with super with unbelievable superpowers but no it's mandatory and it comes after another boss fight and before that was like fucking four levels oh oh before that was like fucking four levels of Colosseum duels. You have to fight like Tonberry kings and shit. And it's like, oh my God, I just want Sid and Vincent in my party. You guys are cucking me so hard. This is unbelievable. They come with you to the fucking gold saucer. They make a whole to-do about, oh, uh, Vincent's coming and everything. You can do side quests where Vincent shows up in the side quest, but I can't play as Vincent because, oh, I need to fight all this fucking bullshit in the gold saucer first. This is shit that wasn't in the fucking gold saucer in the original. I'm finally starting to see why people have problems with some of these fucking changes. It's like, I just want to get to the parts that were in the original, but you're fucking holding me back with this stupid, insane bullshit and these 40 levels of fucking boss fights. And I just want to, I just want to continue the game, dude. What the fuck? Anyways, sorry. It comes. Uh, rant over. I apologize. I, that time I didn't say that the rant was beginning, so I didn't trigger warning you for the rant. I, I, uh, I... I may have non-consensually ranted at you a, f uh, a, f a few of you guys. I apologize. That's 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 absolutely conduct unbecoming of a creator of my stature. I apologize. Completely out of touch, whining about the game being too easy. Ah, uh, it's made for little kids. Yeah, yeah, no shit. <laughs> I'm really sick of these grown men trying to criticize video games because I'm nah, I'm I'm a, I'm a mature gamer. I'm a I'm an adult. Ah, oh, I know I. I pretend to be a Muppet on the internet, but I'm actually a grown a man Muppet with children. Ah. Oh, oh, so he's Arlo? So you're talking about Arlo, right. So, oh, uh, this is, this is incomprehensible. So Arlo just wants the game to be harder. I, like he wants, I'm assuming it's like a Kirby game where it's like, I can barely play it because it just, if I fall asleep, it's, it's like a, it, it, I'm assuming it's like that. Um, One of those Nintendo games where, they just make it for complete babies and it's you know uh yeah i'm assuming he just wants to be engaged by the video game a little bit like because the guy also play because this is the thing if you're gonna be like a huge simp for nintendo i guess your metric of like difficulty for gaming is going to be kind of different isn't it because i mean uh oh, nintendo gets hard i mean the old nintendo games obviously nintendo hard was a term Back when the games had to be, like, a hundred kilobytes, so to make them worth $70, which was, like, a hundred-something back in 1980 bucks, you know, they had to make the game be just complete bullshit and troll the player every five fucking steps of, like, whatever, Castlevania, Mega Man. You just have, like, a block that drops out from underneath you and you die, you know. Uh, uh, so, you know, yeah, Nintendo games used to be like that, but N Nintendo made, I mean, even back then, Nintendo didn't make their game, their games like that. And nowadays, I mean, most of the stuff they make is, you know, you get like a really hard Mario level here and there. Uh, beginning of Breath of the Wild was pretty hard. Uh, people, a lot of people had trouble with that when you have like three hearts and every enemy is one-shotting you. But then it gets, you know, it's one of those games with, like, an, an inverted difficulty curve. It gets easier as you go. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, Nintendo doesn't have a lot of games that are super difficult. So, I mean, 
Somebody like Arlo, who likes Elden Ring, is probably, yeah, they might have some issues with Pe Peach Game being like Baby Easy a little bit. I could see that maybe being a problem for someone like that. Someone like this, though, I maybe he has no fucking understanding. He's like, he's just like, what do you mean? No, every Nintendo game is great. Hang on, is this a... I'm trying to figure out what this poster is here. What is this? Because it looks like... I can't see... I can, maybe it's like a reflection. It kind of looks like it's a... It, it, like... Um, like the... It's like a cracked glass. Like, is this a smashed mirror or something? But then there's also like a... A shadow of... It looks like the MGS3 logo, uh, box art. With like the saluting big boss. But it can't be that. Because that's a PlayStation game. Even though that was also on the 3DS. It can't be that. And then there's like this weird thing down here. Does anybody know what this is? What this... Because I can, I can kind of make out some of this stuff. It's all... It's got to be Nintendo. That's your hint. It's something Nintendo. Or you know, anime, I guess. They have no conception of what younger... Play Wait, it is Big Boss? Oh, then maybe he is trolling. No, there's no way. How can he like big... But that's not... You can't. He can't. He's not allowed to like a Metal Gear game. It's a, Sto it's a Sony game. No, no. He's trolling. Oh, that's... Okay, that's the proof. It's right here before our eyes this whole time. If that's Big Boss from MGS3, this whole thing is a, is a fucking sham. If that's Big Boss, then this whole thing is lies. Yeah, it's... That's... It looks like MGS3, yeah. This whole thing is lies. Maybe he likes Snake because he's in Sma- I mean... I don't know. I don't- I doubt it. I mean, there's been- mm, I guess he could be a Metal Gear fan. I guess. Because there was the NES Metal Gear. Uh, like the Game Boy Color Metal Gear. Twin Snakes, you know. I guess it's not impossible. There's enough of them on Nintendo that maybe he's allowed. But that one- that one? It's like one of the PS2's biggest games ever. You really like that one? Mm, I don't know. This might be trolls. This might have been before our eyes this whole time. There's want what makes a good yeah MGS3 on 3DS too. Really, the kind of joy that this kind of experience can bring. Like, it's really interesting looking at Princess Peach Showtime because I'm well, having... there's a lot of ports of things to the Switch, but he still hates them. Like. Like Final Fantasy, he hates Final Fantasy, the whole series. Probably because of the same reason why I was always interested in 7, really. Which is, like, people... I, I, I got comments whenever I'd be like, yeah, I played FF7. Like, people would be like, why didn't you play 6 or whatever other one? Seven so overrated, whatever. It's, it's because I grew up in the era where because I had an N64, I never fucking heard the end of the comparisons to apparently Ocarina of time was always being compared by people to final fantasy seven. And I have no fucking idea why. Cause they're, they are vastly, vastly different games in many, many ways. Um, but I, that was like the rivalry, I guess. So I guess he, he probably hates or because they like left, they abandoned Nintendo for Sony or something. So he hates final fantasy, even though there's tons of FF games on Nintendo I don't think he likes Persona. Like, anything that's not made by Nintendo, he seems to have a problem with. So, seeing this MGS3 poster, if that's what it is, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. A lot of Vietnam uh. flashbacks to uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn, which was a previous game put out by Good Feel, right? Like, this is the same kind of rhetoric we heard back then. Right. Yeah, he's rhetoric. He even said that if Baldur's Gate 3 came to Switch, what was the quote? It was like a short joke. Like, it was like a joke video, I guess. But he probably, I probably believe, really believes it. I mean, it was like, not really a joke as much as like just smug, neener, neener kind of thing. But it was like, if Baldur's Gate 3 comes to Switch, then I will say that it is a bad game. Ha ha ha. So it's like, yeah, even games that are from other companies but come to the switch he has a problem with them so i mean yeah there is a an mgs3 port on the 3ds but he that doesn't mean that he would that's one of the ps2 that's like silent hill 2 and mgs3 are the biggest games on the ps2 which of course soundly trounced the gamecube and the xbox so of course he has to hate the ps2 
So it doesn't fucking compute to me that this guy could... No, no, no. No, no, this whole thing's trolling. This whole thing's trolling. We've we've uncovered it. He cannot be a, a fan of MGS3. No, maybe if it was Twin Snakes. If that's what this poster is... I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. I'll buy it. You know how like Kirby don't buy it. Born, like you can't actually die. Like remember like when people were trying to say that like did he mention Vietnam? I I think he did. I where did he mention fucking Vietnam? I'm actually, a grown man with children. Ah, you know they have no conception of what younger players want. What, which I'm sure you do, right? Makes a good, compelling product, and really the kind of joy that this kind of experience can bring. Like, it's really interesting looking at Princess Peach Showtime because I'm having a lot of Vietnam flashbacks. Oh my god, yeah, no, it is. It's Movie Bob with the Vietnam flashbacks. Oh my god, what was Movie Bob's Vietnam flashback again? What was that? Was it Gamergate? I forget what made him have Vietnam flashbacks. It might have been Gamergate that had that gave him PTSD Vietnam flashbacks. God, tell that to someone who fought in Vietnam. Just see how that works out for you. Tell 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 someone who fought in a war that this guy's having Vietnam flashbacks over over video games. I know it's just a turn of phrase, but like God, that's embarrassing. To uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn, which was Mario like, 3, right, right, of course. Put right. out by good feet. Gamergate and like, Republicans, this okay. Is the same kind of rhetoric we heard rhetoric. back then, right? Or you know how in like Kirby's Epic Yarn, like you can't actually die. Like right. remember, like when people were trying to say that, like it's too easy. Oh man, Nintendo's going down a bad path. How how can they not respect me? Oh, how could they put something like that? Oh oh man, I I'm a mature gamer. Like why is this guy so offended that somebody just wants to have a game that's engaging to them? I mean, it, I guess it's trolling. That's the reason. There's, he's got an MGS3 poster. There's no way he believes what he says. If he's a fan of fucking... If he's, if he's a Nintendo fan, that's like being a fan of Crash Bandicoot. It represents too much anti-Nintendo energy. He can't be a fan of that. This has got to be trolling. But I don't know. Let's be fucking naive idiots and engage with it in good faith. Um... Um, why would you care? I mean, what, first of all, why care about any of this? But second of all, why would you be so offended by people just wanting the game to be hard? It's not even like they don't like it. They just want it to be more engaging because they are mature. They aren't babies. Like his whole argument is this is what kids want. But I thought Nintendo appealed to everybody. So you have adults that are just too, the game's too easy for them. But I guess they're just supposed to shut up because Nintendo actually is for babies. I I thought everybody was supposed to be able to jive with Nintendo games, but when they don't because they're too easy, then shut up though because Nintendo games are for babies. You don't know what babies want. Shut up. But then if you say Nintendo games are for babies to this guy, he'll go, No! Mature! It's for mature gamers like me! I mean... This is why I think he could be a real person. It's t still, I mean, we might be wrong about what this even is. It's hard to tell. It kind of looks like the MGS3 cover, but there's also like some weird tree branches up here and there's like whatever this is down here, some kind of red shit. I don't remember what that poster looked like or maybe this is, some people said that it might've been a display something. I don't know. Like it, it might be something else entirely. It's possible, but I, whatever. You know, I just, I just don't know, man. I mean, I, I don't know if you're, it's easy for me to believe that this could be a real person just because there's so many people I've seen in real life that are like this. I mean, they might not have the Metal Gear Solid poster and therefore potentially not be trolls, but I've seen a lot of people who are like this. There are a lot of people on 4chan and I know he uses 4chan. He's mentioned that he uses 4chan. I know that he's a V user. So like he's a user. So, so, like, I've seen fucking V people who are like this, dude. This is not out of the fucking realm of possibility that the guy just believes everything he's saying. But if this is an MGS3 poster, I just, I fucking call it all into question a little bit. I don't know. I call it into question. But it is, it, I mean, it reminds me of V people, too, because it is that kind of, like, the buzzword thing where just... I don't know. You'll, you'll throw around every buzzword until... You'll throw around every fucking buzzword, but they're all applicable to you, too, and then there's just different buzzwords to fight back against those ones. It's like, yeah, Nintendo's for babies until they aren't, until they are. They're for mature gamers like me, but you're a cringe mature gamer who wants the game to be harder. 
but Nintendo games are hard enough for everyone and everyone should play. It's like this this weird cognitive dissonance that, that, that a lot of V people had back in the day. I don't know if they still do, but if this guy's representative of how fucking V people still are, man... That's how it was. That's why. I, that's that's a lot of the reason why I I stopped using the fucking site because it was just a lot of people that were, that were fucking like this. I mean, there was a lot of people like this. It was a lot of people that just were like weird, it, weird people that just ha are very unpleasant, and seem like they've got a lot of mental anguish over video games. They've been bothered by Wario. The Nintendo and Wario have bothered them. Waruina. Like, I, I don't want to play with yard. I, I want to play with guns. Fun is just a buzzword. Just see blood all over the screen. Ah, like, we, we saw the same thing. Nobody was asking for blood in the Yoshi game or whatever. They were just asking for a game where you can have a challenge, though. What's wrong with that? In the Wii era, right? Kirby's Epic Yarn, in my opinion, got the... In my opinion! Just a bit. Season 7! Right. You know, this was a Kirby game produced by a second party Nintendo studio, right? It was produced by Goodfeel. It was produced by, like, this company, right? You know, it wasn't made by HAL. It was, like, you know, just this thing, right? This title. What happened, right? Kirby's Epic Yarn was a bang. This is, like, a moment in history. It's it's interesting, because, like, I mean, we all have things that matter to us, you know. It's hard. I don't want to be judgmental to someone who just cares about something, because I care about a lot of things that other people would consider dumb, too. Gamergate is a fucking crucial moment in my... It's a canon event in my life, right? You know, and a lot of people will just look at that and think it's stupid, and that's fair. And so it's... But it's still, it's like, I don't know, there's just something about this guy. He mentions this game in the same sort of tone, like... Just imagine this same tone that he's using, the same, like, exact presence, but he's talking about, like, the Iraq War. They already mentioned Vietnam, but he's just talking about, like, you know, the the moment when the, when that bombing happened, long pause, that was, that changed everything, and we could never go back from there, and, and he's, but he, instead he's talking about Kirby's epic yarn for the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> Like, like, I don't know. It's just different, you know. It's different. It's certain people have certain things in their lives that are very important to them that are, you know, maybe not that important in the grand scheme of things. I don't know. Uh, you know, I admit that I'm not the biggest fan of Epic Yarn. It's not really my thing, right? Like, but I, I played it recently on stream, and I found myself really surprised how much I really enjoyed it. I'm right? sure the you did. The bright colors, the unique mechanics, the visual design. Like, good feel. It's got bright colors. Bing, bing, wahoo. Really excel at making these kind of games. And they have a lot. He long... really likes this good feel company. I mean, yeah, they've got good stuff. I mean, the, the Epic Yarn game is not bad. It's fine. It's just, it's. It's not substantially easier than every other fucking Kirby game where you basically just can't die and it's 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 like pretty easy. I mean, there's like some some hard bosses toward the end sometimes, but in a lot of the time it's like you can just fly over every level in in not every level, but a lot of Kirby levels are pretty easily just avoided through uh, you know, and that game wasn't substantially more so. That's the reason why the only Kirby game I've ever really, really liked is the the new one, the the 3D one, the Switch one, Forgotten Land, I think, because uh, it's like it's a little harder and, and you know it's a little closer to like a Mario game in terms of difficulty. It's a little bit more, and you can still fly over the levels, I guess, but I don't know. I just don't. So you know, whatever. I I, I don't know. I like I like that one, but uh, I don't know all the rest of them. Yeah, it's like I fall I fucking fall asleep playing a Yoshi a, a Kirby game. It's it's. I mean, it's also, I say Yoshi, I accidentally say Yoshi almost. It's, it's, Yoshi, there was a game for the N64, Yoshi's Story. Uh, it was the sequel to the, um, Yoshi's Island for the SNES. And, and that game's kind of famous for being, like, kind of unfortunately too easy. It's, like, really short and it's easy and it's like a baby preschool game for babies. And it's sad, because a lot of people wanted a real sequel to Yoshi's Island, which was, like, a real game that had challenge. I mean, it wasn't super crazy hard, but it was a real video game. It wasn't, like, notably easy. And, uh, I guess that's the same thing. I guess he would probably also defend Yoshi's story, too, which I've... I've literally never played it, even though it looks cool, because everything I've heard is, like, it's just kind of not worth it. It's, it's easy, and it's over in five minutes, and, like, oh, okay, never mind. 
all right i I guess i won't bother playing it fine and it's like yeah that that is enough to ruin an experience for people you want to have a fucking you want to feel like you're being fucking engaged not falling asleep and playing something on track record of doing this right you know woolly world was great crafted world was great you know wario land shake it was great right they are really really good at what they do and the fact I'm going off about this good feel company again we already talked about them uh mario wonder's cool it's it's good it's uh, you know it's a mario game it's good it's better than the it's, it's better than the uh it's better than the new super mario games they have you know animations now it doesn't it it's finally a 2d mario game that doesn't just feel like kind of cheap you know because like new super mario one was was fine that was great it was fine this was an original take on the thing whatever and then like we is like okay it has it has multiplayer, I guess. And then all of the the other two are just... There's no excuse for why they exist. There's really no reason for the 3DS and Wii U ones to, to exist. Um, new, new Super Luigi U, kind of, a little bit. Uh, but then, yeah, then they made Mario Maker, which is good, but... It is even... It, like you, It's good, but you can't ignore that it's just kind of like... Eh, fuck it, whatever, you make it. Eh. Like, charge people full price so that they can make the game for you, I guess. I mean, you know, it's it's not really what it is. That's reductive, obviously, but there's an element of that that feels that way. No, but Mario Wonder is, like, the first 2D Mario game since, like, the first New Super Mario Brothers, really. Which really feels like some kind of, uh, you know... And that really didn't feel like much of an advancement. What did that one have? Like the mini mushroom? I don't know. Mario Wonder's got a lot of cool stuff. It's like it's closer to being like Yoshi's Island 2 or something than than Mario than a normal Mario game a lot of the time. It's pretty cool. I haven't played that much of it though because I got uh, I don't know a lot of other shit. I think I was more into Sonic Superstars at the time, which everybody hated, but yeah, it was all right. It was an okay. Big problem with that was the boss fights. They just like twenty fucking minute boss fights. You can't hit the boss. It's <laughs> Oh! It's actually really similar to the Rufus Shinra boss fight in, in FF7 Rebirth. It was like, hey, just stand around for 40 minutes dodging attacks, and then you'll get like a three second, you'll get like a fucking quarter second inter interval where you get to actually hit the fucking boss. And then if you miss that, guess what? You're waiting another fucking 40 minutes for another interval when you can hit the boss, and you better hope that he doesn't hit you with his little move, because then guess what? You're waiting for another fucking 40 minutes to hit the boss! Oh! Oh! Yeah, a lot of the bosses and superstars were like that, and so that was a problem. I had a problem with that. Sorry. Uh, beginning end of uh, beginning of and end of rant. Sorry. That these YouTubers, you know, people like Arlo, are coming out trying to say that like, ah, oh, it's uh, it's so easy, ah, huh, man. Like, and you just know, like these guys, you know, they're big advocates for games like The Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker, the, the first two Paper Mario games, uh, things like that, right? Games that aren't all that difficult either. And that should show... God, every, this is another... I don't remember. Was this the guy that we looked at who every pause frame was amazing? Because every pause frame was amazing right now. Every pause frame, he's, like, picking his nose, or he's doing, like, an um actually face. He's, like, sneering or something. It's great. Um, no, but it should really tell you something. I mean, that's all That's all people are asking for, is, like, the difficulty level of a Wind Waker or a Paper Mario. They're, th that's That's fine. That's what they want. That Those games are fine difficulty level, you know? Some people will be all mature gamer about it and be like, that's too easy to do. And it's like, yeah, all right, a little, a little, you know, if you're like a super epic Elden Ring gamer, maybe. But like, you know, it's fine. It's a fine level of challenge. And that's all they want, really. And he's trying to use that as like, no, but, yeah, but Nintendo games are always easy. Well, they're never this easy. That's the fucking point, dude. Get the fucking point through your head. Stop playing Metal Gear Solid 3 for the Sony PlayStation 2 and get that point through your head. You know, like, I don't understand what the whole deal is with trying to dismiss a game for being too easy, right? Like, it, it, it's just one of those things where I just look at it and laugh because, to me, it demonstrates that the the critic doesn't really appreciate what the, the creators are trying to do right like literal confirmation that nintendo games are for babies i mean i didn't think so but harman smith is the biggest nintendo fan out here and so i guess i'll have to listen to his take on it nintendo games are for babies they're supposed to be made for and enjoyed by children and adults shouldn't play them 
I didn't know. Um, it's weird that you're such a fan of them then. I, uh, what's, what's the deal with that, dude? You know, Arlo in his video really downplayed just how much variety there was in these uh, two playable Princess Peach stages in the in the demo, right? You know how different the costumes are, how good the animations are, like the visual design, the the general gameplay loop. Yeah, and I'm sure everybody who has a problem with it being too easy is upset that the game. You know, I have a great example. There's a game I love. It's uh, I I've never been a big Crash Bandicoot fan, but I really love this N64 game, Donald Duck's Going Quackers. It's great. It was on a bunch of platforms, but I always played the N64 one. I didn't own it, but I, I emulated it back in the day. I know, sue me. Just, it's, ho it's horrible. I'm a monster. I emulated a game that was at that point already like 10, 15 years old. Un un unbelievable. Uh, but that's a game where it's like four very short worlds that are all really easy. They're all a lot of fun, but it's really, really short and easy, and I just like the game, and I wish it was longer and had more, like, challenge and and yes, I did skirt around saying longer and harder. Fuck off. Um, um, yeah, no, that's a, that's that's my example. It's a game that I like, and I like everything about it. I just wish it was longer and longer and harder and thicker and and more intense. Like he t he tried to make it sound like you just press the B button and it's a win and stuff like that, but that's not really true, right? Like I I've seen a lot of people like um. I myself was like really surprised with the complexity of like the combat and like the the cake decorating stuff and like the how... complexity of the combat. Oh my god. The complexity of the combat. You really shouldn't play FF7 remake, dude. How much like the game You're going to have a problem. You're going to have a real problem if you if you're enamored by the complexity of the Princess Peach game. I haven't seen its combat, but like I don't know if it's a, 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 if it's remotely as complex as like Kirby's special abilities that you can do, where you like, you know, like the advanced techs for some of the the copy abilities. Like, even then, uh, no, you might want to stay away from like Devil May Cry or whatever, man. Yeah, I can see why you might. I can see where your opinion might be coming from. Able to just do so much more than you would expect from a game like this, right? Like, it's so visually charming, it's so distinctive, it's so, like, it's so adorable, right? It's adorable. And yet you're seeing Arlo come out and try to say, oh, this isn't what I wanted, ah. Like, like, like you were really expecting something, like, targeted towards a hardcore audience from Princess Peach. I mean, I have the other example, too, where I like... Somebody mentions FromSoft. I mean, yeah, we mentioned Elden Ring. I was really enjoying that Armored Core 6 uh game surprised as hell that it ran so well on my computer but i was really enjoying it but it was legitimately just too hard for me i mean i got to like the first really big boss and yeah i got casual filtered and i was like man the rest of the game is just going to be way harder and i love how it looks and everything but yeah i'm just not this is not for me this is i i guess i could spend a lot of time getting good but you know i, I don't know i've got other games i want to play so, like, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, people just want a challenge that's, like, the right level for them, you know? I, I, I would have I would have liked to continue seeing the flashing lights and visual design and all the shit he likes about the Peach game in that Armored Core game if it was, like, a little less insanely fucking hard. I mean, I know everybody hates the fucking difficulty mode thing, and I usually do, too. I just play on normal because, like... Yeah, put me on... I made the mistake a few times of trying to play Yakuza games on hard. Never, ever do that. Just never do that. They just block every attack. People talk about Blockuza 3 specifically. And how they block a lot in 3. No, they do it in all of them. Every single game, they'll just block everything. You'll hit them with a fucking motorcycle and they'll just block it. It's insane. Don't play any of those games on hard. It sucks. It fucking sucks. They're, they're terrible. Just play them on normal, the way it's fucking balanced to be played, you know? I get it. I don't want the- I, I don't usually fuck with too much with the difficulty modes, but like... Yeah, I don't know. It's Sometimes you want a game that's targeted at a certain audience, it's like, I don't know, maybe just also have a mode in Peach that's like for- for adults. Maybe have a mode in Armored Core that's for babies. I'd love to play the baby mode. I'd be very happy to play the baby mode in Armored Core. <laughs> right you were really expecting that like dark hearts would be like the canon no no that's that's stupid like okay that is the dumbest thing i've ever heard in my life okay somebody's like, saying the barbie game is 100 percent for little girls i don't know i'm disappointed because 
it's apparently so easy and, and lame. Like, yeah, I saw the trailer. It didn't look like it was just a little girl game. It looked like it was a fun, you know, Nintendo game. It looked like it was a, you know, it had some cool original stuff about it. Kind of reminded me of like a... It reminded me of some of the weird stuff from like Luigi's Mansion 3 and like the new Kirby and uh, also a little like uh, De Detective Pikachu a little bit. Just seeing like the Peach in like weird costumes. It's kind of like Pikachu in the detective hat. I don't know. It, it seemed like a cool game. It didn't seem like just Barbie girl game kind of thing. And finding out that it's just like super baby easy. That's a little... Uh, that's also... I mean, let me get all Anita Sarkeesian here, gamers. All right. You fucking dead game Gamers are dead, okay? And it's time that we stop calling ourselves gamers i'm now a player all right i'm no you know what i'm no longer a gamer i'm a user all right gamers are dead i'm a user all right i'm a, and i'm gonna i'm putting on my anita sarkeesian hat here gamergate 2 is in full action i'm sick of getting har harassed and targeted and god damn it nintendo made a game for women and they made it baby easy because nintendo hates women and they hate women and they think that women are stupid and can't play video games so they made the Princess Peach game be easier than the Mario game because they hate women and they're misogynists and they hate women. And that's what this video should really be about is how Nintendo hates women. That's right. <laughs> like, what were you expecting? Right? Left and, wing like, dork! This isn't the first time that, like, we've seen people do this, right? Like, uh, New Super Mario Bros., right? That's another really good example. Like, how many people, like, try and, like, come out and say it's too easy, there is no complexity to the game, it's not a very good platformer, but in a reality, it's quite difficult, quite lengthy. It's not quite difficult. It's, no, it's not. I mean, I've, I've died in new Super Mario Brothers games. They're kind of, you know, that's a fine, that's, like, that's what I'm saying, they're fine. They're, that's a fine Nintendo challenge. I don't know. I wouldn't complain that they're too easy. I wouldn't say they're fucking uh, quite a fine challenge. Uh, no, it's fine. It, well, yeah. What what exactly did he say? It's not a very good platformer, but in a reality, it's quite difficult. Quite difficult. New Super. No, sir. No, I'm sorry. You just don't. That's wrong. I mean, you're either trolling or you're a retard. I like. <laughs> no, I, that's not fair. I if all you're playing is Nintendo games, then yeah, you know, maybe it's hard. But even then, though, I mean, ah, ah, fucking like NES games. What Zelda One? I don't know. I mean, there are harder Nintendo made games than like the new Super. Mario. I guess that's a newer example. I I don't know, but like that's a quite challenging game for him. Yeah, I guess the Peach game is just fine then for you, probably. I mean, shit. I don't. Listen, I most of my uh, most of my posts on Discord are me bitching about how I'm dying in video games. That's most of my time when I'm on Discord is me going, "Well, this game fucking sucks cuz this boss and and like and like even I'm over here just like, "All right, it's fu fucking settle down, cunt. All right, it's not do it's not a quite a challenge. It's it's new Super Mario. All right, it's fine. It's a fine. It's if this game was as hard as that, then it would be great. It's it's that's them that's like the point. That's like the point people are fucking making, actually. Quite lengthy. Quite has has lot uh, quite a lot going on, and is really quite a bit better than people give it credit for. Like I do think of the new Super Mario Bros. games as being better than the NES trilogy at this point, because like oh you know, having God. played both so much in recent. Are you just okay? Oh no, he's trolling, right? Yeah, I mean, the more I look at this poster too, this is definitely MGS three. Uh, you're telling me you like new you like you like boss super mario brothers more than the i don't know man that's quite a fucking claim dude uh they're not like the best game people people act like new like super mario 3 is the best game ever made if it's your favorite that's cool but like people act like it's all downhill from Mario Three. Every game since then, it's never they never reached the heights of Mario Three. It's like all right, settle down. You know that's. But I mean, I, fucking, they're better than New Super. <laughs> what are you talking about? Maybe you like playing the new ones better. Fine. But like, I don't know. I, I don't know, just, a, they are, I mean, the term rehash was used a lot with Nintendo back in the day, because they would just, like, because, like, that was the thing, it's, it's, it's easy to forget now, Mario Wonder has so much stuff that's, like, unique and interesting and cool about it, 
and every level has some kind of you know interesting visual gimmick or new enemy or something it's, it's easy to forget that one of the big complaints in this series that he's talking about the new super mario games was that they were like it was like mcdonald's happy meal mario it was just like default goomba all the levels every one of those games has the same levels i mean not literally the layouts are different but each theme in each i think each one of the games they're always the same it's like grass levels and then like uh desert next i think and then like ice and it's the same pattern in all i don't even think they vary they don't even switch up what order they come in even i don't think maybe a little but like each one of those games has the same pattern of of le of world you know eight world structure of like the same themes and everything and you know the level layouts are different or whatever and it's like whatever okay if you want just if it's if you want like Mega Man 6 on the NES where it's like they've just run out of ideas but you like Mega Man NES games so it's like fine this is like the worst one pro i don't know i don't know if that's the worst one people don't like Mega Man 1 i think it's cool but uh you know it's like that's the last one they probably run out of steam a little bit compared to like Mega Man 2 right you know and so it's the same kind of thing it's like hey maybe you just want some more of the same that's fine but that was a big complaint at that era was like the, the new super mario games were just a big fucking rehash and they were all the same game and not even that but they didn't even do anything new they never had like a new feature or anything the, the, sometimes they'd have a feature like okay the coins in two i guess i guess wii u one had uh nabbit okay there was a new character there but there wasn't and eh, it wasn't much there wasn't much the biggest thing that the new super mario games brought to the series was the fucking ba in the music which I didn't hate. There's some of those songs are really good, but they have the ba in it, so it's kind of annoying. If you if you have become like Pavlov's dog to the fucking to the to the Mario to the new Super Mario ba sound, ba da ba ba da ba. You know that fucking shit. If you played it, you know what I'm talking about. Every fucking song in that game has this like ba ba thing. But it's also cute. The little the the Koopas will like dance along with the ba's. It's 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 kind of fun. I mean, it's not terrible, right? They're fine. But he's saying he likes those more than the original Mario games, which is where all of this stems from. Everything that exists now, all of gaming wouldn't fucking exist without Mario Super Mario Brothers 1. He's saying he likes this more. Maybe you like playing them more, but fuck off, man. No. Uh, I, I hate to go all gaming historian on you, but no, I'm sorry. Super Mario 1 is objectively better than New Super... I'm sorry. Maybe it's fine if you like it more and you like playing it more, but... On an objective level, it, it's a better game. I fuck off. Years, I've really come to. He likes the new series better. I don't know, no, no, new thing worse than old thing. Old thing better. Fuck off. Fuck off. You stupid. Old thing better. You, you dumb and gay. Dangerous. What new Super Mario Bros. does, right? Like, um, you know, the entire justification for hating new Super Mario Bros. Like, essentially boils down to the fact that they released four games with a similar art style in like six years, right? Which what? is fine, right? Nintendo never did anything wrong. Like people were burned out on it. Yeah, what? That that's kind of understandable. I do. Think oh my god! That, like a uh, new Super Mario Bros. Two didn't need to. Exist. And he likes the oh new Super Mario Two didn't need to exist. He finally said something that's not insane, and he has the Metal Gear Solid Three poster, his favorite game for the, his favorite platform, the Sony PlayStation Two. He loves Metal Gear Solid Three so much. It's his favorite game. He's got a big. It's his biggest poster that he has is for MGS Three. So. I guess it's like it's right next to his, his Mario hat, his Metal Gear. It's his favorite series. It's Mario and Metal Gear, noted Sony franchise Metal Gear. So, um, you know, so that's that's cool. I mean, not really a Sony franchise, but you know, you know, exist, right? But at the same time, like objectively, all of those games are good. Objectively, all those games like added a lot to the mythos. Oh, really? They introduced new characters, new ideas. What do you? Oh no, no. Okay, he is being an idiot. Objectively, no. You're trying to do the objectively. I just hit you, cunt! I just hit you with the objectively. You don't do that. I just hit you with the objectively. You can't turn me around with another objectively. And my objectively was right. Yours is stupid and wrong. They weren't. They weren't. I mean, they just, they're just they they're fine. They're good. They're playable. They're good, fun platformers. They're a lot better than the average 2D platformer. Fine, yeah. But they don't add a bunch of characters. What is he fucking talking about? There's one. There's Nabbit. It's in the fourth one. All of the other ones 
What, what, Yellow Toad? Is that your idea of a fun, new, cool character? Yellow and Blue Toad? Are you talking about them? What are you even talking about? There, there's nothing. Uh, maybe there's, like, one enemy, and that's what he's fucking talking about. I don't know. There's probably, like, one new enemy in those fucking games, and he's like, oh, but think of all the the new enemies and the new characters. All the cool... Uh, what about all of the sights we saw, Mario? Come on! It didn't mean nothing to you? More power-ups. Like, all these really cool level designs, all these crazy mechanics that we'd never... Also, if you come into my chat and tell me I'm yapping, you can just go to another stream. Fuck off. I've seen the 2D Mario game up to this point. Stop talking on the stream that is your stream. Just leave. Like, the idea that, like, New Super Mario Bros. is stale and boring and derivative was always pushed by dipshits <clears throat> who... Who were upset. Well, I guess he would know. I mean, it's like, it's a good thing that it's, it, you know, it's the classic takes one to know one, right? That these games were as successful and popular as they were, right? And of course, there are like endless examples of this kind of thing. You know, I brought up Wind Waker. I brought up like a... I cannot help but assume that he has a long, weird, ominous pause here, too. I don't know why he just like stopped talking. I brought up it's just like awkwardly stop for he was like talking and then just dial up noises. I, I can't help but assume now that he is the guy with the rare sucks Iw Iwata basement, the classic picture. I'm sure you've all seen it, uh, but I will show it. The classic picture, which is just constantly what I'm thinking of as I'm uh, let's see rare I Iwata basement, this GameCube basement or whatever the Iwata shrine. This is a classic image. There's a few versions of it. Um, there's like a few different versions. There's a few... Sh I think there's a few different shots. But kind of the famous one is this one. Uh, yeah. Oh god, I have to be on reset era for this. I have to go on reset era to find this fucking image. So this is this is what I've been thinking of every moment of this, this stream while Harman Smith is talking. Is the classic rare sucks... Iwata Shrine GameCube basement image. I mean, he's already got, like, the basement fucking fixtures. There's, like, weird piping and shit. And, and yeah, I mean, definitely the walls are a little less scummy. I like the trough over here. I think that's what this is. I mean, what is this? Like, it's like it dumps sewage into this trough and he eats it. That's the only explanation. This is like a pipe that dumps fucking stuff into the trough. And then you got piss jugs. Well, I guess those are real. Those are probably water jugs. Actually, this whole thing might be a water machine. Well, whatever. But I pers I prefer my pig trough idea. But yeah, he's set up down here, and it really doesn't look that comfortable. I mean, he's got the thing, and he's got the towel. But like, is this like a like a like a concrete floor? I I don't know. Put a like a real rug at least. At least, I do love the banquet meal here. Just the boxes here and the, the, the empty meat pie tray. We don't see the microwave. I think that's in another shot. It's like just out, fra just out of frame. Because there are a few shots of it. Anyway, I had to show this. This is the classic image. I mean, this is... I just keep thinking of this as we watch this guy's videos. I, I keep thinking of it. It's so... It's so classic. Like, oh, there are a lot of games that get targeted targeted this way on nintendo consoles and it's really frustrating to me at this stage to see that like princess peach showtime is like getting dismissed by so many people when i think it's safe to say this is going to be the biggest nintendo release in the first half of the year right i don't know what they're gonna do in the second half they haven't had it okay all right okay nintendo's great and god gets quite irate if a sperm is wasted um uh, nintendo's great does he have any other videos he has anti-woke gamers refuse to admit Western video games were always inferior to the Japanese. Ah, oh, Nihon desne. Uh, well, um, the thing is, when he says Japanese, he just means Nintendo. I mean, because he doesn't like Capcom or um, Square Enix. I think he's mentioned he... I, I don't think he likes Sega. Uh, like he's mentioned he doesn't like smt or atlas even though he looks like a fatless um he's got this video the nintendo 64 had more games than the playstation we need to take a look at another one of his books though we looked at um lauren Frey or whatever which was like a harry potter type of thing um didn't look very interesting um seemed to be competently written enough in a you know gr grammatical sense there wasn't any huge typos it didn't look like a like my immortal in other words 
But, uh, the, boy, the descriptions of these books get shorter and shorter. Clover Volume 4. As far as I, as far as I know, there's no other volumes. There's a, It's just the books that he has listed on here, I think. So I don't think there's other volumes. But Clover Volume 4 is the next book. And this one has a little bit more of a book-like cover. You know, we had the first one, which was just an anime girl. And then the second one, which looked like a book, but it looked like a book that wasn't the book that it was for. Uh, it looked like the completely the wrong genre. This one, I don't know. Um, it, Cl Clover Volume 4, uh, that's IV, by the way. The Day of Black Sun. Following a day of fun with her closest friends, Ciela North wakes up in the middle of an apocalypse. Man-eating monsters. That's a man-eating. That's two words, not hyphenated. So, man-eating monsters... So I guess a man-eating monsters are terrorizing her. I it's okay. I get what she's. I, I get what he's saying though. Man-eating monsters are terrorizing her community, and only Ciela and her friends stand in the way of everyone they know and love being completely destroyed. Um. So you know, it's another sort of fantasy thing. the The book cover is this. Uh, it's called something Black Sun. So you know, it's a black. There's a black sun. Black hole sun. Um, and, and all that, and it looks like a book cover, it kind of looks like, um, a, like a, a frame from, like, Birdemic 3, you know, like the, the exposure seems to be really low on this, I guess because it's a black sun, but, you know, it, it looks like a, I guess like a book cover, sure, sure, um, he's got another one here, um, oh, well, this one's great, this one, this is the best cover so far, you're gonna see why, um, you're gonna see why immediately. Um, but the, the description, it's got five stars too. One rating, five stars. It's the only one that's had a rating so far. This is the, the uh, this is the books of Harman Smith here, not his real name. Um, uh, this is cruel and beautiful. Um, Amaris Yu is not like other girls. She's not like the other girls. Um, her unearthly beauty captures the hearts of, my, hearts of minds of nearly all. We finally got a good grammar. We got a good grammar here. Um. Uh, captures the hearts of minds of nearly everyone who catches sight of her. She is also an immortal vampire bent on seizing control of Europe. Oh dear. Oh, that never works out well for people. Um, she certainly isn't the kind of woman to fall in love with an ordinary human boy. It is much more likely that she would use him for her own ends. And um, so this sounds like the, basically that other book about like a girl with a bunch of power. She kills people and then a regular human boy, something, something, fantasy, blah, blah, blah. It sounds like the same book, basically, but it's different because that was a black. That was a that was a, um, a blonde haired girl, uh, anime girl. That was the cover of his book was a blonde haired anime girl, you see. Um, but here we have a different this is he's going for a different vibe here. He's got more of a goth kind of thing. She's a vampire, right? Um, so, uh, his cover for this book is <clears throat> prompt black haired vampire princess with dream dot AI, um, which is good. Um, and it's great cause there's no, uh, there's no hands in this image. So you would really know, oh, never mind. Her legs are fucked. Oh, the legs are broken. Oh, she's got fucked up legs. I see. It kind of looks, I don't know what's going on down here. There's like, are these, are these, what are these water droplets? Are these supposed to be her feet? I don't know what's going on, but, um. You know, uh, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, it's good. It's a good. Um, it's a good cover. It's a really good cover. It's the best one so far, really. Um, it's the most artistically creative and interesting. Uh, it will blow through the rest of his here too. Uh, books here too. There's a, co a couple more. We got another one with with five stars, one rating. Um, does it have a review? Let me see. There's no reviews, but one rating. It's five stars. He probably rated it himself. Let's be real. Um, uh, it's, this is Rabbit Hole, book one of one. And this is another one that looks like it's got a real cover. This cover looks like a real book. It looks like a real book that you would buy. Uh, this looks like a real book that would be on a shelf. It looks like a real cover. But let's see if the... Well, it also looks very generic. I mean, it's probably slapped together with, like, stock uh, stock images. It looks like... It, it looks like a real book cover in the way that, like... That, like, a 2B movie is a real movie, you know? Uh, you know, one of those movies where it's like the Amityville car shop or whatever. And it's just like some fucking horrible cash grab filmed on a cell phone. Uh, yeah, uh, it, it, it looks like a real book in that sort of way. You know, I mean, like I, I could see it being sold uh, more so than the AI one or the anime girl probably also made an AI. But that's the um, 
That's the thing. Who the fuck is calling me? Okay, cool, cool, cool phone call. Cool phone call at 9.48. Um, Will Way had no idea what... Oh, good. So the name is Will Way, like um, W-E-I. Will Way had no idea what think when a girl burst out of a moving van, but he knew what to do when three men came around and demand that she get back inside. This one might have been this one might have been one of his older books. I was like noting noticing some not so great grammar in this one. Um, um, following a brutal beatdown at his hands, Will thinks the kidnapping is over, and all that is left to do is find out what to do with this girl. But as Will soon realizes, the kidnapping is more than a simple isolated incident, and the reach and control of these kidnappers extends far past what he originally thought was even possible. Well, I mean, okay, reading ages 12 to 18 years, there's brutal beatdowns and kidnappings. I mean, I guess that's fine. Um, but, uh... Uh, supposedly this is young adult fiction. I don't know who gave this guy the uh, the rights to write young adult fiction, but, um, sure. Um, I, I guess this is the best one so far in terms of, like, it looks like a book that, and then, like, the title of it and the, the, th the, the, the cover and the description, you know, it all kind of looks, it kind of all seems like a book. Sure. Sure. It all seems like it fits as, like, one book. This, this one seems like it could be something. Let's read a little of, of the sample here. Um, I don't know where this is. This is just somewhere in the story. It's not chapter one. So the other one we read a sample of, uh, we started in chapter one and it was the most boring fucking shit in the world. Uh, like immediately you should, you start your book with something of interest, just like a little something to hook the audience, a little something, a little something to hook the reader. Uh, nothing. It was like a girl in a flower garden. It was, it was really lame. Um, but this one, we don't know. I don't know if this is the beginning of the book. It doesn't seem like it. Um, Will let out an irritated groan. So that show the screen here. Will let out an irritated groan as the sound of the alarm hit his ears. He bl hit his ears. Okay. He blinked once, twice, three times a lady before closing his eyes again. He turned around in bed. Turned around in bed. Oh, this is what... I okay, this is what I was looking for. This is... Okay, the other one was boring and competently written. This is, like, just fucked up enough that it's good. Um, he turned around in bed, facing the clock, and buried his head into his sheets. The irritable beeping was tearing into his skull, but he could not bring himself to get out of bed. He moaned, dearly wanting to reach out a hand and bring it back down onto the sleep button. He felt groggy and exhausted. It felt almost as if he had not gone to sleep at all. This could be the beginning, actually. This is probably the beginning of the book. How was the alarm going off already? Surely it couldn't be morning yet. Uh, he cracked his eye open. This is so dull. Jesus Christ. Um, five more minutes couldn't hurt. Sweating a little when he arrived. He's running to the bus. It's such a, it's just a boring fucking, like, kid's book. Whatever. And, but there's kidnapping and, like, three men kidnapping her and, okay. Sure, dude. And, um... Um, and the final book that he has, there's seven ratings on this one, and um, there are some reviews. Uh, one, oh, this is good. L. Bearer says, "What is this garbage?" Uh, this is the last book. This is this is not the one we were just talking about. This is reviews for his final book yet to be. I'll tell you. I'll tell you all about it. But we, we've got some stunning reviews here. What is this garbage? Read the demo. Just don't buy this book. It's written just comma D O N T no apostrophe uh, B Y. Don't buy this book. Yeah, whatever you do for your sanity, don't. The writing structure and grammar are worse than a child's. Oh, you would know. I've worked with kindergartners, be better able to tell a story than this. I rate this a really bad fan fiction. Fan fiction out of ten. It says fan fiction twice. It's a different, different fan fiction. Um, then there's nimble noob with a one star. Lol cow. Found this EPUB in a folder given by a friend. Oh, it, it. oh boy. Um, where he dumped all of his ebooks. Gotta say, the writing is on a third grade level. The structure of the book is just all over the place. And the grammar needs a lot of work. Th that's, uh, by the way, the grammar needs A L O T, a wall, one word. A, a, a lot. Uh, the grammar needs a lot of work. If you can't check this out in your local library or get it for free like I did, I'd avoid it at all costs. I better. I decided to read it since the author is just an epic lol cow, but I thoroughly regret it. 
My two-year-old can write better than this. Bro, go right over to fanatical.com and buy yourself a creative writing bundle. I promise you'll see huge improvement in your writing abilities. Uh, this is one of those people, by the way, this review is one of those people who, um, um, every, instead of putting a period, uh, like ever doing like just a full stop, they, every sentence is like a weird trail off dot, dot, dot ellipses thing. Every sentence just trails off into an ellipses. I don't I don't know how to read it's like it's it sounds like like a weirdo rambling it's like I avoided it at all costs man the government I, I I don't know. That's a it's a strange way of writing. Um it's another one says it's riddled with typos and very confusing. There are multiple instances in which more than one person uh by of a particular gender is present but are largely referred to by pronouns making it confusing as to who or is doing or saying what oh so it'll be like five guys there burgers and fries and uh they'll they'll it'll just be he said he said he said uh and and confusing right um well this is the book called the eye of the dragon this is the last one of his that i'm, I'm looking at here it looks like there actually are more here i guess i only saw like a couple he must have a bunch of fucking books because there's another one jaw of the dragon but this is the eye of the dragon this one has um you know i guess this is also it looks like a book i, I guess a like book cover it kind of looks like a, a 70s book cover it's like very minimalistic. It's like it's like one of those weird ones where like they republished Lord of the Rings and the cover looked like this. Really? Wow. You know, one of those. Um where it's it's uh I don't know, I don't know I don't know that this fits necessarily. Let's read what it's about. Um apparently not a very good book. In ancient times dragons fought and protected humans from So here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Right as I'm reading this too is like I'm 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 coming to terms too before I read this I'm realizing why this is funny to me is because if this guy's trolling and all of his Nintendo bullshit is just for attention for his books the books seem like they're also pretty bad like they seem like they're all either boring or incompetent or maybe both so that's great i mean it's like if he is trolling then what he's trolling he's he wants attention and it's in service of these books that are uh, it's like he wants to sell these books which are apparently not very good and don't seem don't seem great uh but the eye of the dragon in ancient times dragons fought and protected humans from the most deadly creatures imaginable today the order of the dragon follows in this tradition training knights from all over the world to fight in okay so it's it seems like the same story it's like the same <sighs> Someone was chosen. Let me see. Famed knight. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a beautiful lady. She's a cool, awesome battle lady. Famed knight and scholar Lucille Langley is one such knight. Her adventures lead her to America, where she discovers a young. Uh, oh God, she discovers a young man with the ability to power to transform parts of his body into that of a dragon. So every book that he makes is the same. It seems like almost every book that he makes is the same. Young man meets epic cool battle maiden who like kills millions of people, but that's all right because she's hot though. Like that was the first one, and then there was an evil vampire lady, but it's all right because she's hot, and she finds a young boy, and now this one is the same thing, I guess. We got a sample on this one too. Um, prologue. We got a fucking prologue on this. It's a Brandon Sanderson novel. This is great. This is apparently the worst one. Prologue. Enter the dragon. Um, the dark-skinned girl leaned up against the side of the building, her head tilted back, her eyes closed. That's a sentence, by the way. So I guess the the implication there is that she tilt... Because the way that's worded is that her, her her head was tilted back. Like, she tilted her head back. That's, like, grammatically, it, it is implied that it's presently her head tilting back. Like, she's the action she's taking is her head tilted back, and her eyes closed. It's like a sentence fragment. I don't know. It's not good. Again, starting off the book on a bad foot. She was seemingly dead to the world. Let me show the book. Um, uh, dressed in an immaculate black outfit, head to toe, she almost blended in with her dark surroundings. What do you mean dead to the world? She tapped the bricks behind her with her hand absentmindedly. Her imagination was running wild. The, um, the possibilities tonight were endless. Dollar signs danced into her brain as she stepped out from uh, 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 the shadows and into the busy sidewalk. Women be into money, am I right? Ugh! 
She clutched at her stomach mid-step, stumbling somewhat. She put on a grimace, a show of pain, and staggered forward. Plenty of people stepped right around her, paying her no mind at all. But she was a very young, very attractive girl. He seems to really like writing these stories about young, attractive girls, huh? Um, um, paying her um, no mind at all. Did not take much time for her to be noticed. Hey! Um, she's tried to keep the disappointment off of her face as a young man approached her, although handsome and bright eyed, she could tell at a glance that he was not what she was looking for. Uh, he didn't have the fucking spunk that, that Cody here has our boy, Cody, the Nintendo fan, or maybe just a shill pretend guy who's pretending to be a Nintendo shill for, for like the purpose of selling this, this kind of bad, like, like self-insert fanfic book. I guess not fanfic, original fic, but it's still self-insert. It seems kind of cringe. Um, not she, but this guy didn't have Harman's fucking charm, right? Um, not what she's looking for. His clothes were somewhat shabby and his hair was unkempt. This was not a man who spent a good deal of money in his appearance. Yeah, he doesn't have a big trouble in little China shirt. I bet Jim doesn't even own a suit. Um, Oh, well, she was just warming up. No, no, I'm fine, she said brightly as she waved him off. Thank you. Ah! She bent over again and leaned forward to help her. He leaned forward. He touched her arm. Do you need help? He asked He asked her. Getting home, maybe? Uh, no, no, she assured him, uh, shaking her head. I don't live far away. Okay, so, right. Um, she, uh... She'd been leaning. There's No, there's another lady leaning. There's another cool lady who's leaning. If she has time to lean, she has time to clean. Bazinga. Um, wild blonde hair ran down her shoulders in waves. She was dressed professionally, rather like a businesswoman or a lawyer with that white blouse, jacket, and pants. Uh, the woman in white. There's a trot. The woman disappeared. Okay. Uh, repeat offender. I think they're fighting. And now we get even just chapter one. We're getting several fucking chapters of this, apparently. Incubi target the same victim. Particularly young, beautiful women who live unsatisfactory sex lives. <sighs> Alright, well, we know what kind of book this is. Wait, 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 hang on. Lucille smiled at him. Welcome to my world, Mr. Kiryu. What is happening? Please follow me, Mr. Kiryu. Is this Jack Kiryu? O okay. So... So Jack Kiryu is here, everybody. Um, <laughs> so what's so funny about this? Last night we played um, we played Cyberpunk 20, 20 uh, Cyberpunk Red. We played Cyberpunk. Let me turn this down. Last night we played Cyberpunk Red. Uh, the the Papa Pedro and Mama or the Papa Pedro story where we're trying to uh, smash the pedophile elite. And um, it turned out that our guy, our pedophile, we finally got to him. He was in an apartment called Camden Court. That was not on purpose. We just happened upon that was the place and it was called Camden Court and that had to be the one. Um, and and it, w for whatever reason, we decided that his name was going to be Kiryu, R uh, no, sorry, Kazuma Lopez. And uh, there was a great photo of uh, there was a great photo of George Lopez dressed in what appears to be the Kiryu outfit. But so Kazuma Lopez, meet Jack Kiryu. He's here, uh, famed pedophile Kazuma Lopez. <laughs> Probably knows Jack Kiryu here. <laughs> okay, particularly young uh, women that leave lead unsatisfactory sex lives. Uh, are, are fond of Jack Kiryu. That's what I've learned. All right. I received that very well. I've received that pretty well. Um, well, that's um, Harman Smith. His, uh, f his, his books are just a couple steps above being 
um, that guy, um, Masaukis, um, the, the guy who writes, um, uh, original stories about him fucking his little sister who looks like Wendy from Wendy's. Um, and be- it's because the Democrats want him to become an incest loving, uh, liberal, um, and Obama wa- and Obama adopt- abducts him to become an incest loving, uh, sister fucking, uh, liberal who likes Wendy's porn. Um, so this is just like a few notches or a couple notches above that. It's just a few notches above that. I would say that's more entertaining though. Um, well, that'll do it for the stream. We've been going for quite a while. I don't know that we're going to top Mr. Kiryu. Kiryu-san. I don't know that that's going to happen. Um, let me, um, let me catch up on some super chats here. we got a few here. we got a few. Um, let me see here. Two bucks from Darth Fruit Basket. You know, I'll just keep playing some Yakuza music. You know what? Actually, I'll play the best one. They don't have it on Spotify for some reason. The best um, version of Receive You is actually the one from the Fist of the North Star game. Uh, Hokuto, ga Goku- Hokuto ga Gotoku. Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise. The, the like, spin-off one that they did. Receive You North Star. Um, let me see here. Let me see here. Two bucks from Darth Fruit Basket. Blame Tumblr for this. Oh, a lot can be owed to Tumblr. Yeah! Sorry. Uh, 300 ISK from Baneblade. The grounded videos are a circumcision metaphor. Oh, just like S- Silent Hill. Awesome. Five bucks from Ranma Sautome. Having unlimited access to the internet at a young age has had devastating effects on society. It happened to me. Now I'm a 29-year-old autistic deadwing dork user. Exactly. Me too. Exactly. Exact. Same age and everything. Right. Uh. N- n- uh n- Ni-san-kyu-san. I forget how to say the ages. I learned the ages. I forgot. It's ni-something-kyu-something. That's all I know. Um, uh, yeah, no, it's a real it's a real shame. You don't want that. Um, um, uh, eight months member at, from Gecko. Thank you very much. Sorry, wait. Sorry. <laughs> it just synced up too well. Sorry. Um, eight months member, Deadwing Dork slapped my ass, bashed my opinion, and threatened to steal my OC if I didn't re up my membership. Well, now we're here, and I hope it was worth it. Five bucks from Ron Masatome. I'm a user, an abuser, I'm an all time loser. I do my ranting on the run. You sure do, you know? Um, uh, five bucks from Liquid Snappy. This user doesn't play Babby game. He plays shoot. That's true. He do. Five bucks from Jafer. Blood is playing the friggin' Jaguar version of Doom with God mode on. I think it was the PlayStation version. It might have even been just PC, but he had, like, PlayStation soundtrack on. I don't know. I'm not sure exactly, but it was definitely the, the Aubrey Hodges soundtrack. It wasn't the original. I think there might have been a, a bit of the original in there, though. There was that one that sounded like fucking... It sounded like Ghost Love Score, basically, while he was talking about Blue's Clues. I receive users! Uh, Noah Saker, this guy has become a member. This guy is just a slightly older Stexen Starfight. I don't even know if he's older, necessarily. Two bucks from Autistic Wolf for getting a user bingo earlier. Congratulations, thank you, appreciate it. Uh, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Since you're learning Moon Ruins, have a nice Ochinchin. Ah, uh, that's like a mean thing. Isn't that penis? I think that's penis. Thank you. Uh, I, I haven't learned that stuff yet, necessarily, but I'm sure I'll get to it. You know, that's the thing. You gotta learn, like, formal Japanese. You watch anime and stuff. You learn some casual stuff from, like, a drama or whatever. And you learn swear words. You gotta learn... That's why I also want to learn... Um, the thing is, there's so many dialects in India. I'm not sure which one it is that, that is always calling Kit Boga and calling him a mother chod. I think that's just Hindi, right? I want to kind of want to learn Hindi just because I really want to know more more ways to insult people and ask them for gift cards. I know how racist that sounds, but just listen to me. It's not, it sounds like a cool language too. Uh, I'm also fascinated by it because it has a different script, which is another thing that I find interesting. 
You know, I, it just looks like a bunch, it's like kanji. It just looks like a bunch of weird little fucking squiggles. I don't know how you read that. I don't know, it's, it's fascinating. You know, props, props. Uh, uh, two bucks from Autistic Will. That's not beating the racist allegation. I know, I know, that's not, but it, it is, it's cool. It's a cool language, it looks cool. Uh, and I know, there's multiple. There's like Bengali and fucking, there's all sort. there's like fucking 15 languages in this one. Actually, I think it's like 26 actually in India. There's like 26 different national languages. I think it's around there. Something like that. It's a lot. So I don't know which one it is where you shout Madar Chod. Um, uh, but I, I, do, I always enjoy that. That was always good. Um, uh, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. YouTube wouldn't let me use the hiragana for a chin chin. Oh, that's a shame. Maybe they picked up on that, but not the Romaji. Uh, how about that? Uh, two bucks from Deadwing Dark Fan 2024. Check out Dan the Wiggles and Sophia the First Fan. I feel like I've, I've seen this person. Is this Dan Sobel by any chance? Because I know, I know that. I know Dan's... Dan Sobel. Dan the Wiggles... Fan. Does that bring it up? Hang on. Dan... No, it doesn't. Hang on. Dan... Dan the Wiggles and Sophia the First Fan. Uh, and Sophia the First is... Okay, does this work? D oh, d oh, sorry. You're, you're wrong. It's Dan the My Little Pony and Sophia the First Fan. Um, I think this is a new guy, actually. No, I've never... No, no, wait. Is this Dan Sobel? Because that guy's famous. I think this is... No, I think this is Dan Sobel. I think this is reasonably famous... Uh, hated internet user Dan Sobel. I'm pretty sure. Um, but this is, I guess, his new channel. It looks like it has some funny stuff. We can maybe take a look at that next time. Uh, thank you. I'll save it. Um, we'll, uh... Get some more of this going here. <laughs> Just a, just a constant state of, because I'm all Mr. Kiryu'd up, baby. Constant state of receive you. Um, well, maybe the next one can be Outlaw's Lullaby, I don't know. Um, let me see here. Five bucks from Autistic Wolf. Tamir Kitan gave a heartfelt response to Akira Toriyama's unregistering from the Minecraft server. Also, all his recent Emma Watson vids are scary. Well, we should maybe catch up on him. He's our, he's our, he's our boy. You know, I endorse everything Tamir Katan has ever said, so I, uh, you know, I, I, I have to find out what he's, what's going on with him, you know. Um, yeah, no, that sounds, that, that sounds great. I, uh, I'd love to, I'd love to hear what he has to say about Toriyama and Emma Watson at this point, honestly. Uh, let me see here. Uh, two bucks from Autis uh, Autistic Wolf. You just mad because your mom don't bring you BSMT tendies, basement tendies. Yeah, no, it is a shame. <laughs> Receive users. Sorry. Um, uh, to five bucks from Just Larm, you have to collect all the melons in Yoshi Story. Basically, that game is hard mode. Still worth playing, honestly. Also, have you ever played Users Story? No, but I did play Cave Story. I don't like Cave Story. You know, a lot of people love Cave Story. I've tried playing through it like fucking three or four times at this point. Wii version, PC, remake, original, whatever. I, I just don't like it. I don't like the way it controls. I've gotten, like, toward the end of that game, and I've just never... I don't know. Never been a fan. Never been a fan. No version of that game. I, I've never really liked it. Uh, hugely successful, popular game. Not not into it. Not into it. And I've, 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 I've tried. I've tried. I've tried several times. Two bucks from uh, AK. These sound like good 372 pages subjects. I mean, oh yeah. I, I still gotta do my stream reading fucking Ready Player One. Because I'm reasonably sure I'm not going to get my channel destroyed for reading Ready Player One. Like, I, I think that it's probably safe to assume that fucking Ernest Klein is not going to personally eradicate my channel because I read some of his book on a stream. Um, maybe I should just read play Ready Player Two. I should read The Prince Battle, where he fights seven different versions of Prince as a boss battle. This came out like a year after Prince died or something, I think, by the way. I'm not sure exactly, but, yeah. Um... Well, that does it for the stream. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. I hope you had fun. We're going to do some more users soon. Maybe we'll do other stuff, too. I don't know. Uh, I keep saying I might want to do a DeviantArt stream soon. I think that that could happen. Uh, consider doing a little DeviantArt today, because we had some users that had DeviantArt in their in their bios. This was a fucking hell of a stream. We had so much, we had so much Nintendo bullshit. We had user baby men. We had uh, fucking... 
You, we had accusers. We had users and accusers and abusers and zoo of fusers. So all sorts of stuff. It was crazy. Um, crazy stuff. And uh, thank you for stopping by, everybody. Uh, I hope you had a good time. And I hope you uh, have a good time next time when we eventually get around to more of this. Um, I'll see you next time. And uh, penis. Um, uh, Ochin Chin. Uh, see, you, see you around.